So we're starting at 222, 222 Barrows KC with 11 uniques, including the Boltrek, so 10 uniques so far. Still looking for one of these things. The Derox Blade Buddy, the Guttons Blade Buddy, or the Torex Blade Buddy is what I want the most. One of these three. I wouldn't mind the Aaron Skirt, the Carol Stop, those are pretty good as well. Other than that, nothing too crazy, but yeah. Mostly looking for a tank, buddy. Let's see how long this one will take. 222 is the start. Let's get started. 230 KC, we're eight chests in, no unique yet. <gasps> we got the Varex Bressard, we're done. Okay, cool, nice. It's it's a body, but is it an upgrade? Is it even better than the Granite body? I don't know. It's better slash defense, it's better crush defense, and that's about it. So it's something, it looks alright. You know, we're, we're looking kind of cool. It's got prayer bonus as well, yeah. We'll take it. It's a new item, it's a new unique, we're done with barrows for now. But it's still not really the body that I want. But it's okay, that's all good. We can move on. I think we have... Do we have two or three Varric pieces now? Let me check the collection log again real quick. We have two Varric pieces, okay. We've pretty much got two pieces of every set other than Darok, so that's something. Moving on swiftly, we could get another barrow sauce, because there's still a few left in the heart here. Let's see what we get. Here we go. One more unique from Barrows has been obtained. We are done with that one. The Varex Bressard has been added to the collection. It's gonna be another Barrows task, isn't it? Because we're not done with Barrows. We still need a better body. Or we have to get two white decorative pieces. Well, it's time for Castle Wars, guys. Yeah! We're gonna get two more white decorative pieces. That is great. A bit of AFKing, why not? I'll be back once I'm done with those. It's gonna take a bit of time, but again, it's not too bad. Let's go and get them. Alright, before we head on over to Castle Wars to get 90 tickets again for the white decorative full helm and the white decorative boots, I think it's time to clean up the bank a bit again, because we have about 40 slots open right now, and I have a lot of junk everywhere, so I'm gonna have to clean this up a bit. Once I'm done with that, we'll head on over to Castle Wars, get those tickets, and then we'll be good to go. And there you have it, 90 Castle Wars tickets have been obtained. It took a while, but we are done once again. We can move on to the next task. But first, let's get those two items. We're going to get the full helm and the boots from the white decorative set. It's going to be the next two items here. The full helm is 50 tickets and the boots are 40. Let's get both of those. And just like that, we are done. Look at that, beautiful. Two more items have been obtained. Two more items crossed off from the list from Castle Wars. Let's hope we don't get back to back. Let's see if we get a more exciting task now. Let's go back to the spreadsheet. We got the two white decorative pieces. Nice and easy. Just take some time as per usual. There we go. Castle Wars task done. Let's generate the next one. It's gonna be... Uh, an, it's gonna be a naval set. So it's time to AFK some troll brewing now. Yeah, that's that's great. That's a nice change of scenery, I suppose, but just some more AFK minigames. All right, let's get another naval set from troll brewing this time around. So currently we're halfway done with trouble brewing already, 15 out of 30 items. We're gonna add three more on top of that. I think I'm probably gonna go for the gray set right now. That's gonna look pretty nicely if we finish these two rows and then next time we'll go for the red one. I think that's the plan, we need another 2,500 pieces of weight, I believe it is. Do we still have some in the bank? We have 83, so maybe we'll be able to get 17 extra every now and then to round that up to the next 100, other than that. Another 25 games of troll brewing coming right up. Let's get started. There we go. We got the final 100 pieces of aid that we needed for this task. We once again have over 2,500 to get another naval set. Now let's take another look at the ones that we were missing just to make sure that I don't buy one that I already have. I was going to go for the gray one. So let's get the gray naval shirt, the gray tricorn head and the gray navy slacks real quick. Let's trade on this jimmy. Let's get all of those three pieces, and just like that, we are done. Look at that. Nice and easy. That was only another eight hours of troll brewing right there. We now have two full rows, plus the brown set and the three things at the bottom here. But there's still two more sets, uh, two more tasks from troll brewing to get, I believe, in the heart here, including the naval set and the 4,000 pieces of eight flag. So let's see if we get one of those next. All right, so two AFK minigame tasks in a row. We're done once again, but please, for the love of God, do not give me another Castle Wars or Troll Brewing task. Just give me some PVM stuff, some clues, I don't care, something active. No white decorative, no naval set, and no lucky shot flag. Okay, we're back to Barrows, that's alright. Okay, that's fine, I'm okay with that, back to Barrows, let's get another Barrows unique. Fine, good. 
All right, starting at 234 chests, 12 out of 25. After this one, we're over halfway done with completing the barrels chest section on the collection log. So that's pretty cool, I guess, for what it's worth. Let's see which item we'll end up getting. Lucky on the first chest, that would mean that it's a back-to-back. -back. No, not quite, not quite. Oh, damn. Uh, third chest, we get Torex plate legs, but that is a duplicate because we have those... Ooh, we got an elite clue. That is something we can also try to do. Wilderness Lava Dragon Isle. We can at least start it. Let's see if we can get another elite clue casket in the bank. We don't have any right now because we opened those last time we got elite clue task. So wouldn't be too bad to start getting those again. Let's see if we can get it. So the second step is Dorgish Khan. I can't do this yet. I'm just gonna drop it, I think. I don't think I'm gonna keep it. It's not really worth it because we can still get a lot of elite clues along the way from other things. Yeah. We're just gonna drop it, unfortunate. No elite casket from this one. There it is, there it goes, back to Barrows. Chest number 10 on the task. <gasps> we got Aram Skirt and uh, Clue Scroll Elite, yeah, we're done. We got the unique on the 10th chest. We now have the Aram top and bottoms, that's exactly what we were looking for as well, that's perfect. Plus we get an elite along the way as well, which we can start. That's pretty cool. We'll go and do that elite once we get the new task first. But there's another Barrows Unique. 10 chests, not bad at all. We also got a duplicate along the way. Nice. 10 chests later and we're done with Barrows once again. There's still 8 Barrows tasks left in the hard tier, I believe. So we'll have plenty of Barrows left to come. But first, we're doing more hard clues. Back to the jellies. Let's do the elite clue first that we just got from Barrows. I think we must have a hard clue in the bank as well that we can get started with. And after that, it's back to jellies if we don't have any dark totems, which I believe we don't. So let's see if we can get some cool uniques this time around. And there it is, the reward casket elite. We've got it from killing the basilisk, cool. Let's go and grab that heart clue from the bank now, let's do that one. Let's see if we get a unique on the first one of the task. That would be very nice as well. And there it is, the first casket of the task. How many clues have we done so far? I forgot to check, but we'll see once we open this one. And we get absolute garbage, but we're starting at 153 heart clues in total. Let's see, I'm gonna guess 15 clues to complete the task. That's my guess, we'll see if it, uh, if it happens. Okay, I actually have four full totems in the bank as well. I just got a hard clue from Jellies, but we can do four more Skatizo kills as well for an instant hard clue right there. I completely forgot about those, but that is very nice. After this one, we'll get four straight away. We're gonna open it here, boom. Oh! <gasps> Guthix, di Boots and Armadil Plate Body and the Bendos page as well. Okay, I don't think I have those. I'm pretty sure I don't have either one of those, but I'm gonna have to check either way. It might just be two uniques already on the second clue. That would be great. Let's have a quick look-see, shall we? Scroll down. Do we have these? No, we don't. Do we have this one? Ah, oh, we do. God damn it. Okay, it's only one unique. We got the Guthix Di boots as the first one, but the Armadil Blade Buddy was a duplicate, unfortunately. But that's all good. Not too bad. Second clue, and we already have one out of five. Let's start killing those uh, four Scutizos now for the four guaranteed hard clues. Dark Claw, maybe? Nope. No Dark Claw, but that is 20 Scotizo killed already in total. Not too bad. We are really racking up those kills from all the jelly content. Not bad. We have done well. We killed the chicken and we get another unique, which is the Ceradom in Full Helm. I have never seen that before, I think. Poo! Gonna have to check the bank. But I feel like that's one of the helms we're still missing. So, that might well be the second unique. Let's go and take a look real quick. Please let it be number two. That would be nice. And we would have two uniques in four clues. And that is indeed the case. There it is, Sarah Fulham. Very nice. Let me grab the collection log real quick, but that should be a new unique right there. 57. Three more to go. Beautiful. Final Scotizo kill for now. That is all of our totems gone without the dark claw but we get another elite clue as well that we can try that's pretty nice don't mind that one at all some onyx bolt tips as well that's a decent amount of money right there can we do the elite clue yes we can so let's see if we can get the casket lovely second elite clue casket to go in the bank again let's work on the hard clue boom oh armadil di body and rune shield h4 what is that what is that looking like hard oh that's two uniques Oh my god, seven clues in and we have four uniques already. A double unique there. Armadil Di'ite body and an heraldic shield, lovely. That is so nice, holy moly. Still need two heraldic shields and one heraldic helm now. That's pretty nice. Four out of five already, this is gonna be the quickest hard clue task ever. No, I ran out of death runes. 
I, w I did not pay attention to that. Well, it's time to buy some runes, I guess. Let, let me finish this one over here. And, and this one over here. Maybe we'll get another clue, but I highly doubt it. Unfortunately, we have to spend some money on death runes. I don't mind, because I have plenty of money. It's just buying them that is annoying. Please, Jagex, just release death rune packs already. I want them. Fine, I'll just get a unique and I'll end the stream. Which is Bendos Cheps. I think that's new. I'm not sure. Wait, I have the collection lock with me. Is it new? Am I done? I'm not done. Fuck, it's a duplicate. Damn it. It's one of three chaps that I have. I need Armadil, Ancient, or Guthix. Okay. Unlucky. Unlucky. Here we go. Ooh, wait. That's one that we needed, right? That's literally one of the chaps that I just mentioned. <laughs> there it is. I was like, we need to get either Guthix, chaps, Armadil, or Ancient. And there it is. There's one of them. We're done. 165 clues is all it took in total. That is 13 clues on this task for 5 uniques. That's pretty good. That was a pretty solid clue task. A very quick one. Not too bad at all. Let's go and grab a new task and let's see what that's gonna be. Right, 5 new uniques from hard clues. That didn't take too long, like I said. Just a few hours for that one. Let's complete it. 54% still. Let's just move on swiftly to the next one. The Ogre Expert Headpiece. We're about to kill some more chompies. That ain't too bad. I don't know how many kills we have to do, but I'll check that in a second. Upgrading that one. That's gonna look pretty nice. Can't wait to get the expert headpiece. Let's get going. So right now we have 706 chompy birds killed so far. And we are the bowmaster. Now to get the ogre expert head, it's only 300 more. Well, 1000 in total. So it shouldn't take too long at all. Probably like an hour of chompy birds and we'll be done. So that's gonna be another quick one. Not too bad. Let's head on over to the hunting grounds and let's get this one done very quickly. And so it begins. Time to inflate some toads, kill some chompies. We'll be done in no time. All right, there it is. Kill number 800. 200 to go. We are a bow master still, but we're getting there. And we're 900 kills in. Onto the final. 99 now. Let's get it over and done with. And here we are. 999 chompy birds so far. So with this one, that is the big 1000, which means we have reached the milestone of becoming the ogre expert. Let's head on over to Relts, let's go and get our new headpiece, and we are done with the task. And with those 1000 kills, we've already completed an elite task from the diary as well, so we've got that going. That's pretty good. Obviously, we won't have to do the rest of the diary until we get that task in the elite tier, so that's a way off, but that's something. That is something we've already done, so that's good. Here we are at Rands. I think he's just gonna start giving us all the heads, isn't he? And there it is, the Ogre Expert Headpiece. Let's get rid of all of the others once again. Let's pick up the bellows again. Look at that, I like that one. The white one with five feathers, looking pretty, pretty cool. All right, now that we've got that one, we can move on to the next task. No more chumpies for a while until we hit the Elite tier. So we are done here. Let's get our next task. That was about two hours of killing chompies for the ogre expert headpiece. That one is completed. The only time we have to kill chompies in the heart tier, I'm pretty sure. And that brings us to 55%. I'm feeling another diary and I would definitely prefer either the Ardi hard diary or the Mauritania hard diary. As you all know, let's see what we get. Infinity bottoms, okay. That is MTA, which I do not mind whatsoever. Especially because this is the very last time we have to go there. Because this is the last item we need to complete the entire section of MTA on the collection log. So that's going to be another green section on our little book, which is pretty cool. I do like that. I do not mind MTA. So let's go and get it over and done with. So for the infinity bottoms, we need to get 450 telekinetic points, 500 alchemy, 450 graveyard, and last but not least, 5000 enchantment. As always, I'm going to start with the telekinetic 450 points in that room, and we'll probably get at least one magic level, definitely. We'll definitely get 97. Let's get going. The final grind at MTA. And that is room 1 out of 4 completed. We have 455 telekinetic points. Already very close to this level 44,000 XP away. So we'll probably get that in the next room. Unless I will probably do enchantment first. Which might not give us that much XP. So I'm not sure if we're going to get the level there. But we'll go and do the 5,000 enchantment points next. And then we'll move on to graveyard afterwards. This is actually the first time I'm not doing the Dragonstone method, I'm pretty sure. And I'm definitely going to get enough XP to get the level here. Because it's going to be about 900 costs, maybe. It's 73 XP each for the level 6 enchantment. So that's going to cover the 43k that we still need. So that's going to be pretty nice. We're going to get the level here. 97 magic coming right up. And there's the 97 magic coming in. Two more levels until another 99. All of the combat stats looking very nice. Getting very close to 99 in all of them. 
Not too bad. 4,283 enchantment points so far. We need 5,000 in total. So we are very close to being done with this second room already. Let's get it over and done with. And there it is, 5,000 enchantment points. Room number two has been completed. Let's continue with graveyard. 450 points in there and then all that's left after that is 500 alchemy as well. And just like that, we are also done with the graveyard room. 450 points have been obtained. Now all that's left is alchemy. 500 points right there. And we will be done with the mage training arena forever. So let's start alking our way to the finish line. Let's go. The very last cast of high alchemy right there. That is another 10,000 coins going straight into the collector. And that brings us up to the 500 alchemy points that we needed. We got 21% of the way to 98 magic already. A nice chunk of XP right there. Getting closer to 11 mil. But we have all the points needed. Let's go to the reward shop and let's get that infinity row bottom. And then we're going to look at all of the rewards from MTA that we've completed so far. Which is going to be all of them. We have full infinity after this. Let's trade with the Guardian. Let's get the Infinity Bottoms. We have all the points needed right there. Boom, we're done. Let's head on over to the bank. Let's grab full Infinity. Let's see what that looks like. Look at this. Let's take a look at the collection lock first. Because if we go to minigames and Mage Training Arena, that is now marked as green as well. 11 out of 11. Fully completed. And look at that. How good does that look? I love the Infinity Robs. Always been some of my favorite garments in the game. Ever since I played my mage only Iron Man, that's looking beautiful. Let's put all of those back in the magic wardrobe, other than the boots. Let's head on over to the spreadsheet to get a new task. Let's see what we're going to work on next. Here we go. Infinity Bottoms completed. All of MTA has been done. We never have to go back, which is quite unfortunate, because like I said, it's my favorite minigame. Maybe one day they'll add some new items to it. Who knows? 56% heart. Let's go and do some more PVM now. Let's see what we get. Here we go. Ah, uh, it's medium clues. Fuck. <laughs> My least favorite tier of clues, because we have to do Puro Puro to get some eclectic implings for this. But that's okay. Let's see if we can finally finish that boots collection, because we're still missing the holy sandals. Let's go. Let's do some medium clues. So we're starting with 50 uniques. Now we're getting close to half of the uniques obtained from medium clues. At 183 medium clues completed. Do we have a medium clue in the bank? Yes, we do. So we can start with that. I think we still have some eclectics as well. 12 of them. So maybe we'll get two clues straight away. Let's see if we get a unique from the first one. Let's get going. All right. First casket of the task. Off to a great start. Thank you very much. Ancient Mitre. Is that a unique? Is that the first one or is that the first duplicate? It is the first duplicate. God damn it. I guess we have most of the miters. The only one we're missing is Ceradomin and Armadil. Bit unfortunate. Ooh, Edmund Fulham G and an Unholy Blessing. I think the helm might be new. It is for sure, yes. We're only missing the plate body and the kite shield now for the full set. Not too bad. First unique right there on the second. No, third. No, fourth. Fifth? Fourth clue. Yes, not bad. One in four. Huh? Crier Bell, second unique. Never seen that before. 25, there it is. Only six clues in and we have two out of five. Not too bad. There we go. Can you ring this thing? Oh, you can. Nice. A boom, a boom, and boom. <laughs> Wolf Mask and Zemrek Cloak. Is that two uniques? It's one unique. <laughs> the cloak is a duplicate, but the, the mask is new. So there's that. We got the Wolf Mask and the cloak now. We've got the combination going. Hey, that looks pretty cool, actually. Wait, that's, a, that's actually a nice mask. I like that. <laughs> All right, cool. Three out of five. Not bad. 11 clues in. Ooh, a blue boater. Um, hmm. We have boaters. Do we have a blue boater? It is not new. We do, in fact, already have that one. Three times now. We need the green boater, the black boater, the pink boater, or the white boater. Unfortunate. All right, clue number 200. And oh my God, we do get rewarded. I feel like those are two uniques. Is it not? Is that the task done? It is. Wow, what the hell? Look at that. Black headband and the Shazian banner on clue number 200. And we're done just like that. It's very easy, guys. Just get them, lol. Just get the uniques. That wasn't too bad at all. Oops, sorry, frog. Didn't mean to do that. 17 medium clues this task. And we got five uniques. Time to move on once again. Nice. Five medium clue uniques. Pretty quick one. We got some cool uniques as well. Didn't mind that one too much. Didn't have to spend too much time in Puro Puro, which is what I like to see. But there are still more clue tasks. Let's see if we get another one. We do indeed get another one. Two uniques from Elite Clues. That means we can open the two Elite Caskets I think we have in the bank. And then we are going back to Barrows to try and get some more Elite Clues. And hopefully some cool Barrow Uniques along the way as well. That ain't too bad. 
I just noticed. We, we got 1,000 total clues on the dot from the 200 medium clues that we just did. That's pretty cool. That looks very nice. But we're gonna ruin it with these two elite clue caskets, <laughs> unfortunately. So far, we have four uniques in 14 elite clues, which is obviously the third age guide shield, the musketeer head, the mithril dragon mask, and the deer stalker. All head pieces, other than the shield. All right, let's see if we get something from the two caskets that we have. Here we go. The first one, nothing. Absolute garbage. All right, one more chance. One more casket. Gonna be elite clue number 16 in total. <laughs> no. No siree, that is not too great at all. Well, looks like we are heading out to Barrows to try and get a new elite clue. And hopefully we'll get some uniques from that one. Let's get going. Alright, we are ready to head back out to Barrows. Let's see if we get that tank body finally. And if we get an elite clue sometime soon. Here we go. Alright, Barrows, chest number 250 in total. No unique yet after six chests so far. We'll have plenty more to do. This might be a very, very long task. Ooh, hey, we got an elite clue. Eight caskets in, eight chests in, and, and we have an elite clue, guys. It's time. Yes. Nice. Cool. Do I... You... Oh, no. Okay, it makes a shield. Okay, good. For a second, I thought it was going to make the wrong thing. But there we go. We have the mind shield. We have everything we need. Let's go and do this first step. And there it is, northeast corner of the Island of Stone. It's time for the Fremenic Exiles. There it is, we have all of the requirements already, we can get it started. It's time for a quest. It's been a while. Thank you, Elite Clue. That's pretty nice. And here we are, starting the Fremenic Exiles quest. I think we have everything we need, if not, we'll figure it out. I'm not gonna finish it though. Because apparently the clue step can be done right before the boss battle at the end. So we'll leave that until we get the basilisk jaw task. But we'll see how far we have to go. And once we're there, we can continue the clue scroll. Wait, does this does this mean we can always go to the island now? Is this all we needed? Because we have now made it to the island of stone. <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure we can now just travel back and forth, right? Alright, cool. I think we are ready to progress with our clue scroll. Let's go grab it from the bank. And let's see what the next step is going to be. We'll finish this quest later once we get the Basilisk Jaw task. Because right now we don't have to and there's no reason for us to do that. There's the first casket from a clue that we had to do. Casket number three of the task. Do we get our unique? Ooh, we do! We get Yuri's head, look at that. There's another unique. We keep getting heads. Guys, we keep getting heads. That's a nice one, that looks pretty fancy. That is number one. Just one more unique to go now. Three clues in, and we get our first one. That's pretty nice. I like it. Boo! Hey, Aaron's... Ah, oh, fuck. Wait, that's literally the last item we got as well, right? That's the one that we completed the previous Barrow's unique task with. So there's another one. Cool. Oh my god, back to back into the Aaron's staff. Do we have that? I feel like we don't. I think that that is a new one. The Aaron's staff. Let me go and take a look, because I'm not too sure, actually. If we go to Barrows, that is indeed a new one. That means we have a full Barrow set. That's the first one. We have full Arams now. Hey, that's pretty cool, actually, because that's needed for a Master Clue, I think, which is something that we actually won't do anytime soon. But either way, that's still nice to have, and that's going to be a Barrows Unique that we can mark off at the end of this Elite Clue task. We're going to have to keep track of that again, but we'll do that right at the end, mark everything as completed as we complete the Elite Clues. Chest number 20 on the task, and nothing special there. 264 chests in total, not too bad. Let's see if the void gives us any luck. We switch to full void. No luck so far. All right, I also need some more jewel rings, but that's okay. 36 chests in now, 280 in total. Slowly approaching the 300. Ooh, Gutten's Helm. Wait, I have that, I think. I feel like I have Gutten's Helm already. But that's another item, uh, 46 chests on the task, 290 in total now. Let me check to make sure after I fill in my bank pin. Wait, do I not? Oh, I didn't. Wait, that's new. Okay, cool. That's another new unique. We only need the Guttons Plate Buddy now for full Guttons. That's nice. All right, we'll take that. All right, Barrow's chest number 50 on the task. No elite yet. Still only one, one elite clue so far, but I think in general we're still lucky on the elite, so I guess I can't complain. Three items in total, including two unique, so that's not too bad. Six chests away from 300 now. Ooh, Varex skirt, but that's a duplicate. But that's all right. That's nice. Not a Varex skirt. Five chests to go for 300. Yep. Why do I have 96%? Oh, well, I got a Derek's Great X. Okay, they're, they're rolling in now. What? <laughs> the items just keep coming right now. I think that's new. 
That might be Jarok item number three as well. I'm not sure. Let me take another look. That is indeed new. It's Jarok item number two. We're at 16 out of 25 Barrows items now in 296. Not too shabby. We're really racking up the uniques now. They're coming in nicely. There it is. 300 Barrows chest count in total. Still going for that second elite right now. Is this the one? Can we finally get the baguette? I really wish there was a like a counter to see how many you've done. It's gonna be a mithril scimitar, isn't it? Or a flyer? Or nothing? What will it be? An old boot. Awesome. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted for Christmas. Yep. Ooh, there it is! Guys, it happened! A Derek plate buddy. We finally have a tank buddy from Barrows after 315 chests. I like it. <laughs> The tank buddy we have been looking for for ages now. Very nice. Still no second elite clue though, but hopefully we'll get that one soon as well. That is now the third piece of Derek as well, I'm pretty sure, so only one until another set. Oh, Carol skirt, that's another duplicate. We need the Carol stop. Unlucky, 332 KC. 88 so far on this task. Still no second elite. Chest number 100 already on this task, and we still only have one clue. It's taking a bit too long to my liking to get this next clue, but hopefully as soon as we get one, the one after that will come in straight away as well. Aram stop. Duplicate once again, but that's something. We are 124 chests into the task, still without a second clue. We are now at the rate of four elite clues on this task, and we still have only had one. And that's making me a little bit sad, you know. 376 total chests now. 132 on this task alone. It's about time we get another clue. Hopefully soon, before 400. Another Aram staff. We got another one earlier this task. I think that was the first unique, actually. So that means that it's now another duplicate. Alright, 150 chests now into the task, still with only one clue. It's getting a bit disturbing, really, but we're almost at 400 total chest count as well now. And there it is. Barrow's chest count is 4... 100. That is getting up there. We are wrecking up the items as well, but we do want the elite clues and they are just not coming in. <gasps> we have an elite clue. Yes, 401 Barrow's chests. 157 on this task. We can finally do another elite clue. Let's see if we can get that second unique. It would be amazing to get them back to back, which I don't Aww. think is happening, but still, let's go. It happened, guys. We have the fourth elite clue casket of the task. Could it be the back-to-back -back unique? Because last time we got the Yuri's head on clue number three of the task. Here we go. Back-to-back -back unique. We get a briefcase. <sighs> Life is good. Life is beautiful. We're done with the task. We can leave Barrows. Because we got our second unique. And it's a pretty cool one. It is probably one of my favorite fashionscape items from the Elite Clues. Because that is looking pretty nice. We're a businessman now. We even got two rune crossbows to add to our collection. We have like 90 now. That's not too bad. All right. Lovely jubbly. Two uniques obtained in four clues. Not too bad. We did have to do a lot of barrows. But that also means that we can mark four barrow uniques as completed as well. So we can do that. Let's move on to the spreadsheet. Let's mark all of those as completed. And let's get a new task once again. So first things first, we can mark four of these Barrows tasks as complete. One, two, three, and four. There's still four more to get in the heart tier, so that might still happen. But we also got the two new uniques from Elite Clues, so we can mark that one as completed as well. And just like that, we are already at 60% in the heart tier. Onto the final 40. We are making some very solid progress right here. And the next task that's gonna get us more progress is going to be... The Varrock Har Diary. Once again, a diary that I am not looking for. <laughs> I feel like all of the diaries that I've mentioned before that I want to get are the ones that I'm going to get at the end. Because there's not that many diaries left. But right now we have to go to Varrock for another hard diary. Let's go. So for the Varrock Har Diary, the main thing we have to do is get 153 kudos. Everything else is pretty quick. I also need to pre-plant a yew tree to get some... Uh, wait, where is it? I need to pre-plant a yew tree to get some yew roots, but that's about it. The main thing is the kudos. I am currently at 103 kudos. I'm not sure if I can turn in any quests, but I'm gonna check that now, see if we get some kudos from that. Let's see what Historian Minus has to say. 
Okay, we're already at 138. That's not bad. We need 15 more kudos. So we also have this like, antique lamp. Let's pop that on Herblor. Boom, 1000 XP right there. Let's figure out how we can do these final 15 kudos. So I have, I have 21 small fossils, 12 medium and 10 large. Two, two, wait, two, four, six, eight. I might be able to get a decent amount of, of kudos from this, right? So I'm gonna clean all of these and we'll see what we can get from that. All right, so we have enough for four different small displays, which is gonna give us some, oh yeah, I need to put all of them in at the same time, but that's gonna give us a nice chunk of points already. There we go, that is two. Another two right here, and we have two more after that. And just like that, we have added four small fossils. We're already at 146. We have some more fossils to do. So let's see how far we can get. Time for two medium displays and then one large one as well. And I think we have one plant one left as well. So I think we're just going to be one. No, actually, we'll reach the goal. Actually, we will have enough. This will be great. Yes, be right back. And this right here will be the last display. And like I said, it's going to work out perfectly because that is going to be 154 kudos. Just one more than we need it. Perfect. Now all that's left for us to do is wait on the yew tree to grow. And other than that, we can complete all of the tasks straight away. So it's going to be pretty quick. <laughs> also, before I do all of that, let's open all of these lamps and let's get all of that Herblor XP because that's going to be a nice chunk right there. And it might even give us a level because I'm pretty sure it will. Oh, 18,000. Never mind. Just like that, we are only 9,000 XP away from 75 Herblor. Pretty decent. Okay, let's talk to Orlando Smith, which is the diary task. There we go, hard diary task done. Moving on. All right, we are here with the dashing cabot fur and we can get the spottier cape, which is one of the diary tasks. Now all that we have to do is equip it as well. And there's another one done. Let's move on to the next one. So let's pray smite while praying at the altar in the Verok castle. And that is another task done right there. I think the next one I'll do is chop some logs have the estate agent decorate my house, then I'll switch to Ancients, teleport to Padua, and then we'll still have to wait for the yew tree to be fully grown. Alright, let's quickly burn the yew logs on top of the Varrock church right here after we chop them. That's another hard task done right there. Let's redecorate our house as well to fancy stone. That's gonna cost us 25,000 coins. Oh, apparently we already have it, so I guess I have to change it back to something else and then change it to fancy stone. Okay, there we go. Hard task completed. Nice. Alright, let's switch to the Ancient Spellbook, because now we can use the Padua Teleport, which is the second to last hard task we have to do. Now, the only one left is checking the Yew Tree for the Yew Roots, but obviously the Yew Tree is still growing, so for now, that's all of the diary tasks we can do. Alright, our Yew Tree is fully grown, let's check the health, let's quickly chop it down, let's dig up the roots, and then we're done with the Varrock Diary, and we can go and claim our reward. There goes the yew tree, let's clear the stump, and there we have all the roots, which completes the final hard task of the Varrock Diary. Let's go and speak to Toby to claim the reward. Hello, Mr. Toby. Can I please have my reward? Upgrade your Varrock armor. You now have a 10% chance of mining two ores at once up to adamant, 10% chance of smelting two bars at once up to adamant when using the Edgeville Furnace, and Zeph will stock 60 battle staffs per day. I don't think I'll go and claim those ever because I have plenty of battle stops in the bank as is that I'm not really using right now. But that's okay, we can also use the bank at the cooking guild. That's pretty nice. Now, if we use the lamp, that is also going to be a Herbler level right there. Level 75, we can now make Antifire Mix Clean Torstal and Mix Mid Strength Noxifer Potions. Very, very nice. There's the body as well. Another diary completed. I think there's still four left or maybe five. Let's see if we get another one. The Varrock Hard Diary has, in fact, been completed. And just like that, we only have a few diaries left, including all the ones that we've been wanting for ages. The next task... Oh my god, there it is. Well, we started the quest with the Elite Clues, but now we have to actually finish it, and then we have to start killing all of the Basilisk Knights to try and get the Basilisk Jaw. It is jaw time, guys. It is jaw time. Let's go and do the quest first, and then we can start camping those knights. Here we are on the Island of Stone. Just have to finish this final section of the quest, basically. For that, we need to do a mastermind puzzle, and then we have to fight a boss, and then we are good to go.
destroyed the stupid snake. Look at that. We have so much food left. Snake down. <laughs> Lidl, Zora. <laughs> so true. And just like that, we have completed the Fremenic Exiles. 15,000 Slayer XP, 15,000 Crafting XP, 5,000 Rune Crafting XP, and V's Shield. And we have 253 quest points. Now, the thing is, we need to get Basilisk tasks. I don't have them unlocked, I don't have them extended. The first thing we're gonna do is Turial boost some points to both unlock and extend the Basilisk tasks. Then we're gonna Turial skip to try and get those tasks, and then we can start killing the Basilisks, and hopefully we'll get that jaw soon enough. Let's get going. All right, we have completed nine tasks, so that means we are now about to go and get our first Konar task to get the first 90 points, which we will use to unlock the Basilisk tasks. Let's go and see what that task is going to be. Hopefully, it's going to be an easy one. I don't want to struggle with a Konar task right now, but let's find out straight away. Here we go. Konar, what do you have for us? Give me something nice. Ten bl oh my, ho, oh, oh, oh. beautiful Konar, I love you. Yes, that is exactly what I want to see. Lovely jubbly. And there it is. You've completed 10 tasks and received 90 points. Let us proceed, get another nine Turial tasks done, and then we will do one more Konar task and we'll have enough points to start Turial skipping for the Basilisk tasks. First things first, before I forget to do it later, let us unlock the basilisks already. That is 90. No, wait, that is 80 points. And we have 33 points left. Like I said, just another 10 tasks and we'll be ready to extend them as well. We're here. The 20th task, the second corner task. Please be another quick one like the black dragons. Oh my god, yes. Three rune dragons. Perfect. All right, we'll do these. Then we can extend the basilisks and then it's time to start looking for that basilisk task. And there it is. 20 tasks completed. And we get 123 points in total now. That is enough to extend the basilisks and to even skip once as well. So we'll go and extend them, get a task from Konar. No, wait, not from Konar, from Duradel. And then we can have two attempts before we start Turial skipping as well. All right, so first things first, extend the basilisks for... Oh, it's 100 points. I thought it was 90. My bad. Okay, we can only have one attempt to get it straight away. Duradel, are you going to be nice today? No, you're not. 78 Ankus. All right, let's start Turial skipping again and let's see how long it takes to get this first Basilisk task. Okay, equip the spoon. Didn't help. Fuck the spoon. It's not It's not working. Come on. Oh my god, we got it. 223 Basilisks. Okay, great. We can begin the grind. First things first, I need some more Bracelets of Slaughter so I can get the maximum out of all of these tasks. But then it's time. I also need some more Prayer Pots. Let's just go and prepare all of that. Let's head out to the Island of Stone once again. And here we are. The grind begins at the Basilisk Knights. Let's see how long this one will take. Let's hope that it's not going to be too long. We might even get 99 range here if, uh, if we don't get it soon enough. Guys, we have a superior. I forgot those were a thing as well. Do they do anything special? I'm not sure. Or can I just AFK it like this as well? The Basilisk Sentinel. The big guy. All right, the Sentinel is about to go down. What do we get? 5,590 Slayer XP, a Rune Scimitar, and a Rune Battle Axe. Not the greatest loot, but hey, that's not too bad. That's a lot of Slayer XP, Jesus Christ. All right, that's going to be the end of the first trip. We've done 71 kills so far. The loot is stacking up quite nicely. A lot of Law Runes, Nature Runes, some other stuff. Pretty decent. We get a nice amount of cash as well. Let's head on over to the bank. We still have 173 left on this task, plus the bracelet, so we will get plenty more kills in there. Second Sentinel going down. A Rune Axe. Yay. <laughs> and there it is. The task has been completed without the Basilisk Jaw. We have 299 kills, plus two superiors as well. Now it's time to go and hunt for that next Basilisk task already. We're about, you know, almost one third of the way to the drop rate, which isn't too bad, I suppose, but no jaw yet. Let's go back to Turial and let's try and find the next task. So, so I... What the fuck just happened? We just killed 20 skeletons and we have a full dark totem. Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was literally back to... Okay, okay. Yeah, nice. Turial skipping. Awesome. There it is. 203 basilisks once again. We can head back to the Island of Stone to try and get the jaw again. That's pretty decent. A pretty low amount, I think, because I'm pretty sure it's 200 to 250. But that's all right. We'll get to like 500 KC, even more. So a decent chance to get the jaw again. We'll be like half the drop rate. Let's go. 
And there it is, that was skill number 500. We are halfway to the drop rate already on task number two. Yes, two, right? Yeah, task number two. Anyways, we're only about 127k away from 99 range, so that's happening very soon. Just about 107 kills away, so that's probably going to be the next thing that we get. Here we go, Sentinel number three going down. What do we get other than 5.6k Slayer XP? We get an Unka Diamond and 22 Nature Runes. Unfortunate. 24 Basilisks left on this task. Let's see if we still get that job. We are also very close to 99 range. Less than 100k left. And that brings us to the end of another Basilisk task. We now have 559 Knights killed with 3 superiors in total without the jaw. Let's try and get a new one. There it is. Okay, we'll take that. 202 Basilisks. Again, not the biggest amount, but there's another task. We can get going. And we are now only 26k away from 99 range. So let's go and get that on the Basilisk Knights. All right, here it comes, guys. There it is. 99 range on the task account. The third 99 we have after hit points and strength. We now also have range. That's beautiful. I'll probably go and get that cape at some point. But I just realized I still don't have the strength cape either, I think. Because I don't really need it for anything. But that's, fair, that's very nice. Now we still need defense, attack, and magic. But all of those are 96 plus. So we'll get those eventually as well. Yeah, third 99. Not bad. Still looking for the job. 580 kills into the task. Basilisk Sentinel. 70 death. That was three death rune drops. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Okay. Fifth superior. Pretty cool. No, fourth. Sentinel number five. After 699 knights, blood runes, element ore, rune metal. Final kill of another task coming in right here. And that is 832 basilisk knights killed now. The next task will get us to the drop rate, which also means that we will get to 92 slayer on that one. So let's see if, if that happens first or if we get the job before that. Back to Turiel. 241 basilisks the biggest task we've gotten so far that'll get us way over the drop rate already all right we can head out once again let's go back let's see if this will be enough otherwise we'll get 92 slayer along the way and there's 92 slayer as we also get our fifth long bone already 934 kills that's pretty cool we have five long bones four mystic head lights so far no basilisk head and no basilisk jaw obviously we're closing in on the drop rate though 934 kc 1000 coming right up all right here we go kill number 1000 we have reached the drop rate without the jaw we are once again dry i feel like that's been happening quite often recently we're we're going dry on pretty much everything we have to grind for but that's okay we still have 111 on this task with the bracelet that's another like you know 35 kills on top of that so we'll see if we still get it on this task if not we'll go back to tutorial skipping but we will see okay there it is 218 basilisks once again we are at 1145 kc right now going back Oh, I just got 62 fletching, making some more broad bolts. Didn't even see that one coming, but there's a level. We take that. 1880 total. Looking pretty good. Come on, baby. Give me that imbued heart. Sixth superior. 1215 basilisk knights. Another 5.6k slayer XP for the rune X and some coins. Guys, there it is. The pink text basilisk jaw. 22.9 mil. We have it. We're done. <laughs> I actually got it. 1372 kc for the basilisk jaw holy shit that's worth a lot 23 mil are you kidding me jesus christ all right inspect is the jaw of a basilisk knight perhaps olaf the bard knows a good story about it let's go see what he has to say we are done <laughs> lovely no more basilisks we end at 14 mil range xp and 19 mil hit points xp so it took a while but we didn't go too dry Let's go and make that phase guard. So is it this guy that puts it together or what? How does it work? Hello. Hello, Olaf. Do you know any great stories about basilisk jaws? Why do you ask? Well, I have one, my guy. Blah, blah, blah. Lore, I don't care. Okay, can I use it on it now? Yeah, there it is. The Nate is not phase guard. We have it, guys. We have it. We've completed pretty much the last very hard task in the heart here, I would say. From now on, it's all smooth sailing. So... Let's see what the next one is going to be. Let's move on swiftly. This one took a while. This one definitely took a while. Uh, I would say about maybe eight days or something. Grinding it out. But we are done. Let's get a new task. Let's go back to the spreadsheet. 
get the basilisk jaw apparently it's been generated 13 days ago that being said i didn't play for four days so we spent about nine days on this one a pretty hefty grind but we managed to get through it like all of the others we can move on once again 61 percent hard now moving on to the next task could it be mini games clues maybe some more pvm here we go it is gonna be shoot bones that is not too bad we just have to kill some mithril dragons and now that we have the trident available that shouldn't be bad at all I believe it's a 1 in 42 drop to get from the Mithril Dragons and who knows, maybe we'll spoon a Dragon Full Helm along the way. That would be amazing, I don't expect it, but let's go and get some Chewed Bones. We're not using magic because I don't really have that much good magic gear yet, I don't have a, an occult, I don't have an imbued heart to help me with that. So we're going with the melee setup now that we have a tank body and the nade is not phase guard. We'll see how this goes. I forgot my blessing, so let me grab that as well. Unfortunately, our best stab weapon is still the leaf bladed sword, but we'll manage. We'll see how it goes, and uh, we'll use the dragon warmer to spec with the dragon defender, and yeah. There it is, the very first mithril dragon for the rune battle axe. Not bad. I do feel like melee is a bit shit with the leaf bladed sword, so I might try mage on the next trip with the trident. Right, end of the first trip, because we don't have any prayer pots left. I think I'm going to try the mage method instead, because uh, the leaf bladed sword not quite cutting it. So let's try trident instead and see how that goes. Actually, four kills in now. At least this will be a quick task after the long basilisk grind. Guys, we have an ancient page. This might be a new one. Let's see. That would help towards the next ancient page task. If I can pick it up. Hello? Okay, there we go. Let's uh, put the game chat on. Let's copy to log. Okay, but this lag is a bit insane right now. Okay, the page is not new, unfortunate. Let's not get ancient pages anymore, because apparently it disconnects my internet. There we go, that is going to be kill number 42, which means we are now on the drop rate. And look at that, just once again, we're dry on an item. Thankfully, this one won't take too long, even if we do go dry. So let's see how many more kills we have to do before we get those chewed bones. And 68 kills into the grind, we get the chewed bones right there. So we are done with the task. We don't have to use them just yet. So I'll just keep them in the bank because I believe you do need those for something. I'm not sure, but we'll just keep them for now in the collection tab. And right now we can move on to the next task. We did go a bit dry, but not too dry. Just about one and a half times the drop rate, which is not the worst. Let's move on swiftly to the next task. Once again, Chewed Bones was probably one of the easier tasks left in the heart here. And that one has now been completed as well. Let's see if the next one is going to be as easy as that. Or if it's going to be a bit harder. It's going to be five new uniques from Easy Clues. That's not the worst. We're still looking for some team capes and one more piece of the golden monk rope. So let's see if we get a cool item from this grind. Let's go back to the ham hideout and let's get some Easy Clues going. So we have an easy clue ready that was sitting in the bank. We are starting with currently 65 uniques out of 131. We are already about halfway to the total amount of easy clue uniques in 308 easy clues. Let's see how many it takes for these next five leading up to 70 in total. Let's get going. All right, first casket, boom. We are starting off with absolute garbage. Second clue. Oh my God, ham what the f- <laughs> That is three clue items with a ham joint as well. Jesus Christ. But I already have that. I have this as well. I'm not sure about the steel plate legs. <laughs> but Jesus Christ, what a clue. That is one unique, which is a steel plate legs. But uh, that is a duplicate ham joint and a duplicate amulet of magic trim. But Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's a clue. Wow. We take those. One out of five only, but that's nice. Ooh, Black Blade Body H2 on clue number four. Could it already be the second one? No, it's a duplicate. We are only missing H5 from the Blade Bodies. Unfortunate, that one. Ah, it's H3. <laughs> no, I need H5. That's not the one. All right, go on. Ooh, Blue Beret. Is that new? Is that number two? It is not. It's another duplicate because we have all of the berets already. Nice, yeah, cool. Five duplicates and one unique so far. Could it be the mystery box with the stale baguette? It's cabbage. Way. Boom. Ooh, armadillo rope legs. That might be the second unique. It is. Finally, two out of five after 17 clues. A bunch of duplicates. But there's unique number two. That puts the armadillo rope top and legs together. That's the first set we have. That's pretty nice. We take those. We are making progress. 325 clues in total as well. Not too bad. Bob's purple shirt, I have that. That's a duplicate. Yeah, I need the green one. 333 easy clues. That looks pretty cool. And we get... 
No, another H3! That's the second one already, and that means that it's another duplicate. Sarah Roblex, is that a new one? It's not, it's another duplicate! Where? Number three already of the Sarah Roblex. Well, we are getting a lot of duplicates, that's for sure. Ooh, wizard head trimmed. Is that new? It is. That is number three right there. Beautiful. Black wizard head trimmed. Starting off strong. Not too shabby at all. 32 clues in and we have three uniques. Just two more to go for this task. We take those. Yep, there it is. 76 thieving. Completely missed that one. Even though I was looking out for it the entire time. But we got a level at the hand members. That's always pretty cool. Iron full helm trimmed. For a second I thought that was a normal iron full helm. But I'm not sure if that's new. It is in fact new. We are still missing the plate legs and plate body now from the trim set, but there's our fourth unique. Just one more to go. We now have 69 easy clue uniques in 343 clues. Not too shabby. 35 clues in the task. Boom. Oh, Black Wizard had G this time around with the Sarah Page 1. Did we have that one? We just got the trimmed one before. And we have the gold one and that's our fifth unique right there. We have finished the task. We're still missing the gold bottom and the trimmed top now from the wizard robes. That's pretty nice. I like those. Boom, just like that. 38 easy clues is all it took. That's not the worst because we're already in the heart here and it's getting harder and harder to get these. We've been getting a lot of duplicates along the way. And we're at 346 easy clues now. I believe at 500 we will unlock the easy clue reward. So that'll be pretty cool once we get there, which we definitely will. But for now, we're done with this task and we can move on to the next one. New hard task coming in, let's see what it is. Easy clues are done for now, once again, but there's still more clue tasks left, so we could get another one, but instead, it's going to be one new Halo. So we are going back to Castle Wars for some lovely AFKing to get 75 tickets once again to get the final Halo, which I believe is going to be the Guthix one, because we have Zemarek and Ceradomin already. Let's go and get the Guthix one. And there you have it, that was the very last game of Castle Wars, that leaves us with the 75 tickets we need and we can not buy the Halo here because that's members only, so let me hop worlds real quick and then we can trade Mr. Lanthus to get the Guthix Halo, which is the last one that we need from Castle Wars. Here we are, trade Lanthus, the Guthix Halo is right there, 75 tickets and we have it. We now have all of the three Halos from Castle Wars and I think there's only two more tasks in the heart here for Castle Wars, which is some more white decorative. Let's see if we get one of those, I hope not, because last time we had Castle Wars into Troll Brewing. I kind of want to get something else than more AFK minigames, but let's find out. I just had to mark one of the champion scroll tasks because for some reason only one of them was completed instead of two but I fixed that now we can complete the halo task as well that's gonna leave us at 63% still but the next task is going to be a unique from Barrows. So that is still one of the Barrows uniques we have to get in the heart here. I think there's like four left or something, so that's not too bad. Let's see if we can get something nice, maybe we can work towards another completed set. Let's find out what we get. First chest of the task, no luck yet, but we're starting at 402, wow. <laughs> I didn't even know that I have that much KC already. Fair enough, let's see how long this one takes. Four chests in, and we are not done, because that's another Aram's rope skirt, which is the first duplicate after four chests. Back to back? No. Some bolt tracks though. Torek Helm, is that new? We are six chests in. We got the Aram's skirt duplicate, and now we have a Torex Helm. And I feel like that's a new item. I am fairly certain, fairly certain, that I don't have that. Let us have a gander. Let's check the collection log. If we go to Barrows, we now have a new item, the Torex Helm. Lovely, nice. We almost have all the helms, just two left. Dude, we have 18 out of 25 items. We're only missing seven items now after 407 chests. That's actually pretty good, I feel. I think that's not that bad, is it? That's very cool, nice. Torex Helm obtained, six chests is all it took to get the item and the duplicate. There's three more Barrows items to get in the heart here. Let's see if we get it back to back. One of the faster Barrows unique tasks there, as it only took six chests this time around. We can complete that one nice and easy. Moving on swiftly to the next one at 64% heart. It's going to be the... Yes! Yes! The Ardy Heart Diary. This is good! This is amazing because this allows us to get 65 rune crafting because we have to craft death runes. And that means that we can finally use the Eternal Crystal and the Pegasian Crystal that we have in the bank from the Cerberus tasks. So we can make the Pegasian Boots and the Eternal Boots 
for future combat stuff. Yeah, it's great. 65 runecrafting is one of the requirements. I'm not sure if we have to do something else as well, but I feel like I should have most of the requirements already. But let's take a look anyways. Right, so for one of the already hard diary tasks, we have to plant and check the health of a fully grown palm tree right here. So we've got that one growing right now. Gonna do the same thing with the poison ivy seed and then it's time for some room crafting training up until level 65. That is all of the requirements that we need. And then we can do all of the tasks at once. And with this inventory, we reach the first milestone of this runecrafting grind, because that is level 60 right there. We can now infuse Eternal, Pegasian and Primordial Boots, and that is exactly what we wanted to get this diary task for. So let's head out to the bank, let's pick up those crystals and those boots, and let's finally make those. It's been a while that they've been sitting in the bank, but we can finally upgrade them. We've got the two crystals right here, we've got the Ranger Boots, and last but not least the Infinity Boots as well. Let's put that on there. Yes, we do want to do that. Proceed with the infusion. There we go. 200 magic and runecrafting XP. Lovely. Let's do that with the Pegasians as well. And just like that, we have the Eternal Boots and the Pegasian Boots. Finally, they are looking very nice. Once again, a bit unfortunate that we don't have the Primordials, but I'm okay with that. We can finally use these upgraded boots. Let's continue grinding runecrafting. Still five levels to go until we have the level for the death runes, for the diary. So let's keep going. Yeah, this is it. We've made it. 65 runecrafting has been achieved and we can now craft death runes from pure essence. <sighs> Lovely. No more runecrafting for now until we reach the elite tier and we have to get a much higher runecrafting level for one of the diaries, but that's hopefully far in the distant future. Let's go and complete all of the diary tasks now because we have all of the requirements needed for the Ardihar diary. Let's get going. Here we go. Let's complete that first task, crafting the death runes, the one we've been grinding for. And there we go. Let's continue working on all of the others. Let's get this diary done nice and easy. If we teleport to the monastery, we can quickly complete another one by checking the health of the poison ivy bush right here. That one's sitting ready. And that one is also... Oh, I have to pick that. Okay. For a second, I thought I messed up, but I just have to pick the berries. There we go. Fix. <laughs> oh, and that is 85 farming as well. Look at that. We can now do hard contracts without boosting. That is even nicer. We can also enter the tier 3 farming guild without boosting. Beautiful. And we got an Espori seed. Wow. Amazing. Ooh, yeah. Let's, let's go. Let's check the health of this palm tree as well. And that's another task done right there. 10k farming XP. We'll take that. All right. We snuck our way up to the Ardy Castle chest. Let's search for traps. And there we go. That is another one done. Stealing from that chest. We get a raw shark, an adamant ore, and an uncut sapphire. Now we can use this anvil in West Ardy to make the shield left half. Wait, how does this work? Do I have to use it? Make the dragon square shield anytime now. There we go. Look at that. Such an iconic item. Pretty cool to have, in my opinion. The dragon square shield has been made. Can we make the mithril plate body here as well for the task? Or does that not work if we make it here? It should be near Ardy, right? There we go. That's another one done. Moved my house to Yanil. So if I leave it and enter again... That is going to be another task done, and that means that we only have one task left, and that's catching a red salamander. So let's go and complete the diary. And just like that, the red salamander has been caught. And that is our already hard diary fully completed. Let's go and collect our reward. Let's get a new task. Hello there, two pints. I have come for my hard diary rewards. Yes, please. And there it is. The Ardy Cloak has been upgraded to rank 3. Uh, we can now also get 150 pure essence each day, which I will definitely not get. But we can use the Watchtower Teleport to the center of Yenel, and that's a pretty nice thing to have. Uh, we can get more things noted from the Tower of Life and a 10% better chance at pickpocketing everywhere. That's pretty good. I like that. Let's use the lamp on Herblore as per usual. That's another... How much XP? 15,000 Herblore XP that we get from that. And now we can move on back to the spreadsheet. We have four more diaries left. Fremenic, Kenderin... Lumbridge and Mauritania. 50% chance to unlock piety if we get a diary task. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Just, you know, two days of room crafting. That's all it took to complete the Ardoin hard diary. Moving on. 65% hard. Getting closer to the 3 4th completion of the hard tier, which is going to be a new color. 10% away from that. Four diaries left. Let's see what we get. A unique from the Chaos Elemental once again. Last time we got very lucky with the Dragon Pickaxe. And this time around, we'll have to get the second unique, which is the Dragon Two-Handed Sword. Let's go back to the wilderness. 
I'm gonna use my other account again to lure it, as you know how I did it last time. Let's see how long it takes to get the two-handed sword. So here we are, we are geared up. We are starting with 18 kill count on the Chaos Elemental for the 1 in 128 Dragon two-handed sword. We're using the newly acquired Nate is not phase guard. The whip and the Dragon Defender, those are our three protected items and everything else doesn't really matter. We're gonna lure with an alt account again, so we can keep those kills flowing. Let's get started. All right, we did 25 kills on the first trip. We are currently, I'm not sure how much KC that is then, just 41 I think, something like that. No luck yet, nothing cool just yet, but uh, we'll keep going. That was kill number 50 in total, 50 KC at the Chaos Elemental without the Dragon Two-Hander. Not quite at half the drop rate yet, so that's all good. There it is, 64 KC, we're halfway to the drop rate. Alright, might be a bit of a change of scenery here, because we got an Elite Clue Scroll from kill number 83 in total. Can we do it? Yes we can. Let's go and try that. Nice, we were able to finish the elite clue, so there's another casket going straight to the bank. Let's go back to the Chaos Elemental and try to finish this task soon. Hey, 100 KC, that's pretty cool. We're getting closer to the actual drop rate now. 82 kills on this task so far, no luck yet, but hopefully soon. And that right there is kill number 128. We are now, once again, over the drop rate. I feel like we've been getting dry on, on most of the tasks recently, so it's a nice change of pace, really. Not always getting spooned. Guys, we have the Dragon Two-Handed Sword! 130! Oh shit, I should've... Uh oh. Uh, I should not have put that in the looting bag. Oh god, get the hell out of here. I should've... I should've took it in my inventory. Uh, run. Run, 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 go, go. That guy is killing that guy, okay? He's a distraction. Quick, run. I have lobsters. Don't fail. Okay, go. Yes. We're fine, we are okay, we are safe. We escape the wilderness with the dragon two-handed, sword safe in the looting. Okay, good. <laughs> I should not have left my looting bag open for that one, but we have it. 131kc, just slightly over the drop rate. Very slightly, three kills over the drop rate and we're already done with the chaos elemental. I, do, I mean, we do have to come back for the pet if we don't have another pet by the time we get the last boss pet task, but I feel like there's plenty of time left to get one somewhere because we already have three passive pets we only need one more but we'll see if that happens along the way if not we'll kill some more chaos elemental but for now we're done 131 kills that is 113 kills on this task to get the dragon two-handed sword let's move on to the next task all right with that dragon two-handed sword we have obtained both uniques from the chaos elemental we have the dragon pickaxe and the two-handed sword so we can complete this one as well now and we can move on to the next task there's plenty of pvm left there's plenty of mini games and clues left let's see what we get here we go next task a unique from the DKs once again. I don't even remember which ones we already have now, but I think we're still missing the Sears ring and the Zerker ring, right? I think it's those two. I think it's those two, but I'll check in a second and we'll go back to DKs. So like I said, we're still missing the Berserker ring and the Sears ring and of course the two other pets. We did get the pet Dagonoth Prime last time, so who knows? Maybe we'll get the pet Dagonoth Rex as well. That would be amazing, but I don't expect it. Let's hope we get the Zerker ring. I really need to get that one. I, I would love to get that, but I feel like we're gonna get the Sears ring and then Zerker ring being the last unique we get. Let's go. Got my buddy James here getting me in. He's gonna kill Supreme once and then I can just focus on Prime and Rex again. I'm currently 65 Prime KC and 81 Rex KC. Let's see if we get the Sears ring or the Zerker ring. We just did 100 Prime KC and we have 116 Rex KC as well now. We're 70 kills into the task without either ring or without any duplicates as well. We'll see what we get first. Well, there's the first duplicate, the Dragon X, but I don't want to aggro Supreme. Like, is it really worth it for me to pick up the Dragon... Nah, uh, fine, apparently you need the Dragon X for like, oh, quick, for like clues. Oh, send it! Oh my god, yes, beautiful. Lovely, we did it. We sneaked our way in, Supreme didn't see a thing. Yay, apparently you need it for like clues. You need a, a normal one and an infernal one. We're sorted. <laughs> Let's get the Zerker ring now from Rex, shall we? Berserker ring, boom. Ah, never mind, that would have been too perfect. Yes! Oh my god, right before the end of the trip basically, because we were about to drink our final dose of the antidote. We got the Zerker ring guys, 129 kill count, we are out of here. See you later, DKs, we are done. Just one item left, the Sears ring, the last one for next time. But we have the Zerker ring, finally, we can go imbue that one in Nightmare Zone as well. And we have our new best in slot ring to use in our melee setup. Very, very happy with that one. 129kc, not bad at all. Just one item left from DKs. Could be back to back as well. Let's find out. 
the Zerker Ring. Finally, the second to last DK's Unique. Bit unfortunate that it came in that late as far as DK's Uniques go. But hey, better late than never, right? One last Unique left, the Sears Ring. Do we get it back to back? No, we don't. We are going to the Mining Guild. And we're getting the Expert Mining Gloves. For this one, we have to... I think it's 60 nuggets or whatever it's called. I think it's 60. I'm not sure. But we basically have to put the two gloves we have together with some of the uh, the mineral or whatever it's called. So we're going to the mining guild. We're going to power mine some iron to get those. And we can make the expert mining gloves. Yes. All right. Just spend about an hour in Nightmare Zone. And that is enough points to imbue the Zerker Ring. And enough points to get some more potions when I need to do Nightmare Zone again. So let's go and do that. And then it's time to go to the mining guild to get those minerals to get the expert mining gloves. Let's go to the rewards chest and let's imbue the Zerker Ring upgrades right here. Imbue the Zerker Ring and there it is. Zerker Ring imbued. Beautiful. Best in slot right there. Lovely to have that one. And here we are. We've made it to the mining guild. Now we just need to find an empty world and we can start mining these iron rocks once again. I believe we need to get about a thousand, no, about 6,000 on average to get the 60 minerals that we need. So better get going. We've got a little outfit going on, so let's see how long this takes. We might get 81 mining, I'm not too sure how much XP we get from this. Change of plans, of course I do have the prospector outfit, so I better use that when I'm actually mining. It happened. The first unidentified minerals have entered our inventory. Only 59 more to go. Hmm, we already have 10 minerals in about 1200 iron ore, I think. Which means that we're unlucky, actually. I was like, wait, that doesn't that doesn't sound like I'm being lucky at all. But yeah, 10 minerals, 50 left. We're, we're getting there. And we are now at 30 minerals. Just about 41k XP left until the mining level. We're halfway done. Guys, it finally happened. We got our second beekeeper random event ever since they released the outfit. It's been ages since the first one. That was during the zombie champions crawl grind. Now, please give me another outfit piece. Don't give me flex. Fuck off. Shit game. Stupid beekeeper. P -p 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 and there right there is the mining level coming in as well. Level 81 mining. Still at 40 minerals now. 20 left to get. We'll still get a little bit of XP, but final stretch. 4 6 of the way there. 1892 total as well. Creeping up on 1900. Not bad. And there you have it. 60 unidentified. <coughs> and there you have it. 60 unidentified minerals have been obtained. And now we can grab both the superior mining gloves and the normal mining gloves out of the bank. And we can go and trade Balona for the... How does this work? Do I talk to her? <laughs> Actually, can you combine my mining gloves, please? Mining gloves with, uh, blah, 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 would require 70 mining. Yes, I do have that. 60 minerals. Yes, combine them. There you have it. Expert mining gloves have been obtained. Beautiful. That is a bank space one once again. And another item for the collection log. There it is. Expert mining gloves. All three have been obtained. And I think this was the very last mining task, if you don't count the diaries. And for the diaries, we can always boost to mine rune ore. I might get 82 mining eventually, so I can just boost with the dragon pickaxe instead of stews. But for now, we are done with mining for a long time until we hit the elite tier. So that's very nice. Let's move on to the next task. Let's get the hell out of the mining guild. How many iron ore do we have now? We have a whopping total of 30,304 iron ore that I'll probably never end up using, but we have it anyways. We have been freed from the mining guild. We are no longer stuck there mining iron ore for hours upon hours. We can complete the expert mining gloves. That took a bit longer because I, I think I was slacking, but it took me like six hours to complete that task, even though that's still not too bad. You know, it's not the greatest time to have 67% hard. Let's move on swiftly. It's going to be... Finally, a unique from Demonic Gorillas. There's been zero of these so far, and there's four of them that I have to get in the heart here. So it was about time that we get one of these. I think we're ready to go. We're not gonna get a Slayer toss because I feel like, you know, we're basically max combat. We should be fine off task as well. So here we go. Let's start killing some Demonic Gorillas. We've never killed any yet on this account other than the ones in the quest. Let's see how long it takes for this first unique. It's about 1 in 100 to get any unique at the start, so it shouldn't be too bad. Let's get going. That's gonna be the end of the first trip. And in that first trip, we've done 32 kills on the Demonic Gorillas. I would say that that is pretty decent. Look at all that loot as well. We got two Spirit Seeds, U Seeds and Snapdragon Seeds. 
A lot of Alka Balls, a lot of Shark Drops as well, which is why we were able to stay for this long. But yeah, still two Sharks and a Manta Ray left as well. Pretty good trip. Man, we just did it again. 32 kills again on the second trip. I feel like I'm very good at this. Uh, did not expect to get that many kills every trip, but if it keeps up that way, it's really not that bad. I barely used any prayer potions. I, I came with six and I'm leaving with three and a half. Pretty good. Guys, we are done. We got the Zenite shard at kill number 70. Look at that, the beautiful orange text. That looks beautiful. The first unique from Demonic Gorillas. And look at me go, I'm, I'm juggling food, I'm gaming, I'm, I'm doing very well, but I'm gonna have to leave a Manta Ray behind, but that's okay. Zenite shard number one, 70kc, we take those and we can move on. There's still three more uniques to get in the heart tier as well, so we might have to go back to the Demonic straight away. Now again, we can't use this yet because we're only 79 crafting. It'll be until the Elite tier where we will be able to train our crafting for the lowest level Zenite jewelry that we can make. Um, so that's planned for then, but for now we're gonna stick with the glory as we finish the heart tier. That did not take too long whatsoever. First experience with the demonic gorillas and it was not a bad one necessarily. Now do we have to go back straight away? It could well be because there's three more. Let's see what we get. Oh boy, more PVM content, a unique from Zolra. And that means that we will now get either the Blowpipe or the Magic Fang. So that's going to be a massive upgrade and that's going to be useful for different things. So I'm quite excited for this one, actually. <laughs> Finally, we're going to get one of the Fangs from Zolra. Let's go. Hey, just cooking some food in preparation of Zolra and there's another cooking level. 79, just one level away from the big 80. That's going to look nice once we get there, but once we're done with this preparation, we can head out to the Head Snake and see if we get lucky on the Fang. I think we're ready. We're gonna start using Vengeance. We've got the Serp Helm, we've got the Trident, we've got how many teleport scrolls? 84 Zolandra teleport scrolls. So we're gonna start using those as well. And I think we can do two kill trips now with our current setup and stats. So we'll see how that goes, but let's get started. We have currently got 203 KC, I believe. So let's see when we get this new unique. First kill, not too bad, I would say. No luck yet. Death runes, adamant bars, and Zora scales. 204 KC, like I said, is what we start with. PB is 149. I feel like we might break that this task. Ooh, new PB, guys. 1 minute 42. Let's go. We are factually gaming right now. 250 KC now at Zora. We're getting there. Almost at the uh, 256, which means the drop rate for two items, which we already have. So we might have to do quite a lot more kills to get this third unique from Zora. All right, there it is. 76 Herblore. Just preparing some more potions for Zora here. We can now also make the magic potions unboosted, so that's pretty nice. 76 already. We could technically make brews now if we boost plus 5. 300 Zora KC now. Look at that. It's getting up there. 97 so far on this task, so we're getting closer to half the drop rate, I suppose, of this task specifically. Don't give me a unique. Thank God for that. Fuck's sake. What was I doing? Hello? No, fuck. I saw... Ah, damn it. I saw the, the fucking orange. Orange is the color. I saw the orange text, but it's an onyx. It's the second onyx from Zora now at 324 KC, 121 kills into the task. Still no other uniques, but there's at least something. An onyx. Yay. All right, this right here is going to be kill number 128 on the task. That means that we're halfway to basically the drop rate for one of these two fangs, and we still don't have it. Just the onyx so far. Not too bad, though. Another spirit seed. That's number two. Not really what I want. We have killed 150 Zora so far on this task. 353 KC in total. Still only the Onyx, but we have about 15.8 mil in loot so far. So that's looking pretty good. I did not die. Don't worry, I did not die. I'm just taking a quick trip to Priv. I wanted to see what the, what the city was doing on this fine Saturday afternoon. I'm gonna do a spin for kill number 360. Another spin. There we go. 360 for kill 360 and we get Rune Ore. <gasps> yes! Magic Fang, guys. We are... <laughs> I'm sorry. That was way too excited. Holy shit. We got the Magic Fang. 378 KC. Let me slap that bad boy straight on the truck. Oh, it has to be uncharged. Okay, let me do that first. We got it! Yes. We are free. Let's go. 378kc in total, 175 on the task for both a duplicate onyx and the magic fang. The only thing missing now is the tanzanite fang, but with the changes coming soon, you know, it might not be too bad that we don't have the blowpipe yet. Let me uncharge my trident. Let me slap the magic fang on there. You need a shizzle. Come on, dude. Stop. <laughs> Help. Work with me here. Magic fang on trident. Yes, there we go. 
Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're growing stronger by the minute. That's looking good. That is amazing. I'm glad. I'm happy with that one. Beautiful. Let's move on to the next task. What if we get Zora again and we have to get the Tenzin Night Fang as well now? That would be interesting. But I hope not, because I'm quite done with Zora for a bit. 175 kills is all it took. Let's move on to the next task. So just about three days of Zora later and we have the Magic Fang now. If we complete this task, we are not going to get a hard task next because there's two new medium tasks that we have to do first. One of them is being beginner clues because I changed the way they are spread across the tier. So there's going to be two more beginner uniques we have to get from the medium tier. Plus we also have to get the Ectoplasmator from Soul War. So let's see which one is going to be first. It is going to be the Ectoplasmator. So we are going to Soul Wars for the very first time. And I believe this one is 250 points or whatever it's called in Soul Wars. Let's go have a look because I have no idea how this works. First things first, let's talk to the Nomad here. Are you ready for that demonstration? Let's do it. Very well, let's get started. Okay, here we go. Oh, we get teleported away. Hello? It's me. Avatar. Oh, oh, there's the Avatar of Creation. Oh my, he's a big guy. I think we're ready now to play some Soul Wars after all of that explanation that I didn't pay attention to. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, let's go. Woo! 250 is what we need for the Ectoplasmator. And the next task will be the Soul Cape in the heart tier as well. 2,500 tokens. Check out this dead chicken. Hmm, very interesting. I was wondering if you could maybe make your capes do something similar to what this does. Let's see what we can do. Mutters an incantation and enchants your Soul Wars capes. Alright, cool. So now that effect applies to the capes. Nice. And, and we're off! We're doing stuff, hell yeah, here we go. Um, take take some of these, take some of these, I don't know what they are. Potions of power, yes, let me drink one. Woo, I'm just following the, the group. That's what I'm doing. Now what? Okay, I've got I've got 20 of these. Do, do I just run to the middle now and chuck them in? Wait, I'm team red and, and the thing is blue. That's not good. I don't have player attack options on, do I? Can I just sacrifice or not? I sacrificed. Is that good? Am I going to get rewarded for that now? Is Does killing people help as well? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just... Three, two, one. And the first game of Soul Wars has been concluded, I think. The game ended in a draw, which means we get... Why do you only get 33 zeal? Okay, so I think I have to, like, uh, do damage to the avatar and bury bones as well, or what? Because I'm not sure. Anyways, we have 33, we need 250, so I guess we'll have to do this a few more times. Second game, and we get 34 zeal again. 67 in total now. Oh boy, 60 zeal for winning the first time. There we go, nice. I think we are done here, aren't we? Because that is 50 zeal from that game, and we now have 262, which is just about enough to get the Ectoplasmator, which costs 250. If we trade the Nomad right now, we can go ahead and go to Other and buy the Ectoplasmator, just like that. We have it. We now have a Bone Crusher for things that don't have bones, and that's going to be useful when doing barrows and other ghostly activities. So we are ready to move on to the Beginner Clues, because we need two more Beginner Clue caskets. Beginner Clue Uniques, rather, from the Medium tier. But let's go to the Spreadsheet anyways let's generate that task so the first time we went to soul wars only one more item left from soul wars we have to get which is the soul cape which is a hard task so we might have to go back soon we can complete the ectoplasmator 99 medium we're gonna complete the medium tier for i believe the third time now once we complete this next task which is going to be three new uniques from beginner clues and we are currently at 10 out of 15 or 11 out of 16 whichever way you want to look at it which means we have to get two more right now so let's grab some beginner caskets we got from the bryophyta grind earlier let's open those and see which two more uniques we're gonna get from those so we have 152 beginner reward caskets and we have 11 out of 16 beginner treasure trail uniques we still need the shoulder parrot both monk rope trimmed pieces the Sandwich Lady Bottom and the Rune Scimitar Ornament Kit Saradomin. So it's one of, no, two of those five that we are supposed to get right now. I better get those two from the 152 caskets. Let's see which ones we are gonna get. Oh, there's one of them, the Rune Scimitar Ornament Kit Saradomin. That is actually one that we are missing. No longer though. New collection lock item. Rune Scimitar Ornament Kit Saradomin. Starting with a new one, not a duplicate. What if we don't get any duplicates? That would be crazy actually. Frog Slippers, there is a duplicate right there. Let me pick up those. And there's another duplicate, the Amulet of Defense Trimmed. Okay, we're, we're down to 100 caskets and we've only had three items so far with one unique. Not the greatest, but let's see when we get the next one. Another duplicate, Sandwich Lady Top. 
Ooh, another duplicate. Rune Scimitar Zemurek Ornament Kit. Oh god, oh god. This is not going well, to be honest. We're, we've opened more than half of the caskets. Still only one unique so far. Yes! Yes, we got the parrot. The one that I wanted the most. We did it, guys. We did it. With 68 caskets left to spare for the final three uniques in the hard tier. Not too bad. Not too great either, I would say, but I'll take it. Uh, that's that's decent. That's good enough in my book. Uh, we got the two uniques. We got four duplicates along the way as well. And we have some caskets left for next time. Lovely jubbly. We've got a new friend and we are ready for the next hard task. Let's go and complete the medium tier again. Alrighty, completing the medium tier again. Look at that. The 100% is back. Now, do we get the hard tier beginner clue task as well? Because we still have three uniques left to get, of course, in the hard tier. Let's see what the next one is going to be. Oh, unique shard one. Oh, so it's the Chaos Fanatic. So we have to go back there for the Mal Malediction shard, I believe. Last time we went super dry on the Odium shard. So let's hope we get the Malediction shard a bit sooner. And then I think we can make our first Wildy Shield because we already have the Malediction shard from Scorpia as well. So let's go back to the Chaos Fanatic. So we are ready to go, I believe. Uh, if I die with this gear on, I might lose the Ancient Coif, but I can always protect it as well if I am in time with that one. We are starting with 377 KC. That's when we got the Odium Shard one. Let's see how long it'll take for the Malediction Shard one. It's a 1 in 256. So we are already over the drop rate if you look at it like that. But, you know, we're only going to look at it at the start of this task. Here we go. And we are now at 400 KC in total already. 23 kills so far on this task. Not too shabby. Just about one trip done so far. I got the Malediction Shard after 26 kills on the task. Let's get out of here and we are done. 403kc. Nice. Easy game. <laughs> nice. That was literally the second trip at the Chaos Fanatic. And we never have to kill him ever again. How lovely is that? We can also make the full Malediction Ward now because we have all of the shards. We only need the Odium Shard now from Scorpia, and then we are done with the Wildy Demi Bosses. So that'll be nice once we get that one as well. Let's go and make that ward before getting the new task. Let's grab all of the shards and let's go to the Volcano or whatever it's called. This is literally the first time I'm ever doing this on an account. So uh, let's throw all of them. How does this work? Volcanic Forge. There we go. You drop the three shield shards into the mouth. We got the Malediction Ward. Look at that. It's a cool looking shield. It's like, you know, the Tsar shield, but different you can also get a uh what's it called an ornament kit from lms i believe uh, i don't think we'll ever get that maybe one day for the fashion scape but that's looking pretty good right i like it nice let's move on to the next task maybe we'll get that odium shard next from scorpia unique shard one has been completed and with that we never have to kill the chaos fanatic ever again i believe that leaves us at 68 percent hard now do we get the unique shard three next what's it gonna be it's back to the Demonic Gorillas. Last time we got the Zenite Shard. Maybe we'll get another one along the way, but we have to get one of the other uniques this time around. No way, we have the Heavy Frame. Oh my god, get out of here. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. I have the Heavy Frame. That is literally 1 in 1500 on the, on the third kill of this task. <laughs> I mean, yes. Heavy Frame. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Oh my god, that's one of the two rarest items we can get from the Money Gorillas. Literally three kills into this task. That is that is like, wait, that's 73 KC in total. We had 70 KC for the Zenite and now 3 KC. Anyways, heavy frame, task completed. Cool, moving on. <laughs> Spooning continues, yes. <laughs> You know, if, if we always keep getting lucky on items like that, I'm gonna be in the Elite tier in no time. We can complete another unique from the Demonic Gorillas, and now we are officially 69% hard. Nice. Alright, moving on swiftly to the next task, which is back to the Hallowed Sepulchre for two more uniques over there. I'm not even sure which ones that's gonna be, but I think there's one left that costs 100, and then another one that is 250 or something like that. We'll have a look, but uh, back to the Hallowed Sepulchre we go. So it looks like we are about to get 350 hallowed marks because we need 100 for the hallowed hammer and then 250 for the hallowed ring. Those are going to be the next two items for us to obtain. Although we could still get lucky and get the strange old luck pick along the way as well. And then we only need 100 for the hammer. Let's go to the sepulcher and let's see which one we'll have to get. I think we have everything though that we need. Time for some more agility training. 37k until 81. I feel like we might get that level on this task. And there's 101 marks, which means we have enough to buy the Hallowed Hammer. So that's going to be the first out of two items that we get for this task. We'll still have to get 250 more for the ring unless we get the lockpick along the way. But uh, we'll see if that happens. 
All right, let's trade the mysterious stranger and let's get the hammer first. Boom. Oh, apparently that doesn't give the message from the collection log that you get a new item. But there we go. There's the first one. Let's get the ring or the lockpick. Unexpected new PB there. 153 on floor 3. I'm sure that that's still garbage, but we take those. And there's 81 agility coming in as well. Just one level away from the next floor. Also, one second of the PB again. We're gaming. Guys, look at that. We have the strange old lockpick. That means we don't have to get the 250 marks to get the ring because we are done with the task. That is a new item. Look at that. Untradeable drop. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> Valuable drop. This one right here. <laughs> That, that's the that's the marks. We, we got the lockpick. Nice. I thought it was going to be the uh, the new collection lock message, but it doesn't show for that one, unfortunately. But we can move on. So that means that next time we will go for the ring at 250 marks. And then I think there's one thing else at 300 marks, which is going to be the last two uniques we get in the heart tier from Hello Sepulchre. But let's find out if that's going to be the next task or not. So we did end up getting lucky enough in the end there to get the lockpick. And that means that the next task is going to be a pretty quick one as well. It's not going to take too long to get the final two uniques from the Hello Sepulchre. We can complete this one for now. We're still stuck at 69% hard. So that means that the next task is going to get us to 70. Now what's that next task going to be? Let's find out straight away. It's going to... Oh no man, dude. I'm just done with the other shard. And now I have to do Scorpia for the Odium Shard 3. We're going back to the wilderness already. It didn't take too long. But yeah, at least that's exciting, right? Wildy content, always fun. Let's see if we get the Scorpia pet along the way. Imagine that. That would be cool. All right, let's charge the Toxic Trident for the first time because that's what we're going to use as well for killing Scorpia here. Boom, look at that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We have plenty of Zora skills for a while, hopefully. Uh, let's gear up and let's head out. We are currently at 38 Scorpia KC from the Maldiction Shard. Let's find out how long it's going to take to get the Odium one as well. And then we are done with those Wildy Demi bosses because we'll have both the Malediction Ward and the Odium Ward. So that's going to be very nice. We are looking ready, right? We've got Ice Barrage, we've got everything needed. Let's go and kill some Scorpia. Woo! Wait, how did that not freeze him? <laughs> Anyways. I'll just log out, I guess. Alright, we're chilling. <laughs> Right, that's gonna be the end of a first full trip where Picare didn't interrupt us. We're at 73 KC now in total, Three, 34 kills into the task so far. No luck yet, just some rune items. That's gonna be kill number 50 in total on this task so far. 89 KC, I'm gonna, gonna call it here for the day. First day of Scorpia done, and there's Gib. Hope he doesn't kill me, because I am I'm like a weak lamb right now. Gib, don't do it! Okay, he's following me, we're all good. It's gonna be the last kill of this trip. Unfortunately, on the last trip, I died against the Picare because he was waiting outside when I had no food left. Let's see if that's the case this time around. Now we're all good. 134 KC now. We killed 94 so far on this task. So almost at 100 already. The kills are fairly quick, so it won't take too long to get to the drop rate, which is gonna be 256 in total. Let's see if we get it before that or not. All right, look at that. 150 Scorpia KC, 110 on this task. Hey, we just reached 128 KC on the task, which is the drop rate for any shard. But in total we have 168, so I guess we can't complain yet about not getting anything this task. 150 KC on the task, 190 KC in total. 200 total KC. Nice. 160 KC on the task. 240 KC on the task and 200... No, 200 on the task and 240 in total. Yes, that's what I meant to say. Just 16 away now from the drop rate of a singular specific shard. And we are now at 256 KC in total. That means we're on the drop rate for a specific shard. Still only have the Malediction one though from the first Scorpia task. But I mean, we are getting a lot of kills per hour. So I feel like this still won't take too long, even if we go dry. But let's just hope that it's not too dry. All right, this is going to be kill number 256 on the task. 297 KC in total, which means we are dry, I suppose. And we don't have the Odium Shard yet. Need to buy some more food, just bought some more death runes as well to keep going. We're getking closer to 98 magic, only 116k XP away, but we're not done with the task yet, so we uh, we might still get that on this task, who knows. Just finished another trip and ran out of Trident charges, so we have to spend some more money on death runes once again. We're already at 303kc on the task, 345 in total, and still don't even have a duplicate Malediction Shard either. 404kc, Odium Shard still not found. There it is, guys. Look at that. 98 magic. Oh, I fucked up. Uh, I froze Scorpia. Didn't mean to do that. But yeah, 98 magic. 
Just one level until that one is 99 as well. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. We have the pet. Oh, shit. It happened. It happened. I saw so much text in my chat window. Oh, my God. Run. Pfft. How do I keep getting pets? Just give me my audio <laughs> chart. We still haven't had a duplicate malediction either. And we just got the pet. We have Scorpia's offspring at 489 KC. Holy shit, dude. Nah, there's no way we actually got it. Let me go to Ardy as well to go and insure it straight away. Yes. Guys, that means that we've just completed the final boss pet task in the Elite tier. There was one more boss pet task that we would have to do in the Elite tier. <laughs> but we now have our fourth boss pet with Scorpia's offspring. Look at that. Oh my god. Dude, I love it. <laughs> yes. Look at that little fella. Let me go grab some money and let me go insure that one straight away. Oh my god. We're going dry on this task, but that makes up for it. I'm, I'm not mad anymore. I'm happy. <laughs> Let's use the Scorpia's offspring on Probita. That's another 500,000 coins down the drain, but look at that. We've got the pet Dagonoth Prime, pet Kraken, Scorpia's offspring, and Skodos now. I'll go and complete that task on the spreadsheet once we get the Odium Shard. We'll just mark that one as completed, but look at that. I'm, I'm so happy with this one. Scorpia's offspring. That means that if we get the Odium Shard, that's going to be another section on the collection that completed. Let's go and get it. Wow, 500 kills in already in total. God damn. I don't know how, long, how much longer we're going to be here for this Odium Shard, but hey, at least we've already got the pet to show for it. So I don't mind too much. Well, we just did another 100 kills and that is 600 KC. Uh, yes. Wow, who would have thought another 100 kills all the way up to 700 KC already now. I mean, before you know it, I might unironically get 99 mage here, but there's no way that's happening, right? Uh, but just to throw a little salt in the wound, just throw a dragon spear at my face, why don't you? Yes, I'll take another one of those. Thank you. Please. Please, 800 KC. A prayer potion. Oh, oh yes, uh, just what I needed. Slowly approaching that 1000 KC and I'm not a big fan of it. Not gonna lie. 900k until 99 magic. Almost 20 mil hit points. It's rough out here. Rough out here in the Scorpia prison. Right, we're at 900 KC now. It just keeps going. We're not done and we are not stopping anytime soon. Uh, 1000, next stop. We might go uh, four times drop rate on this one again. Wow, that took a while, but there's the first duplicate shard. The Malediction Shard 3 coming in once again at 940 KC. We finally saw something after like 900 kills on this task. It's still not an Odium, but at least we have another Malediction Shard to show for it as well. Ah, uh, yes. Let's keep going until we get this Odium though. All right, here we go. Kill number 1000. The big one is another prayer potion. <sighs> that means that we are now approximately like two percentile uh, of, of dry people, which d doesn't mean many good things. Uh, we're super dry, basically. 1000 Scorpia KC. This is the crazy archaeologist all over again with the malediction shard there. But hey, what can you do? We're already 40. 40% of the way to 99... 40%? Jesus Christ, 40% of the way to 99 magic. That, there's no way that's happening, right? Nah, it can't be. It can't be. New collection log item, Odium Shard 3. Okay, guys, let's get out of here. 1,019 kill count. Run. Run. <laughs> get out of the wilderness. We are done with Scorpia. Thank God, right before four times the drop rate, because that would be 1024, but we got it at 1019. Beautiful, beautiful, lovely. Oh, that took like basically an entire week of Scorpia to get this stupid Odium Shard 3, but we finally have it. Let's go and take the other two pieces once again, like we did with Melediction. Let's go make that Odium Ward now. Ah, uh, yes, throwback to the good old crazy archaeologist where we got four of these things. Ah, uh, look at that. All three of them. Let's grab the wilderness sword as well. Let's go and put them together. Here we are. Let us use it on the thing. How? Where is the thing? Boom. Odium ward has been made. Look at that. I think that is our new range best in slot shield. I think it's better than the, uh, the armadil book, right? So that's pretty cool. We take that. We now have all three Tsar shield colors. Look at that. That's pretty cool. We can make like 
Different color combinations. All right, we also got a lot of loot to Alk because uh, our cash tag went down from like 39 mil all the way to 32, but it's gonna get back up there a little bit with all of these rune items. I'll probably Alk them in a bit. But first, let's get this new task and let's see what that's gonna be. After about a week of amazing Scorpia content, we can finally move on. That also means that we are no longer 69% hard because we are now onto 70. Only 30% left of the hard here. I feel like this, this went by very quickly, but we still have a lot of tasks left. So let's see what is gonna be next. It's gonna be back to barrows for us. We need one more unique once again. Let's go do some more barrows. Now, before I completely forget, I still have to mark the Scorpia pet as completed as well, of course, because I got a new boss pet once again, and that is the last one in the Elite tier. So we are completely done with pets for now, and that's pretty nice, 4% Elite. Now, one thing I can do as well is go to the pet tab and mark that one, because I don't think I've done that for the previous one either. The pet Degonoth Prime, I've got that one, and now we also got Scorpia right here. Boom, four pets, nice. Oh yeah, now of course, one more thing, thanks to the fact that we got the, the pet as well, if we now go to bosses, to Scorpia, that's gonna be the entire section completed. Look at that, three out of three in 1019 kills. We got the pet, we got the Odium Shard, and two Malediction Shards. That's looking pretty nice. Let's alk all of these things real quick before we go to Barrows. Let's see how much money we get back from that. All right, we are done alking. We have 5.8 million coins, uh, so that brings us back to a total of 38 mil. So we didn't really lose that much from Scorpio. That's nice to see. And now let's get ready for some barrows. All right, here we go. First chest of the task. <laughs> wait, wait, do we have the... Wait, do I... Wait, hold up. Oh, I do have them. Damn, it's a duplicate. Okay, never mind. It's a duplicate. It's a duplicate. We're starting with a duplicate. 408 barrows chest count. No worries. No worries. I did also just realize that I should probably bring that lockpick that I got from Hello Sepulcher. So let me take that one as well. There's the other hammers. <laughs> Let's add those onto them. Let's bring this strange old lockpick. So the things I do still need from the weapons, it's only one, the Varric Flail. We need one legs, which is a Derox Blade Legs. Then there's three bodies with Carol, Guthan, and Torek, and two helms with Carol's Coif and Varric's Helm. I think the thing I want the most right now is probably Carol's Leather Top. So let's see if we get that one. Oh, <gasps> we got an elite clue. We can try and get another casket here. Lovely. Hey, we've done it. We've got another elite casket that is going straight to the bank. And now we can continue with the barrels grind. Only five chests in and we, we've had duplicate Toric hammers and an elite casket now. Not too bad so far. Oh my god, we got the Varex helm. 11 chests. That is new, right? Because we didn't have that. Look, it's a new item, but it didn't show with the uh, plugin. But there we go. We got it. A new unique. 19 out of 25. Wow, we only have 6 left in, in 418 chests. I feel like that's very good, actually. I feel like that's very good. 418. Uh, just one item away from full Varric. <laughs> actually, we still only have full Eren. We're one item away from Derog, Guthan, Torek, and Varric as well. Pretty good. Pretty good. I like that. 11 chests on this task is all it took. We still have to get two more bear uniques in the heart tier, though. Let's see what the next task is going to be. We also got one elite clue casket along the way again, so that's a nice one. Let's go back to the spreadsheet. So that was a quick one after the long Scorpia grind. That was only two hours of barrows and we completed it together with one elite clue as well. Two more barrow tasks in the heart here, four more in elite. Do we get the back to back barrows? <laughs> no, we don't. We get the soul cape task which means we have to go to soul wars and get 2500 points to buy the cape well uh, here we go uh, the ectoplasmator wasn't too bad because that was only 250 but this one is gonna take a bit longer all right let's go and get it hey look at that we earned 50 zeal in a draw i think that's that's good right that's about the max amount you can get i'm pretty sure so uh well 50 zeal done we only have about 2450 left to go <laughs> Okay, so I think we've got things figured out. We earned 60 zeal on this victory. We did also a lot of avatar damage, to be honest. 443, that's a decent amount. Let's try and keep applying this tactic and we'll see if we always get the maximum of points. Just a matter of rushing the graveyard, uh, getting some fragments, healing some people, and uh, then rushing the, uh, the avatar. So uh, let's see if we can keep this up. It's time. I have obtained the Crystal Halberd for the very first time because I got laughed at for having a Dragon Heli and I... Yeah, I can't stand by that. I, I, I went for the crystal one. Yep, now we're loaded. Let's go. Well, with that 36 zeal we got from that loss, we are now over 1,000 zeal tokens. Just just another 1,500 to go. Well, just a bit less, but man, this takes a while. Jesus Christ. 
So I, I kind of messed up and stayed AFK for too long at the enemy avatar. And now I got kicked and can't enter again. So I feel like buying a crate just once. I know this is not gonna like make the task any faster. If anything, it makes it slower because obviously it might take longer. But it's only 30 tokens. So let's get a pet. Boom. Uh, I, I did not get the pet. I did not get the pet. Okay. Well, that's a shame. That's a shame. Maybe maybe next time if we do end up having 30 extra at the end. Who knows? So we got 1260 zeals now. Zeal tokens. That means we're halfway. Halfway to the 2500. Just another, I don't know how many hours left of Soul Wars. But yeah, if we get the max amount, at least it takes a bit less long. So that's nice. There it is. 60 zeal once again for a victorious game where we did everything we could. And we are now over 2,000 zeal tokens. Just less than 500 left until we are finally done with Soul Wars. I cannot wait. But we're getting ever so close. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Four minutes left till I get six hour locked. The game is seven minutes left. No, this is just pure pain. I'm, I'm like 150 points away and, and I'm getting punished. Oh, this this is just... Oh, man. Nah, but I I just got six hour locked. And now I'm now I've got a 10 minute penalty for leaving. It, it had it had one minute 30. Oh man, this is fine. It's it's only the final stretch. We're almost done. Yeah, this is this is okay. We have made it. The end of the very last game of Soul Wars for us, because that is gonna give us 60 zeal for that victory, and that is 2,515 zeal tokens in total. Thank God for that. Let's finally trade. The Nomad. Let's go to other. And oh my god, there's a lot of things here now. I didn't even realize. But we can get the Soul Cape now, which is 2,500 tokens done with the task. Is this cape any good? I think it gives plus 8 prayer bonus and that's about it. Let me take a look here if it gives anything else. It's only plus 8 prayer. So it might be useful at some activities where you really only care about prayer bonus. But yeah, there we go. We've got it. It can change from red to blue and the other way around. That's pretty nice. We are done with Soul Wars forever. Let's go and get the next hard task. The Soul Cape has been obtained after about 3 to 4 days of Soul Wars. I, I think it took me like 18 hours in total, I'm not even sure, I lost track, but... We, we got a decent method going and it, it worked out in the end. We got the cape, we can finally complete that one. 71% into the heart tier now. Alrighty, is it gonna be more boring content or is it some more... Maybe PVM? Let's find out. Pff, okay, that's fine. A unique from Unsired. I'm okay with that, because you know... We do have two bludgeon pieces so far, which is quite lucky to have those two as the first on side uniques. We can find out if we can get the full bludgeon now. We only need one more bludgeon piece, but it could be something else that we get from the next Unsired. But let's try and get a new Abyssal Demon task and let's go back to the Abyssal Sire once more. So we have to go back to the Abyssal Sire. We currently have a Basilisk Slayer task still, so I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna start tutorial skipping again to try and get another Abyssal Demon task. For that I need to do some preparations. I'm gonna cut some opal, make some more bracelets because I completely ran out of those. And as soon as we get that Abyssal Demon task, we are ready to go back to the Sire. And we'll see what we get from the next Sire. Alright, ready to get started. Let us get rid of the Basilisk task and let's start killing some cows. Also, did I disable the basilisk yet? No, I didn't. Let me disable those, because we're never killing basilisks again after getting the jaw. There we go. There it is! 210 abyssal demons. We are ready for some sire. Let's get geared up. I think I might have to get some more supplies as well, but uh, we'll see how that goes once I'm ready. We're gonna head out to the sire. I think we are all set up and ready to go to sire. Let's head out. I believe we have about 113 KC or something. How much was it? Uh, KC Sire is currently 131, which uh, is what we got two Unsires in, both being a bludgeon piece. Let's find out what we get from the next one. Hopefully we'll get that one soon as well. All right, first trip, not too bad. Just warming up and we got four kills on the first one. So that ain't too bad. Off to a decent start. 135 KC now. Kill number 150 for some more jugs of water. 19 kills into the task so far, 150 in total. Not bad, I think we've done 3 or 4 kills every trip so far, so that's not too bad. Interesting, guys, we've got an elite clue scroll. And some Sarah Bruise as well to go along with it. Let us see here. Can we do this elite clue? West of the entrance to the ice path. Well, we'll give it a go. Let's see if we can do it. Hey, we did it! Another cask, and I think that's number 3 now, right? Added to the bank. Not too bad, next elite clue task. We'll be able to open those again. 
Kill number 200 in total for some more jugs of water. That's all we're getting. 69 kills on the task. Nice. Well, that was a big trip. That was probably like six kills or something. But we got another elite clue. That's the second one on the task so far in 81 kills, 212 KC in total. Southwest of Apatol. Let's head out. Let's see if we can get that fourth casket in the bank now. I also just ran out of charges on my crystal bow, so I'll have to recharge that one. Recharge my arc light as well, because that's 200 charges left. And we'll come back after the elite clue as well. We did it. Casket number four. Let's go back to Sire. We've got the bow recharged, the arc light recharged. We're good to go. Kill number 100 on this task 231 kc in total still no unsired inside we've got about 4.9 mil in loot so far uh we're also getting quite some slayer xp to be honest we're about 28 percent on the way to 93 already which is going to be the highest level we need in the hard tier so <laughs> we'll see how much more xp we get on this task but yeah 100 kills in now guys 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 we have an unsired 109 kills in 240 kc in total let us make our way over to the fond and let's see if we get a unique oh here we go this could be our bludgeon right here this could be a whip as well or something else that we don't need as a reminder we need we need the bludgeon piece the abyssal dagger or the abyssal head all of those complete the task the pet does not complete the task the jar does not complete the task and the whip does not complete the task either Let's find out which one we end up getting. Here we go. Into the font of consumption. Yes! We have a full bludgeon in 240 kill count. Let's fucking go. Get the hell out of here. We take those. Gladly take those. 240 kills. Three unsires. Three bludgeon pieces. And we're done with Sire in the heart here. Lovely. Let's take all of those pieces out of the bank. Look at that. Axon, Claw, and the Spine. Put them together. Ah, oh, fuck. I need to go to the Nexus. Okay. Hang on. Okay, now. Now we can do it. Okay, that's super scuffed. Holy moly. We got it. We've got it. Abyssal Bludgeon on the task account. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, that's so good. That is so nice. <laughs> 240 KC for the Bludgeon. Lovely jubbly. That is us done with Sire for the hard tier. Yep, time to move on. Let's get a new task. Man, what a great way to get the final unique from Unsired in the hard tier. Three Unsireds, three bludgeon pieces. That's really all you could ask for, isn't it? Especially in the KC that we had to get. But we are done with the task. And that puts us back to 71% after adding those Shades of Morton tasks. Which also means that the next task is going to be Shades of Morton in the medium tier. Because there's two more in there. So there we go, we have to go back to the Shades of Morton to get some of those new uniques that they've recently added to the collection log as well. So let's see what the new version of Shades of Morton is like. Let's get back out there and uh, kill some Shades, get some Remains, burn some Logs and get some uniques. So here we are in Morton. I guess step one is gonna be collecting a bunch of oil to make all of the pyre logs. So I'm gonna buy a bunch of builder supplies uh, from the store here, stack up on those, and then we'll start building the temple, getting some oil, and then we'll probably start gathering those keys. Okay, we got about 33 magic pyre logs prepped now. I'm gonna kill some shades now, get some remains, and we'll go for that silver lock first. Because if we get that one, we can make that coffin, which is gonna be able to store a lot of remains. And we'll, use, we'll be able to use that one for the future tasks as well. I do like the way this new place looks though. Looks a lot better than it used to be. Now I just gotta find the fire shades. Let's get going. Let's kill a few of these. Let's get some remains. All right, let's start using some of these logs with the remains and let's see if we get any of the new gold keys as well because we do have a chance of getting those, although it's fairly unlikely. All right, there it is, a gold key. We'll probably save this one for now as that'll be able to unlock all of the doors in the crypts. Now, if we do get another one, we can already open a gold chest and see if we get lucky on that one. Okay, we got another gold key, so we can actually try and open one of those. Who knows, maybe we'll be super lucky on one of the zealot pieces or a, uh, a book. That would be super nice. Let's open all the silver keys and then let's try our luck at the gold chest as well. Ooh, there's another amulet of the damned. Another amulet of the damned. And no luck on any of the locks yet. So let's try opening one of the gold keys and then we'll get some more remains. Here we go. Mithril plate skirt. Lovely. Nothing from the silver keys. We do have two more gold keys, though. Let's go open two more gold chests. 
Give me that zealot piece. Go on. Ooh, a dragon longsword. From the second one, we get three battle staffs. Come on, baby! Rune plate legs and another fine cloth. <sighs> Any locks? No, another amulet of the damned. <laughs> Let's see how many we have of those at the end. I feel like we're gonna have so many of these amulets. Dragon dagger. And soul runes, boo. Amulet of the damned number four, I think. <gasps> we got the silver locks. Okay, nice. So there's the first new unique from Shades of Morden. And we can also use this one on the coffin, which I'm gonna get straight away. Which we can then use to store all of the remains. I believe it can hold 30 remains, so that's basically like a second inventory at all times during Shades of Morton. So that's gonna help a lot. Let's get that one, let's make that coffin, and then we'll generate the next task, which is also gonna be a Shades of Morton unique. So I'll use this gold key as well, and then we'll go for the bronze lock probably. So this guy right here, I believe, gives us the thing. You hand over the coffin and the lock, and there we go, we have the silver coffin. Which we can now fill with remains and we can wear as well. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go quickly to the spreadsheet. Complete the task, get a new one and then we'll continue. Also, it seems like that one took about 48 silver keys. Actually, 48 keys in total out of which 7 gold keys to get that uh, silver lock. So, about 41 silver keys I believe to get the locks. Alright, so we're gonna quickly complete the Shades of Morton task. That'll put us at 99% medium, but we still have one more to go, so we are not done yet with Shades of Morton for now. There it is. Get what you need from Shades of Morton once again. Alright. Could it be the gold key spoon? No, it's not. Adamant full helm. Like I said, I'll probably go for the bronze locks now, because that's gonna be the fastest one to get. We just have to kill the lowest level shades. Let's do that. Although I do think I still have two silver, uh, two fear remains in the bank as well. So I'm using willow logs with some Frin remains now to get a mix of steel and bronze keys and we'll see if we get one of those logs with the ones that I have gathered so far. Alright, 16 keys. We got three bronze ones here, all of the others are steel. Let's see if we get one of the locks, if we get the bronze lock or the steel lock. Does not look like we'll get it from the bronze keys, let's try our luck at the steel keys. Oh, we got a medium clue. Does not look like it. We found an undead zealot though. I don't know if you can get anything from those, but I don't think so. Alright, no luck yet on the first inventory. Ah, uh, still don't have it. No. <laughs> that is now, I believe, let me think, 42. 42 keys in. Mixture of steel and bronze, mostly steel, but no luck yet. Oh yes, we got it on the first one. Okay, nice. <laughs> we got the bronze locks. Guys, we're done with that one as well. Uh, I guess I never really need the bronze keys anymore. I'll keep the steel keys for next time. Because we do have to get the steel locks still. So next time we'll be able to use all of those straight away. But we got it in 43 locks in total now. That is uh, steel and bronze combined. Looks like it was about 11 bronze keys. Not too bad. We are done with the medium tier again. Let's go back to the spreadsheet. Let's get our new hard tier task. Let's go. Shades of Morton in the medium tier has been completed. Oh, once again, 100%. I don't, I've lost track of how many times we've completed the medium tier now, but once again, we can move back to the hard tier. There's two Shades of Morton tasks in the hard tier, so that's about a 1 in 22 chance right now to get the Shades of Morton task. Once again, let's see what we get. It is a unique champion scroll. Ah, yes, Zombies 2.0. Um, I think the next one I'm going for is probably Chogers, maybe. I think I might go for Jogers. I'll, I'll decide in a second here, but we are once again starting a grind for a unique champion scroll. This one might be a rough one, or we can spoon it. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Let's get started. We're heading out to the pothole dungeon. We're going to go for the Joker champion scroll. We'll see how long this one takes. This is going to be one of the, uh, the harder ones, I suppose, as far as champion scrolls go that we've done so far. But we might get a decent amount of seeds, decent amount of herbs. Unless we get it very early on. We'll see. The zombies took ages. Surely we won't go super dry on two champion scrolls back to back, right? Here we go. Yes, please. This is it. Still baguette. Gimme, 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 gimme. Fucking onion, dude. <laughs> you know, if we're not getting the champion scroll, we're getting all of the quiz master randoms. Surely one of these will be the one soon. Here we go. That's a lot of nothing. That right there was skill number 1000. We're already a thousand jokers into the grind. One fifth of the way to the drop rate. 
Currently only 327 kills left for 98 attack as well, so that will come in fairly soon, unless we get the scroll before that, which I don't expect. But yeah, it's not too bad, killing these jokers fairly quick. Bit slower than the zombies probably, but hopefully we don't have to go as dry as we did over there. Gonna be the last kill of the day, I reckon, but that is 98 attack. Just one level away from our next 99 combat. How many kills is that? 5,120. So that would be slightly above the drop rate. That would get us to about 6.5k kills. We'll see if we have to go until that KC, but I mean, if it's any if it's gonna be anything like the zombies, we're gonna be here for a very, very long time. I think I can kill like a thousand a day on stream. Um, I could do more a day, but I don't want to drive myself insane, so we'll see how long I can keep this up, and let's see how long it still takes. 20 mil plus hit points XP as well now, so that's pretty cool. Here we go, this'll be Joker number 2000 already. And we just get another Iron Spear. Just like that, we are 1 mil 67,000 XP away from 99 attack. I don't think those actions are why- well, actions are attacks, I guess, so I'm not sure how many kills that's left, but like 4,500, I think. But yeah, no champion scroll yet, 2,000 kills in. Let's just keep going. Three total levels away from 1,900, actually, I just noticed. Not too bad. Alright, look at that. 10,010 trading sticks so far. They're stacking up quite nicely, eh? Guys, we got it! <laughs> we have the Joker champion scroll, guys. Look at that! 2,422 KC! We are done! You think you can defeat me? Come to the Champions Guild and prove it! The Champion of Jogers! Hell yeah! <laughs> we can move on, that is the final Champion Scroll in the heart tier. Four more left in the Elite tier. But we are getting a new task right now, let's get out of here. That was only three days of Jogers, not too bad. Oh, that's a nice little collection right there, look at that. Six different Champion Scrolls with the ten giant Champion Scrolls as well. Just four left, and once we have all of them, we will get the cape. But like I said, that's the elite tier. Let's get our next task. What should be the Bone Crusher? What should be the Mauritania Hard Diary? Calling it now. Would be nice still for the piety. Let's find out. That was not a bad one. Luckily, we didn't go dry on two champion scrolls back to back after the very dry zombie one. The jokers weren't too bad. We can complete that one. That leaves us at 71% hard still. Let's see if we get that Mauritania Diary now. That would be amazing still. Let's find out. It's the Lumbridge and Drainer Hard Diary. I think that was the only diary left that we didn't really need to get compared to the other ones. But uh, I'm not sure what we get from this. I'm not sure what we need for this. So let's take a look. So Lumbridge and Drainer Hard Diary. What do we need to do? What do we need to get? We've got the requirements for most of them, but we still have to do the Tears of Gothic's quest and another Slice of Ham. We also have to plant a Belladonna in advance so we can pick that later. But the main thing is that we unlock Dorgish Khan from this so we can eventually turn in all of the long and curved bones that we have in the bank for a massive construction XP boost, so that's gonna be very nice. Plus we will unlock Tears of Gothic's, which is something I won't end up doing other than this once, but that's still fine. Let's get uh, questing, let's plant that Belladonna first and let's do all of that. Alright, first things first, let's get this Belladonna growing. Let's rake the patch over here, plant it, and then that one can grow while we work on all of the quests. Now for another slice of ham, we still have to do Dead to the Dorgishan and the Giant Dwarf as well, so we've got quite some questing content coming right up. There we go, Belladonna planted, now we just wait. Alright, so let's start with the Giant Dwarf. Let's teleport to Blast Furnace, which is in Kendrin, and then we can get that first quest started and completed. Let's go. I think we've gone and done it. The giant dwarf has been completed. There's the first quest on our list that we had to do. Three more quests to go. I think I'll do death to the Dorgashan next. Then after that, we'll be able to do another slice of ham. We can now finally use the bone crossbow special attack. After all that time. Because we have completed death to the Dorgashan. Let's go. Next quest up is gonna be... Another slice of ham. So let's get that one going. So we can also enter Dorgish Khan for the very first time ever. Here we are in Dorgish Khan for the very first time ever, just to start the quest for now. We can also go and turn in all of the long bones and curved bones now, but I'll probably do that once we hit the elite tier, because then we're allowed to train our construction all the way up to unlock the highest pool. So we'll leave them in the bank for now and we'll get that dopamine rush once we complete the heart tier. Let's do another slice of ham. We have defeated Sigmund once more and now if we untie Zanik, I think that should do the trick, right? Zanik is free, and there goes the train. The grand opening of the Caldegrim train line, there we go. 
And that is another slice of ham completed as well. Just one quest left. And I believe we can take the train straight away to uh, complete one of the tasks as well. How does this work? Do I just walk on it? Yes, I think so. We just sit here for a bit. We're going to take the train to Keldegrim. And there we go. That is one task done already. Now we just have to do Tears of Guthics, which is going to be a very short quest, I'm pretty sure. And then we can complete all of the tasks other than waiting on our Belladonna seed to fully grow. That was a nice and quick quest with Tears of Guthix. Brings us to 258 total quest points. And now we have all of the quests completed for the diary. So it's time for another task here. Get 100 tears. I better not mess this up. Let's go. Focus now. Hey, we've done it. 100 water collected. We're even going to get a bit more than that as well. Oh, who's this? Beach Masters. Hello, welcome. See, I even got 150, dude. People said it couldn't be done. What is that? 160? Oh, no, never mind. Okay, I got a bit too eager there. <laughs> 159 tiers collected. Now, the funny thing is, is that this is going on fletching. Because fletching is my lowest skill at level 62. So there we go. We got some fletching XP. We've done another task. Let's work on all of the others now. And boom. Okay, you can't do that on dragon bones. I'll kill an Elkarid warrior. Never mind. <laughs> Cannot do bones to peaches on dragon bones. Today we learned. Let's pick up these and let's do bones to peaches on them. There we go. Let us pray at the altar in the jewel arena with smite activated. There we go. That's done as well. So if we light the helmet in here, that is another task done. Let's make the diamond amulet. Let us throw a ball of wool on there as well. And then all we have to do is enchant it. That's going to be another task done. Let's run over to the other side of the river and let's make a canoe. Making my way downtown. Battling fast. We have made it to Edgeville. Wait. Alright, let's cross some cosmic runes and then we just have to wait on the belladonna to grow and then we're done. Alright, let's make some cosmic runes real quick. And there it is. Now the last thing is the belladonna. So let's just wait and then we're done. And there is our fully grown belladonna. So let's go ahead and pick that one. And that means we are going to complete the... I need gloves for this, don't I? God damn it, let me go to the bank. Be right back. All right, we have returned with gloves. Let's try and pick it once again, and this should be successful this time around. There we go, 512 farming XP, six nightshades have been picked, and we have completed all of the hard tasks in the Lumbridge and Drainer area. Let's go back to Lumbridge and let's claim our reward and let's complete the task. Mr. H is Cassaintus, I have once again returned for the third time, because that is the hard Lumbridge diary done. Beautiful, we now have the Explorer's Ring 3, which allows us to teleport to the Cabbage uh, Patch unlimitedly. Unlimited? Un un unlimitedly. An unlimited time... <laughs> <laughs> we now have unlimited Cabbage teleports and 4 charges to restore half of our run energy. And collecting Tears of Guthix will now provide increased XP, which we will probably never do. And the shortcut from Lumbridge Swamp to the desert is now available. Let's use the lamp on Herblore as well. That's another chunk of XP right there. 15,000. And we now have the Explorer's Ring 3. Let's move on. Let's get a new task. Let's go back to the spreadsheet. Also, fuck this rat in particular. See you later, mate. And just like that, we've completed one of the last four heart diaries. We still have the ones left that we have been wanting the most for the entire heart year. But hey, hopefully we'll get them soon and hopefully they don't show up right at the end because I do want to get piety before I complete the heart year. Anyway, 72%. Let's see what the next task is going to be. Oh boy. It is, oh, it is time for Zora again. And that means that we have to get the final unique. And that one is the Tanzanite Fang for the blowpipe. They haven't done the balancing changes yet. I'm just saying, I might be able to experience the pre-nerf blowpipe for just a bit if we get it in time, that is. Let's see how long the final unique of Zora will take. All right, first things first, let's stock up on a bunch of supplies for the Zora grind. Thankfully, we have plenty of trading sticks from the Joker, so we can bank all of the rock around ones very easily and we can stock up on a lot of food straight away, get some more potions and then we are ready to go. I think we are all prepped and ready to go for now. 378 Zora KC is what we're starting with. That's when we got the Magic Fang, so that's also going to be the first time we're using the Trident of the Swamp at Zora, which is going to help out a bit, for sure. Uh, we got some charges left, but I'll probably have to recharge very soon. Let's see if we get super lucky on this Tanzanite Fang, or if we have to go very, very dry on this one. This could be a long one, but let's find out. Here we go. Let's get lucky. Back to back? Nope. Nope. No back to back with the Magic Fang. Has to be a PB. Oh my god, it's the same time. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Alrighty, kill number 400 in total. 
for some flex antidote, and that's probably the worst drop I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, cool. 400 KC, 22 kills into the task. We need to recharge our trident, so let's go do that first. All right, that was kill number 51. The previous kill was 50, but I forgot to record, so... Uh, 51 kills so far on this task, 429 KC in total. No luck yet, no duplicates either. Excuse me? And that's fine. It's fine, really. I, I, you know... No, it's fine. Okay, this is gonna be kill number 450 in total for... More snakeskin and some chaos runes. No luck yet, no duplicate in 72 kills on the task. New PB. Yay, new PB, there it is, 1 minute 40, 2 seconds faster than the previous one. That's the, the first PB after 74 kills with the Toxic Trident. Oh my god, new PB again, 137, another 3 seconds shaved off, and look at that, I didn't even use any supplies there, what the fuck? What a kill. That right there, 478 KC, was kill number 100 on the task. We still don't even have a duplicate. But obviously 128 is the drop rate for any of the four, so we'll see if we get it by then. And give me the Tanzanite Fang. Thank you. Oh, it's a Spirit Seed and an empty drop. Nice. Nice kill there. There it is. Kill number 500 in total. 122 on the task. That means we almost hit the drop rate for any of the four uniques on this task alone. But we still haven't seen a duplicate and we still haven't seen the Tanzanite either. Gaming. 512 KC. That is the KC for a specific unique, and we're still not done. And we still haven't seen another item as well. 134 KC on the task. Wow, would you look at that? We're just making some more jewel rings, because I ran out, and I'm 80 crafting now. We can now make glories without having to boost for it, so that's pretty cool. We'll take that, level 80, looking pretty good. And look at that, we're, we're just killing our way to 99 everywhere. 80 cooking! Another level 80 and one level away from 1900 total and now we can also actually cook the sharks. We have like 5000 raw sharks in the bank that we can cook now so that might be useful as well. Oh, okay. After 155 kills we have our first elite clue of this task. Can we do it? Depends on what Sherlock is gonna give us. 533 kills in total. Still no duplicate, still no Tanzanite Fang but we have an elite. Let's see if we can do it. We did it. We've got a new reward casket elite. How many is that now in the bank again? Uh, we have five once again. So on the next elite clue task, we'll be able to open those all at once. <gasps> oh, it's a surf visage. Okay. <laughs> the first time I saw orange text on the task. There it is. 549 kill count. 171 on this task. At least that's a bunch of Zora scales. So I, I can't be mad at that. But we take that, the first unique, which is a duplicate, but it's still not the Tanzanite Fang, though. It's something. No! Oh, thank god. How- I swear I drank a prayer pot, how did I lose my prayer there? I'm not sure what happened. Oh, well. Well, there's 550kc. <laughs> god damn it. If that was a unique- oh my god. Oh wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got the 20,000 scales from that one, nice. Oh, look at that. Just from that, we now have a, a wide stack of Zora scales. That's pretty neat. 15.7 mil value on that as well. And now we go recharge the trident. Because it has six charges left. Ooh, another elite clue. Okay. Second elite, 196 kills into the task. 574 KC in total. Nurse wound in the Shazian infirmary. Let's get another casket. We did it. Another casket. I feel like I can probably do most elite steps nowadays, so it's nice to get all of these uh, passive caskets along the way. Not too shabby. And this right here is kill number 200 on the task, and we get pure S's and 3000 coins, just what I was looking for. Yeah, 578 kills in total. No Tanzanite Fang, but we do have a duplicate so far. First kill of the day. Still a PB, 134. That could have been much quicker as well if we if the bow didn't noodle on the previous phase there. 134, starting the day strong with a Snapdragon Seed as well. It's another three seconds shaved off from last time. Wait, I got a new PB again? I didn't even notice. 132. Wow. I've done like four kills so far and I've broken my PB twice already. Tansy Fang? Dan oh, another elite clue. Wow. <laughs> Ever since we got that first one, they keep coming in. There's number three. And we can do it. Let's go. We got another casket. Yay, let's get the hell out of here because I'm scald and I have a whip and a casket. And if I die, I lose a casket. Let's quickly go to a safe spot. Oh, wait. Where is this taking me? Uh, I forgot what my destination is set to. I think 13. Yay. 
And this is going to be 600 KC in total with 222 on the task. And we don't have the Tanzanite yet. Oh my god, another elite clue. Guys, we are getting so many elite clue caskets from this task, it's actually insane. We made it to another casket. I think that's number 8 now, so if we get one of those elite clue tasks soon, we are going to open a lot of caskets, because I feel like we're going to get a few more on the way to the Tanzanite Fang. Lovely. What the fuck is this drop? I have two empty drops. I only have this, the scales. <laughs> Hello? Can I get some items, Zora? What is this? Oh my... Ha! Ah, it's an Uncut Onyx, number three in total. Uh, yay! The second duplicate of the grind. 242 kills in, 620 KC in total. Three Onyxes, two Serp Visages, one Magic Fang, zero Tanzanite Fangs. Clutch kill. <laughs> oh my god, I saw two green text. I was like, whoa, what's that? Dragon Halberd and a Magic Seed. Well, that was a pretty close one. 5 HP. Uh, 252 KC on the task now. We've gone past 250. 630 in total. Oh my god, another elite clue. Who would have thought? Get in there. Let's get another casket. Way. We did it once again. Another casket. Number 9, I believe. Almost up to 10 elites again. Uh, well, I did not take... Wait. I did not take a single point of damage that kill. I'm 99 HP and I didn't eat once. What the fuck? Huh. All right, there's 650 total KC now. Getting somewhere, but not any closer to the Fang, I guess. 375k until 99 magic might just happen. Kill number 300 on the task without a reward for us. Still a PB of 132. I feel like we might break the 130 at some point if we get lucky, but it's still at 132. 300 kills in. Two duplicates. Oh my god, we actually got it. The uncut emerald for the very first time. Let's go. Never had that one before. 700 KC for some more skills and teleports. You know, the nice thing is that we do get these teleport scrolls often enough to uh, basically always use them for every single trip. It does make it a bit nicer. But we are now 700 KC in total, 322 on the task without a Tanzanite. Man, I... okay. You know, I was like listening to music and I wanted to change the song and then all of a sudden my health dropped to zero and then, yeah, whatever, it's fine. It's fine. All right, we're upping the ante. We're bringing Mr. Prime Jr. with us on the journey at Zora. That does mean that if we die, we lose an extra one mil, but I will simply not die anymore. Let's see how this goes. Let's see if he gives us any luck for this grind. I am. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh my god, we got it. Yes. Tanzanite Fang! Let's fucking go! <laughs> 722kc! The prime luck came through! The prime luck came through, guys! Holy shit! Thank fuck for that! We are not going dry at Zora. No siree! Oh, that's beautiful. 344 kills on the task and there... It is the final Zora unique in the hard tier completed. Zora, final Zora unique forever, actually. Because uh, we're never going for those mutagens uh, or the other things. Maybe in the master tier, who knows, eventually, maybe, one day. But we got it, just in time for the nerf. We can still use it at its full potential for a little while. Let's chisel that bad boy uh, into a... Wait, how does this work? There we go. Toxic blowpipe. Beautiful. Now I just need some darts, because I don't think I have any... Good darts for that. Only a few. Uh, so we'll have to we'll have to think of that. I have some mithril darts. That's not too bad. But hey, the blowpipe. It is there. Lovely jubbly. We can complete our final Zora unique in the heart tier. And we can move on to the next task. That was a big grind, but it could have been a lot worse. I'm very happy with this one. That is also 40 mil loot value in total, by the way, for those wondering. That is pretty solid. Got a lot of supplies from that. A lot of uh, resource drops. Not too bad at all. Only took just under a week, I think, for this uh, this Tanzanite Fang. And we can finally move on. 73% hard. There it is. 2% away from a new color on this progression here. Alright, now that we have the blowpipe, it would be pretty good to get like Demonic Gorillas or Kelfight Queen maybe. So we can still use that before he gets nerfed. Let's see what the next task is. Oh my god. Zemurek God Wars Dungeon. There it is. The second Zemi God Wars Dungeon unique. If you guys remember, we got that hilt on one KC. There's no way we're gonna get as lucky as that one uh, this time around as well, right? 
I, I can't I can't imagine us getting like the spear on the next kill. That would be insane. But let's find out. Let's start killing some krill. Also, before we move on, let's have a quick look at the collection lock for Zora as well. Because that is now 6 out of 10. Look at that. All of the normal uniques, none of the rare ones. We didn't get a mutagen, we didn't get a jar of swamp, nor the pet. But uh, we might go back to Zora eventually if we run out of skills in the elite tier. For now, we should be fine though. Anyways, with that out of the way, with our blowpipe acquired, let's start prepping for some Zami Godwatch dungeon. We are all good to go, right? We've got the Dragon Warmer to spec and get KC with, we've got the Arc Light of course, which has charges, yep, we've got the Serp which has charges, yep, got the Zemi item, got the Master Wand for the Blood Barrage on the minions, I think we've got everything we need. Let's head out, let's start this grind at the Zemi God Wars dungeon, obviously we only killed one for uh, the Zemi Hilt last time, there's no way we're gonna get that lucky again, right? Also, if we are very lucky, we will get the Imp Champion Scroll while getting the KC. That is the dream, but I don't see it happening. Down goes the final imp for the first trip for these Amorak kills. We are ready. Let's pot up. Let's kill Krill. Am I doing it, guys? Am I doing it? We're gaming. Ow. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, guys, this kill is not gonna happen, is it? All right, uh, two kills on the first trip. We're learning. All right, trip two. No, not a zero. There it is, 60, oh my God. What a kill. Oh, just die, dude. No, oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> I was like, no, you. Yeah, true. Okay, two kill trip again. That's okay. That's fine. Finish him. Come on, five. Come on. Hit it. Hit it. <laughs> eh. Give me those restores. Ah, not lucky on the third trip. Jesus, that was rough. That was rough. I'm struggling for these two kill trips. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we killed it. I think I've come to accept to uh, that, that this is all gonna be two kill trips. Uh, unless I get lucky and I might get three kills every now and then, but Jesus Christ. We did it though, first time three kills in one trip. That was a solid trip, you know. If I can get three kill trips, I would be I would be a happy camper, but so far it's been two kills and other than this trip. 12 KC in total. We need some more teleport tabs now though, and for that I need more soft clay, so we're gonna, gonna get some of those. I'm just standing here and... Every five seconds, a new guy spawns in. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, the boys? What are these guys? 10... No, wait. Yeah, 102 mining. Another one! 111 mining. This guy. 101 mining. This guy. 107 mining. Oh, another one over there. Oh, he's 102 mining as well. <laughs> oh, another guy. Hello. This guy's 90 mining. He's a newbie. Gore. <laughs> They're communicating! 50 Trollheim teleport tabs at the ready. Let's gear up and let's head out again. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna teleport. This is too ambitious. <laughs> but hey, three kills, that's not bad. That's okay. Come on! Oh, shit! Fuck. Damn it! <laughs> oh, that's that's pain right there. 13 HP, come on, man. Whatever. Okay, Zemi kinda got destroyed there, I'm not gonna lie. That was a quick kill for some coins. Dude, I just have a full inventory of food still. That's a first. What the fuck was that? Holy shit, I got stacked the fuck out. We're stepping out with a different setup. We got the tank body and the tank legs and we're gonna pray mage instead. Let's see if this goes any better than the uh, the other setup. We've been getting two to three kills every trip. Let's see if we can get more with this. I, d I don't think this is the move, really. I don't think the, the, the this is working too well. Kinda got destroyed a bit, you know? Not gonna lie. These wines of Zemi are pretty nice to get. Oh fuck. Um, I got absolutely chanced there, there's no way. Because I definitely attacked the wrong thing there. Uh, prayed the wrong thing, yeah. 40 KC already, guys, we're uh, getting up there. Not quite as lucky as the first time when we got the hilled on 1 KC. Wow, 50 KC already, alright. Oh my god, the flicks are not on point right now. That's gonna be kill number 56, which is basically the drop rate for uh, this unique. Granted, we did start with 1 KC, so I guess 57 will be on the drop rate on this task. But hey, close enough, right? Oh my god, we got it! Steam battle stuff, guys. 59kc, teleporting out. Bye! Oh, I didn't even revert my tab. <laughs> we are done. We can move on. It's not the Zemi Spear, but hey. It's a, it's a unique nonetheless. Steam battle stuff. 59kc, we have two uniques. Not too bad at all. We are done with God Wars Dungeon for the hard tier because there were only two Zemi uniques. Everything else in the elite tier. So uh, until we reach elite, 
We don't have to come back here ever again. Alright, sweet. Let's move on. Let's go to Clan Wars to restore everything. And let us get a new task already. You know, one of the harder PVM tasks that was left, but not the longest, I suppose. That was only about three days um, since we generated that one. We can complete it right there. Zemere God Wars Dungeon out of the way. None of that anymore. No God Wars Dungeon for the rest of the hard tier. But next task is going to be five new uniques from Easy Clues. Okay, that's not bad. We have a few more clue tasks left for sure. But uh, let's see if we can get one of those capes or the Monk Rope G. Let's go back to the hand members. So, looks like we have 70 uniques already. 70 out of 131 in 346 Easy Clues. Let's see how long it takes to get these next five. We are getting closer and closer to the 500 count for the reward. Uh, but probably won't get close yet on this task, but we will get there eventually. Let's start with this Easy Clue we had in the bank. Let's get going. Guys, first casket. Let's start off with a bang. Never mind. <laughs> hand members, here I come. Finally, another beekeeper random event. Please give me a piece of the outfit. Please give it to me. No flex, no flex, no flex, no flex. Fuck off, shit, random event, I hate you, stupid beekeeper, piss off. Well, at least give me a unique, right? I'm just gonna drop it, you can have it, man. You can have a black pickaxe too. Amazing, 350 easy clues. We're 150 away from the big reward. Alright, change of plans. We're gonna stack up 10 easy clue caskets, open them all at once and get that dopamine from all the uniques that come flying in. Here we go. 10 caskets at ready. Pet Kraken out for some good luck. We've got the celebration flags up already, because we are about to get so many uniques. Here we go. First one. Nothing. There's not a new unique, I think, because otherwise it would show up, right? Uh, surely the plugin works for this. Yeah, that's not a new one. Not looking good, not looking great. Oh my god, wait. <laughs> what? The the studded set. Two, two new uniques. Both studded gold pieces. <laughs> That's pretty nice. That looks clean. Alright, cool. An armor page we don't really need. Nothing there. Nothing there. And the last one is not a unique either. We already have that one. But hey, that's pretty cool. We got two uniques. Two out of five. We now have 72 easy clue uniques. We got five caskets now. Let's see what we get. That's not a unique, nor is that. Mm -mm, nothing there. And the last one is garbage as well. Here we go, five new caskets. Boom, nothing. Boom, nothing. Boom, nothing. That's a duplicate. Boom, nothing. Last one, and we got jack shit. Cool, still 72. Five new caskets, gonna bring us up to 32 on the task. Unlucky! No new unique there, still at 72 in total. New location, but five new caskets. Let's just spam them, see what we get. That is nothing at all. Nope. That is a whole lot of garbage, wow. We got two studded sets and some bows. <laughs> Next five, talk to hands, open one, nothing, nothing, duplicate, nothing, and nothing. 42 chests in, still two uniques, 388 in total. We've got 8 caskets, because that's going to bring us up to 50 clues on this task. Let's go slowly through them. Let's see if we get any uniques. I hope so. That's a duplicate. That's a page. We don't need that. That's another duplicate and a page. And that is absolute garbage. Let me bank real quick. Nope. Uh, nope. <sighs> Teleports, page, final one. Is it the blessed one? No, it's another duplicate. Hey, that is 396 easy clues done and 50 on this task. And we only have two new uniques from it. We've got four caskets because that's going to bring us to 400 in total. The grand total, 400, 100 away from the giant spade. Then let's see, four caskets, four chances. First one is nothing. Second one is nothing. Third one is nothing. And the last one is... A new one! Yes! Steel Kite Shield G on number 400. New collection log item. Oh, thank god. That is number 3. We now have 73 in total on 400 clue count. Beautiful. Finally, something new after 54 in total on this task. Still need two more though. Five caskets once again. Let's attack the giant red for some good luck. We're gonna kill it. And then we're gonna open all the caskets. Here we go. Five. Oh my god, rainbow! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that's a back-to-back -back because we got a unique on 400 as well. And this is a pretty cool one, actually. Look at that. That is number four right there. Can we finish the task right here, right now? Four caskets left. Oh my god, back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. Are you kidding me? 
We just completed the task with Black Blade Legs G. We now have 75 easy clue uniques. Wow. And I guess we, we have three easy caskets left now for the next time. All of a sudden we get two uniques on the first two right there. Beautiful. Well, I guess it's time to move on. We have 402 easy clues done. We have 75 uniques. Let's see what the next task is going to be. All right, so that did end up taking us 56 easy clues to get five new uniques, but the last three came in back to back to back. So that's kind of crazy to end the task on a good note. Let's complete this task, which is no longer going to be 73% now. We're on to 74. And we're very close to a new color on the progress. Probably one or two tasks away. The next one is going to be a naval set. So we are going back to trouble brewing to AFK some more to uh, get 2,500 pieces of eight to get naval set number four or five. I, I forgot, but here we go. So it looks like we have brown, purple, black and gray navy sets already. So this is set number five and we are going for the red naval set because that's going to line up the, uh, the second row as well. So let's go and AFK some more. I'm going to get a nice outfit going. Get, uh, I'm going to head over to Troll Brewing and we're just going to sit there for another few hours. There you have it, the final 100 pieces of eight for this task. That brings us up to 2,500 again. And we can go to Honest Jimmy to buy the new naval set. Uh, right now I'm going for the red one, because that's going to finish the second row in the collection lock. And there you have it, three new items on the collection lock. Let's take that one out as well to have a little look-see. Where is it? Wait, where the fuck did I put my collection lock? Why is it not in that tab? Trouble brewing, 21 out of 30. We only have nine pieces left to get. Two naval sets and three flags. We have one more flag in the heart here. That's 4,000 pieces of eight. I really don't want to get that one, but let's see what the next task is going to be. So the naval set has been obtained once again, and that might bring us to 75%. Look at that, the new green color on the account progress. The last quarter of the heart here is here. And what's the first task that we do in that quarter? It's going to be... A unique note from Fossil Island, so that's gonna be like a two-minute task. Let's go and complete it real quick. All right, let's see how long it takes for this next Fossil Island node. Let's start searching the stone chest and in. Ah, oh, there we go. We have the musty smelling node. We are done, I believe. I did not bring my collection log. I probably should have done that, but I'm pretty sure all of these notes are unique. So <laughs> I think that completes the task. But let's open the bank real quick. Let's uh, take the collection log. Yes, 7 out of 10. We have 3 more Fossil Island notes left to get. That's not bad. 3 more quick tasks. This one took like a minute. Let's get a new one already. Okay, lads, after getting one unique note from Fossil Island, it's time to generate a new task or complete task first. Of course, I know how this thing works. Now we generate the task and it's gonna be clue scrolls. It's gonna be one unique drop from Grotesque Guardians. If it's gargles right now, I'm gonna freak out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually Gargoyles, no way! Oh my god. Alright, we have our Gargoyles task, and that is exactly what we needed for the Grotesque Guardian. So it's time to gear up once again. Let's get the second unique after the Granite Ring. I, I think I'm doing it. Dodge that. Yes, and now, now we melee this guy because he flew up, right? I think. Hey, at least we're getting used out of the blowpipe for the first time. Ah! I think I was supposed to run away there. Guys, it's been a while since I killed these. I'm I'm just gonna struggle a bit and we'll see what happens, okay? <laughs> now I just dodge the things, right? Oh, I need to kill these things. The the spheres. The 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 kill the things. This is going swimmingly. Oh wait, I killed I killed a guy. And now now this guy is alive. And now I go into the thing and I run out of the thing. And now I just kill it, right? I think I I just kill it now. Am I right guys? Woo, we did it. For first kill. Wait, what the fuck? Nice. Mushroom potatoes. Those will come in handy for uh, the prolongation of this trip. <laughs> I don't think that's a word, but I, I, it is now. Are you kidding me? How? <sighs> so it, clicking attack does not make you run out. Nah, he was zero HP. And then... <sighs> what do you mean? He was literally zero HP. Nah. Ooh, now that is a new PB. Look at that. 235 into 211. That's 24 seconds shaved off. We're getting better. Wait, another PB. 202. 211, 202. We're gonna get a sub two minute kill here soon. Finish him. Come on. Okay, thank God. That was that was close, but that was a good trip though. We got a lot of kills there, I think. Uh, we are now at 21 KC. Oh, we get five mushroom potatoes. We can do another one. 
Starting to kind of like these grotesque guardians. Pretty chill. We are 30 kills in, in total. That is 26 on this task so far. We're getting some consistent kills, consistent trips. I'm liking it. I'm almost out of prayer potions though, or super restore. So I'm going to have to make some more after this trip. And that's going to get us to 77 herbal as well. Listen up everyone, big moment here. This is not only going to be a Herblore level, level 77, which means we can make stamina potions if only we had some Marks of Grace to buy Amylase Crystals, but we also have 1900 total now on the account. That is looking beautiful. 100 levels until the big 2000, but we, we still don't have piety though. I mean, th does anyone ever get 1900 total on an Iron Man without piety? I mean, I'm almost max. <laughs> Give me piety. Boom, and that right there is skill number 40 in total for some coins and chaos runes. Wait, look at this. Last kill, personal best, 202. And now it says fight duration, 202, new PB. Ah, okay. Well, I guess 202 is faster than 202. We did it! Wait, 156 PB, the sub 2 minute kill has happened. Nice. That was a pretty good trip, I think, with a lot of kills. Pro probably like eh, six or so, I think. And that is also 50 kill count now. Can I do this? Can I orb skip? Is this how you do it? Do you just DPS it and hope for the best? Finish him, maybe? Now? Wait, I did it. Wait, I actually did it. That was close, I think. Right? Was that close? I'm not sure if I should try that every kill, though. But that did make the kill much better. Look at that, 152. My previous PB was 156. We shaved off 4 seconds thanks to the orb skip. Okay, so we're currently at 74 KC in total now. I did get the orb skip a few times, but quite often it doesn't work because my DPS is not high enough. I'm gonna make some divine ranging potions and I'm also gonna bring the Pegasian boots and the Arches ring eye to see if I can get those consistent orb skips because they do save a lot of time every kill. Alright, here goes nothing. Oh, fuck off, did I get frozen. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. I'm sure it'll work in the long run, you know, and that's what it's all about. No, I saw green text and granite, but it's a mall. I don't need a mall. No! <laughs> that was so scuffed. Nah. Ah, uh, if, if only, if only. Wait, that was a PB, 147. Thanks to the Gmall spec there, for sure. Ah, oh, again, I saw Granite, but it's the ring, I have that. Man, that, <laughs> that's only a few, that's two kills after the mall as well. Man. <laughs> guys, 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 we have it. The Granite gloves. I saw Granite again, I was hesitant. I was like, is that, an, is that another thing that I have? But no, it's the gloves. That's the new item. That is added to the collection log. Lovely, uh, kind of useless, but we're done. And this means, oh fuck, this means that, that I have to do LMS now. It's time. I added LMS tasks in the easy tier and that means we have to go back for those. And that means I have to get 55 points in LMS. But let's see which item we get first. Let's go to the spreadsheet. Let's complete this one and let's get our first LMS task. We have gotten the unique drop from Grotesque Guardians after a duplicate. So we can complete that one 76%. Now, as you can see, 96% easy. We have added four easy LMS tasks. I'll be adding medium, hard, and elite later on so that we do them in, you know, different sections. Because otherwise I have to do easy and medium at once and that's a bit too much LMS to my liking. Even those four are going to be way too much because I'm absolute garbage at PKing. But let's see which one we get first. We are going for the Lava Staff Upgrade Kit. I believe all of these are between 15 and 20 points. I'm not sure how much this one is, but we'll check in a second. Well, I guess it's time to uh, get an ass whooping at LMS. Here we go. Right, so considering it's the first time here, we still have to talk to Lisa for the uh, sort of tutorial, I guess. Uh, she's just gonna say something and then we can get things going. All right, I'm absolute garbage at PvP. This is gonna take a while for <laughs> me to get any decent at it. I'm gonna change this a little bit, I think. I'll get started with the first game soon. Uh, for the for the item that we need, the lava upgrade kit, it is 13 points. So that's what we need. Let's see how long this one takes. Oh god. Uh, oh, it's the new map as well. Oops. I, I don't have left click enabled. Ah, uh, my attack options were hidden. Oh, 
Got his ass, dude. Let's go. <laughs> hey, we got the first kill. Let's go. Wait, where, where are the chests? Okay, here. Hey, two kills. Let's go. Okay, we're, we're beasting it, dude. We're gonna win this shit. Mark my fucking words. <laughs> I don't know if I want that. I don't fucking know what I'm doing. I just slashed him. No. Ah, uh, good fight. Ah, uh, whatever. Ah, uh, damn. If I had spec there with the D-claws, I, I think I might have... I, I could have killed him there, but I didn't have enough spec. Damn, that was pretty good, though. Come on. First game, I got four points, guys. <sighs> was that top three? I don't... Uh, uh, top three. All right. Top three, four points. Yes. That was good. That was good. Yeah, we need... How many points do we need? 13? <sighs> okay, dude. That gets my heart racing and my... Like, I have to focus so hard. My head is shaking. Everything's hard. <laughs> Not everything. But, it, it, yeah. <laughs> I worked this guy. Holy shit. Probably a bot, to be fair, but hey. I could fight. <laughs> Whatever. We still got one kill, which means another point. So that's, that's all right. Got him. Uh, but this guy, this guy seems good at the game, guys. Fight. Hey, I mean, two points again. Hey, two points again. Your boy's getting all the points. Nah, dude. Nah, dude, there's no way. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, whatever. Well, that was the first game where we didn't get any points, so I guess you have those as well. <laughs> wow. There was way too much stuff in my inventory. I couldn't keep track of anything happening, but I came second and that's, that's, that's good enough for me. That's five points again. Twelve in total. We only need one more for this task and then we can move on to the, the second one. What? I, I clicked the sh- Okay, okay, okay. Blah, 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 blah. This is fine. We have four points. That means we have 16 in total and we can now trade Justine for the first item from LMS. We are going for the Lava Stuff Upgrade Kit and just like that, it's been confirmed. We already have three points towards the next one. Let's slap this bad boy- Wait, do we have, do we even have a Lava st I think we do. We must have a Lava Stuff still, right? Yeah, there we go. Let's slap it on there. Yep, apply the upgrade, boom. The first LMS item has been obtained. It looks a bit weird. I don't know if I like it. It's cool, I guess. Uh, we'll take it. Let us proceed to the next task. Let's see which one we will get next. All right, and that was literally only about an hour of LMS, I think, to get the first item. So I feel like, you know, even though we're not an experienced PvPer, definitely doable to get some points in there. Let's complete that first LMS task. 97% easy. Let's see what the next one is going to be. The Steam Stuff Upgrade Kit. Luckily, we got the Steam Stuff from Zemi recently, so we can upgrade it as soon as we get this one. Uh, I swear it's the ping, guys. It's just the ping. I'm gonna do a farm run. We got three points. Yay. No, I hit a zero. I'm trying, guys. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> On the first fight, I got the Staff Bash KO. Challenge complete. That's fine. Still got four points. That's a good game in my book. Oops, I'm sorry, rats. <laughs> There's something about rats, they always die, you know? What can I say? Oh well. Eh. Five survivors, two points. That's okay. Just need one more for this task. Almost done with the second one, right? <laughs> I poked him with a DDS through protect melee and he died. Fine. 
it's okay. Um, still got one point, and that is exactly what, he ne what we needed. That's why I died. I just needed the one point, so I wanted to get out of there. Uh, let's get ourselves the Steam Staff Upgrade Kit. Yep, there it is. Boom, second item from LMS, and I think this might actually be a pretty big one, because if we check the collection log right now... Dun, 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 dun. And we go to minigames, Last Man Standing. 700 slots! There it is! With those two items from LMS, we now have 700 total slots filled on the collection lock. And like I said, we do have the Steam Battle Staff as well from Zami. So let's use the kit on that. And let's upgrade it. Boom. Steam Battle Staff Ornament Kit. Lava Battle Staff. I like this one. This one looks sick. <laughs> really happy with this one. Alright, sweet. Let's move on to the next one. Two more tasks left in the easy tier. We're moving through these LMS tasks fairly quickly. To be honest, quicker than expected. Uh, let's complete the Steam Staff Upgrade Kit. 98% easy. Next one is gonna be the Ornate Mall Handle. Okay. After this, there's also the Dragon Pickaxe Ornament Kit, I believe. But first, let's get the Ornate Mall Handle. I didn't even record that. That was a pretty nice KO, I think. <laughs> yes, sir. Ah, damn. I think that was close. Pfft. That was alright. I, I don't think I did too poorly, but he was just a bit better than me. Two points. We did it! We got our first victory, guys! Six points in my pocket, and that means we get the cape as well, right? Oh my god, yes. Oh, that feels good. Look at that, tier one cape. Confirm. New collection log item, Victor's Cape 1. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks amazing, actually. Hey, let's go. That was pretty good, eh? That was pretty good. I like it. That's a passive task right there, so we'll complete that one as soon as we get this, uh, this task completed as well. Fuck! Oh, that was close! No! Oh, man! That was close. That was very close. Second place, 5 points, 14 total. Not bad. How much is it? Uh, 15. We need one more point for this task. Sir, this is an AFK free zone. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Okay. Well, there I go. Uh, that's two points, so we have enough for our task. Let's trade Justine for the third time. <laughs> wow. Man, hit me with the 72. Holy moly. Uh, ornate mall handle. Yes, confirm. Got it. Boom. New collection log item once again. Number three from LMS. We now have a, a better granite mall. Yeah! Number three done, let's get number four. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I really expected all of this to take much longer, but that was, once again, another LMS task completed in about 55 minutes. And now there's only one left in the easy tier that we have to do right now, and that one is going to be the Dragon Pickaxe Upgrade Kit. Now, before we forget, let's also go to Passive and let's mark that one cape as completed. The Victor's Cape 1. 
Now let's go back for the final 14 points for the Dragon Pickaxe Upgrade Kit. The final LMS task for now. I didn't mean to do that. Anyways, one point, yay. Curve. <laughs> Two points. That's okay. Ah, fuck. Man, ugh. Well, that was... that was respectable. I got killed by a 72 again! <laughs> I got AGS spec to 72 earlier and now I got hit a 72 by full Derog. Goddamn. Well, 5 points, 11 total. Just need 3 more and we're done with LMS for now. What do you mean I hit two zeros? What do you mean I hit another zero there? Nah, fuck off. Bullshit. Nah. <laughs> That's whack. Nah. -uh. Okay, I think I got him. Holy shit. Wait. Re remake Andy. Wait, was that was that Mutz? I clicked the shark, but it's fine. It's fine. We got how many points from that? Two points, and that's exactly what we needed. We just needed two points, we killed two people. That is fine by me. We have 14 points again, and that means we can get the Dragon Pickaxe Upgrade Kit. And just like that, we got our fourth item from LMS. I guess five if you count the one win cape as well. But let's grab the Dragon Pickaxe out of the bank, because we can now upgrade that one. Slap the Upgrade Kit on there. And just like that, we have a beautiful... Well, I mean, I, I don't know if that's really that nice, but we got a we got a Dragon Pickaxe with, a, with an Ornament Kit on it. That is pretty cool. We are done with LMS for now. That was four items. Let's look at the collection log real quick. Honestly, didn't really mind it. I kind of enjoyed that one, even though I wasn't that good at PvP. I think I did all right for, you know, someone that never really participated in PvP necessarily. That is five out of 32. We'll be adding medium tasks later on, but for now, let's go back to the hard tier, get some more tasks done there, and then we'll head back to LMS once we add those to the medium tier. So I think with that one completed as well, I probably spent about 5 hours on all of those 4 easy LMS tasks. So I got about 10 points an hour, really not that bad for someone unexperienced in PvP like myself. But that means that we've once again completed easy. We'll get back to medium after a while, but first let's do some more hard tasks. Let's see what the next one is gonna be. Here we go. Unique from the Monagirulas. You know what I said? When I got that blowpipe, this was one of the tasks that would benefit from it the most as well. So I guess it plays out fairly well um, to get this one as well before the nerf. So let's kill some more demonic gorillas for the third unique this time around. Already got the Zenite, already got the heavy frame. Let's see which one we get next. We're heading out. Just as a reminder, last time we finished on 73 KC, I'm pretty sure. Yep, 73 demonic gorillas. We already have the Zenite. We already have the heavy frame. So let's see which one we're gonna get next. We need either the monkey tail, which is one in 1,500, the light frame, which is one in 750, or the ballista spring or limbs, which are both one in 500. Let's get started. Oh my god. Guys, nine kills is all it took. Um, I mean... I, I guess the demonic gorillas are my friends. They are very kind to me, and that was 9 kills for the Ballista Spring, which is 1 in 500. So now we are at 84... No, wait. 82 kill count. Yeah, 82 kill count with 3 uniques. <laughs> we will take that. That was the first trip, 9 kills in, and we are done. We're done. Just, just as that easy. It's that easy. Um, I think we'll probably complete the demonic gorillas in like... Eh, let's say 300 kills in total. Let's take a look at that, because that's a bit disgusting, isn't it? <laughs> Gloves experiments right here. 3 out of 6 and 82 kills. Including the heavy frame, which is like one of the two rarest, uh, together with the monkey tail. So yeah, we just need 3 more. Light frame, ballista limbs, and monkey tail. Nice and easy. Quick one. On to the next task. It's literally only been 30 minutes since I generated this task. Probably spent more time gearing up compared to getting the actual drop. So let's complete that one. That is now 77%. I swear to God, we're zoom into the elite tier. We'll be there in no time. There is one more Demonic Gorilla unique in the hard tier, though. So let's see if we get the back-to-back. -back. Has been a while since we've had one. All right, we're going back to the Hallowed Sepulcher for two more uniques, by the looks of things. I don't quite remember. <laughs> I always forget what the items are, but I think I need to get, like, 500 
hello marks or something i'm not sure but i'll check in a second here uh, let's have a look at which two items we need to get let's go back to the hello sepulcher for the last time in the heart here so as you can see we're still missing six items two out of those are the pages from floor four and five which we can't get to yet we're close we're 81 agility but we need 82 for floor four so the next two items we are gonna get right now are the hallowed ring and the dark die the hallowed ring is 250 marks the dark die is 300 so we will need 550 in total right now i already have 124 from last time because we ended up getting the lockpick uh, so we can get the hello ring fairly quickly just about halfway there already So let's get going. Let's get some agility training done. Let's get those marks coming in and so it begins two thousand wait two million two hundred and twenty five thousand four hundred and fifty nine agility XP is what we start with Let's see how close we can get to 82 on this task off to a great start. Don't don't look don't look Wait, how did I just get a PB literally on the first run? All right, guess we're starting off strong 149 on floor three. Let's go Oh, hey, look, we just got five marks and that got us to 253, which is enough to buy the hallowed ring, right? So that's going to be the first unique. Then we need 300 for the dark die. But uh, let's go get that ring after this trip. All right, here we are. Let's trade the mysterious stranger and let's get the hallowed ring. 250 marks. We've got that exact amount with three left to spare. And that is a new collection lock item right there. So this one prevents the user from losing time and taking damage when they fail an obstacle. It will teleport them in the nick of time and send them back to the start of the obstacle, avoiding the time penalty and eliminating the need to bring food. Hey, that's pretty nice, actually. That's better than I expected because I never read up on what it did. So uh, right now we need 300 marks. Let's keep going. New PB again on floor 3. 144. I feel like that was a lot faster than the, the last one as well. Uh, new PB again. I just keep getting better at floor 3, I guess. 139 this time around. I need more planks though, because I wasn't able to loot the first floor. Because I didn't have any oak planks left. So let's stock up the sack again and let's go back. 112 marks so far out of the 300 I need, so we're getting there. Just use my last 5 mithril nails for, for that bridge. So I think I'm going to make some more after this trip. We only have... 38 marks left to get so it wouldn't take too much longer but just gonna make a few more nails so i have those and then we'll finish the task afterwards there we go 90 mithril nails made let's teleport back to the sepulcher and let's get these final 31 marks with this coffin right here we get 300 marks on the dot that means we can go and get the dark die which is gonna complete the task the final unique for the hello sepulcher in the heart tier we're, we're gonna be able to re-die one of these uh, graceful pieces to the dark black graceful but only one of them so we'll have to make a, a very important decision here soon and here we are with the marks needed let us trade the mysterious stranger the dark die right here currently costs 300 marks and with that we have completed our task that is the new collection log item right there now the question remains which item do we use it on let's go for the hood use the dark die on that oh look at him uh yeah it looks great with the rest of the normal uh grace <laughs> you know maybe one day we'll be able to recolor all of them if we have to do a lot of Hallowed Sepulchre for like the Ring of Endurance. But for now, our Graceful looks like this. <laughs> there we go. Let's take a look at the collection log real quick for the Hallowed Sepulchre. Boom, 12 out of 16. All that remains is the Dark Acorn, which I believe is 3,000 uh, Hallowed Marks. The Ring of Endurance, which you can only get from the final Grand Coffin on floor 5. And then there's also floor 4 and 5 Mysterious Pages, which obviously we couldn't have gotten yet because we don't have access to those floors yet. But... We are 60k away from 82 agility, so in the elite tier, we'll be working on that very, very swiftly as soon as we get one of those tasks. We also got about 1.7 mil in loot. You can see everything at the bottom here. A lot of uh, bolts, a lot of runes. Not all the nature runes, those are from my bang, but yeah, 450k cash as well. Lovely! Done with the Hello Sepulcher for now. Let us proceed. The Hallowed Sepulcher has been completed for now. No more of that in the hard tier, but we'll continue in the elite tier eventually. Still at 77% hard. Can we finally get one of the two diaries that will give us piety, which is Kandarin or Mauritania? It's back to the Grotesque Guardians already. Wow, it's really not been long since we've gotten the uh, Granite Gloves. Looks like we have to do some more of those. All right, that means that we have to get the Black Tourmaline Core or the Granite Hammer, if I'm not mistaken. So back to the Grotesque Guardians it is. At least I still have that Slayer Toss going, so that's nice. Oh wow, there it is. Already got it. 86 farming from the farm run. I mean, what else would we get farming levels from other than a farm run? But yeah, there it is. 86. Nothing too special, but nice level. We're heading out. We're starting with 86 KC at the Grotesque Guardians from the two uniques we've had so far. Let's see when we get the Granite Hammer or the Black Tourmaline Core. 
Luckily, we still have 137 gargoyles left on the task. So uh, that's already a decent chance to complete it. Not quite the drop rate, because it's 1 in 215 to get one of these two items that I still need. But we will get well on our way towards it. Yo, this was a good trip though. That was, that was 7 kills now. 3 orb skips in a row. Pretty decent, if I do say so myself. And we get some more Cerebrus for that. Alright, not too bad. 98 KC, almost 100 now. That is 100 KC right there for Rune Bars and Cerebrus. I saw Granite again, but it's the Granite Mall. Not what we need. Just realized I'm already over halfway to uh, 93 Slayer, which is the highest level we need in the, high, in the hard tier. So when we have to get that Thermi Unique, we're already going to be close to it. And just like that, we have the Granite Hammer as well. 116 KC, 30 kills on this task. The Spoon Train never stops. We are done, we just need one more unique and that is the Tourmaline Core. Um, but that is for the Elite tier, so for now, we have once again finished an activity in the Heart tier and that is the Grotesque Guardians. 116 kills for 3 uniques, I've, I'm getting very lucky all of a sudden, I'm getting luck everywhere. I like it, <laughs> let's see if it continues though. Let's get our next task. Also right now we have, let's see, Granite. We have 8288 Granite Dust, but of course... We only have 900 cannonballs, so can't really use those right now, but later on we definitely will if we get more cannonball drops from other PVM tasks. Anyways, we dropped the rock hammer, don't need that anymore because we have the granite hammer. Let's get ourselves a new task once again. Alright, done with the grotesque guardians. We got two uniques in that one gargoyle slayer task, that's amazing. We can complete that one, 78% hard. Like I said, we're halfway to the level of 93 slayer, so if we get that term unique task, it wouldn't be too bad. Just about 300k Slayer XP left for that. But I feel like this next task is going to be Clue Scrolls. Here we go. Or Ancient Pages, which is not too bad. That's just a bit of AFKing to uh, wait out the timer. And then we can get two new unique Ancient Pages fairly quickly. That's going to be another quick one. Nice. Currently at 18 out of 26 my notes. So we're getting up to 20 now. They're getting a bit more rare every single time. But let's go and find two new ones. I'm having a bit of a fashion uh, statement here. Let's see if this helps. We're going to do the same tactic. We're going to jump in, run over, reset the aggro, wait for 10 minutes, and then uh, we're good to go. Run on the tile, run back, and we wait for 10 minutes. But how nice is it that you can just stand here, rummage the thing, and then hop. You already have this. Damn, it's a duplicate page. That, that would have been a quick one. Unlucky. Second one. Already have it. Got a page with mangled bones there, but it's, an, it's still a duplicate page. Accidentally attacked a water fiend, but we did get a new page. Nah, it's an old one. Getting a lot of duplicates already. New page? No, still a duplicate, goddammit. Ah, got another uh, duplicate page. Well, unfortunately, the first trip is not very successful. Didn't get any new pages, a bunch of duplicates, but we did get nine more mangled bones for <laughs> what it's worth. Well, time to wait another 10 minutes and let's see if the next trip is gonna be better. This is a new one because it actually works with the plugin as well. New collection log item, ancient page. There it is. All right, cool. There's the first one. Just one more now. That was at the start of the second trip, so I've got good hopes on this one. Let's try and finish it without having to bank again. Look, new collection log item again. Ancient page, and that is number 20 right there. 20 out of 26. We're done with the task. Six pages left to get. I think there's one more in the heart here, so we're not going to teleport out just yet. Because we might get the back-to-back, -back, but let's see if that's going to be the case. Lovely jubbly, quick and easy, moving on. Alright, just about an hour of ancient page hunting, including the uh, the waiting time. So, we're done. Quick and easy, 78% still. Do we get that final ancient page task in the heart here back-to-back, or is it going to be something else? Oh, yes! Oh, there it is. Praise the fucking lord. We got the Mauritania Heart Diary at last, at 78% heart. That means piety, that means bone crusher, and that means increased runes from barrows. And it's about time that we got this one. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Let's go and do the Mauritania Heart Diary. Damn, but look at all these mangled bones. 58 now in total. You know, we can definitely do that clue step quite often now, <laughs> without any issues. So it looks like all of this is fairly simple, actually. We just have to plant some watermelons, plant some bittercap mushrooms, so th those can start growing. And then we have to do King's Ransom to finally unlock Piety as well. But other than that, we can complete all of the tasks straight away, basically. So let's go plant those seeds, let's do King's Ransom afterwards, and then we can complete all of the tasks. What a lovely day to do some farming.
Mushroom spore goes into the patch. Not sure how long it takes to grow actually, but you know, we'll harvest that as soon as it's done. Wait, can I pay for that? Maybe that's a good idea as well. Oh, you can't? Okay, never mind. Now let's go and plant these watermelon seeds. For some reason I thought there were two patches here, but it looks like we're gonna have to hope that this one survives. There we go. Now that we've got that sorted, let's go and do King's Ransom. Okay, I got all of the requirements for that. Let's get going. Got all of the items needed, let's get going. Let's get this quest over and done with. Let's finally unlock piety as well afterwards. Here we are at Camelot with King Arthur. We just freed him and that means that we've completed King's Ransom. 33,000 defense XP, 5,000 magic XP, an antique lamp. But the main thing right here is the Night Waves Training Ground Axis, which once we complete it, we're gonna unlock piety. So that's gonna be amazing. Let's put that on Herblore. Let's go gear up and let's do the fights to finally get that prayer unlocked that we've been waiting for for ages. Okay, I think we're ready. We just drained our prayer to zero so we can use the bludgeon special to deal a lot of damage. I'm not sure if I have to talk to this guy. So basically, we just have to kill a few guys and then we get piety. So let's get it going. And down he goes. And just like that, we finished the training grounds. Oh, look at all that XP as well. Not that we'd need that. <sighs> but, oh, look at it. We have piety. I can't even, I can't even use it yet because I have zero prayer, but we have it at last. Probably the, the latest anyone has ever done this. I'm basically maxed unlocking piety, but you know, better late than never, you know, that's what they say. Yeah, I ate one shark. It was a close fight. Now all we have to do is complete all of the diary tasks and then we are good to go. Don't have this too often where we get a diary task and literally the, the only task completed. Like, we only have one, one task completed so far, basically. So we still have to do everything, but we do have King's Ransom completed now. We have the two farming patches fully grown. So let's go and complete all of the tasks in the Mauritania Heart diary. And then we can complete our task. Let's go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is change the West Portal uh, from Ardi to Carol. And that way I can use that for the diary. Enter that portal, complete the diary step, just like that. Teleport back, switch it back to Ardi. I have plenty of runes anyway, so I don't really mind too much about losing those laws. So uh, that's all good. Let's change that back to Ardi and then we can move on to the next tasks. Let's climb this spiky chain for another step. Then we're going to teleport to Mosla Harmless, cut some mahogany logs and make our way to Harmony Island to harvest the watermelons. Chop chop. Oh wait, do I need to burn them or something? Fuck, <laughs> I didn't bring a tinderbox. Chop and burn. Ah, oh, god damn it. Well, I did chop them, so I assume that when I teleport back to the bank, which is not here, that's gonna work, right? If I grab a tinderbox now, it should work, I think, <laughs> hopefully. Otherwise, I have to run all the way back again. Right, let's see. Please work. Oh, thank god that did work. Okay, cool. So, apparently, like, all I did was <laughs> I loaded up my runelight client and I checked the, uh, the side panel there, and it said my watermelons were fully grown. It do be the case that they are in fact dead. So I need to get some more watermelon seeds and replant those. All right, that's that's quite unfortunate actually. Okay, thankfully the mushrooms did survive. So the plan is we, we pick the mushrooms, we complete that task. There we go. And now we are gonna switch to the Arceus spell. We switch to the Arceus spell book. We resurrect the watermelons. And by the time we complete all of the other tasks, we'll be able to farm those more, those watermelons. That's the plan. I swear to God, if this resurrect fails, Oh, thank God. Okay, they're back to life. Do we need to compost them again? Nah. Well, they're almost grown. So, uh, like I said, once we complete all of the other tasks, I think they'll be good to go. Hopefully. Hopefully they don't die again either. We'll just climb up and then climb back down, and I think that'll complete the uh, the task right here as well. Going back down. Woo. Stage 1, stage 2, and stage 3 right here if we climb through the fence. Boom. Nice. Dude, I, I just fell from the bridge. I'm 81 agility. Are you kidding? <laughs> right, anyways, let's pray at the uh, at the altar with piety activated. There we go. All right, cool. Hard task done. Let's make our way to the abandoned mine. Let's find some mithril ore. I swear, if I fail this bridge jump again... Okay, good, good. We found it. There's a the mithril ore. Let's mine some real quick. There it is. Boom. Task done. Now let us do that hard temple trek. I think we made it. Yes, we got a reward token and we've completed our hard task. What do we get from this? I guess herbs, right? I don't know. Everything else is kind of meh. We get two, two toad flex and three... To yeah, that was very, very worth it indeed. I'm not even going to keep those. All right, cool. Uh, what do we have left now? Other than the watermelons. Uh, nothing. So <laughs> let's see if those are fully grown again or if we have to wait some more. 
Oh, I have never seen such amazing watermelons in my life. How lovely is that? Let's harvest these bad boys. Oh, yes, there it is. You have completed all of the hard tasks in the Mauritania area. Speak to Le Sabre in Canafis to claim your reward. Let's go. Hello, Le Sabre. I am here to claim my reward. Yes, please. There it is. Mauritania Lex 3. We can now pick double Mordmire fungi in the swamp. Get more experience from burning shades. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually, for the Shades of Morden tasks that we still have. XSA shortcut on Mosla Harmless. Receive more runes from Barrows, which is amazing. Robin will exchange more bone meal for bones each day. And you'll receive a 7.5% increase in the Slayer XP when on assignment in the Slayer Tower. The Disciples at the Ectofunctus might have something for you too, which is the Bone Crusher. We finally are able to get the Bone Crusher and a lot of extra nice rewards as as well honestly probably one of the better hard diaries so uh, very very happy to finally complete that one let's throw the xp on herblor just like that 15k and we can also use this to teleport to the ecto and to burg the rot oh yeah that's right it teleports here i forgot <laughs> i thought it was like the ecto uh yeah okay uh let, let me climb up real quick oh yeah i need to equip this don't i hello can i have the to oh wait i got 750 ecto tokens i, I want the bone crusher oh there it is Lovely. Let's throw those tokens straight in. Boom. 18,750 <laughs> 18, charges. That's cool. We can finally use that for some tasks where it's useful. Let's go and get that new task. See if we can use it straight away at something. Finally completed that one diary that we were looking for. The entire heart tier. Almost at the end. Almost at 80% already. By completing that, we have 79% now. I think once we hit 80%, I'll be adding the medium LMS task. So we'll go back to that PK content as well. But first, let's do some more hard tasks. Probably one or two more before we reach the 80%. The next one is going to be two new uniques from Elite Clues. Now, that's pretty good as well, because I do have eight caskets, I think, in the bank to uh, open straight away. Plus, after that, we're going back to Barrows to potentially get some more Barrow uniques as well along the way. But let's go and open those caskets first, and let's see if we get two new uniques straight away. All right, so here we are with a little outfit going. We have nine Elite Clue caskets, actually. Let's check the collection log real quick. Uh, right now, we are at six uniques in 18 Elite Clues, including the Third Age Shield, the Musketeer Head, the Mithril Dragon Mask, Deerstalker Briefcase, and Yuri's Hat. Here we go. Nine caskets. A decent chance to get two new uniques. The first one. <laughs> we don't mention that one ever again. The second one. Nope. 20 Elite Clues done now. Third one, trash. Fourth one, more garbage. Come on, five caskets left. There's still a chance. There's still a chance. We gotta keep believing. That's not too good. Let's open one more. Oh no. Okay, let's uh, make some space. Let's bank everything real quick. Three caskets left. Come on, three more. No, 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 no. Two more. <sighs> it all comes down to this. This one last casket, a double unique. Surely. <laughs> well, that is zero uniques in nine caskets. We have 27 elite clues in total. We are going back to Barrows, which means that we could potentially get some more Barrows uniques. We have six remaining, so uh, let's see if we get any. Let's get started on the Barrows grind once again. As we saw earlier, we have 418 chests, six items remaining. Two Carol pieces, one Derok, one Guthan, one Torek, and one Varek. Let's see if we get any of those before the first elite clue. Let's go. All right, let's just get a, an elite clue on the first casket here. Boom. Nope, never mind. Pff, what is that? Mind runes and coins. That's not what I want to see. At least we're getting a lot of runes with the Mauritania diary now, so that's nice. Oh, hey! Wait, is that new? No, right? Gutton skirt. Nah, that's a duplicate, but still, there's an item. It's a Gutton's chain skirt on uh, chest number three. Oh my god. Guys, new item. Carol's coif. Look at that. Five chests in. We've had a duplicate. We've had a new item. That is full Carol. No, wait, that's not that's not full Carols. I still need the uh, the top. That's right. But hey, there's a coif. Cool. All right, it's time, guys. The moment everyone has been waiting for. I've run out of jewel rings, and I've decided that it's finally time to make the jewelry box. I know a lot of people have been wondering why do you not have a jewelry box. Well, that will no longer be the case because I'm about to make one. I do also need to recharge my trident, so we'll do that at once. Eight chests in so far. Two items, out of which one unique, one duplicate. Let's go make that box. 
Now the problem is, I need 80 construction to build the achievement gallery, which you can't use the crystal saw for, so I need to stew boost plus four. I've got a hell kitten, but uh, we're gonna give it a go anyways. I really want to get this jewelry box uh, sorted, so let's see if we can get some orange spice sometime soon with the hell kitten. Here we go. Go on, post kill that rat. This has to be the rarest thing to ever happen in RuneScape. I just killed two in a row with a kitten. And it's red spice twice. No. All right. The moment of truth. Plus one. Fuck. All right. Come on. We've got another one loaded up. 76 construction. Make it 80 for your boy. Uh, 78. Damn. I just caught 50 rodents in total uh, with my kitten. That, that's a new one. Your kitten has grown into a healthy cat. Okay, now the plan is to get more Karambwanjis and then we're gonna kill the behemoths. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Quick, quick, quick. Don't drop, don't you dare drop. Build mode, build mode. On, go, run. Build, build the room. Where can I build a room? Here, build, 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 build. Ah, ah. Where is it? Ah. Fuck! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> nah. I got it again! I got it again, I got it again! I got the back to back! Built! Oh yes! Oh praise the lord! Oh what a roller coaster! Oh we have it! <laughs> yes! Okay, good, good. <laughs> we can now we can now do the uh <laughs> Oh shit, we can now do the T-boost with the crystal saw to build the actual jewelry box. Let's go. Alright, let's finally do it then. Uh, let's drink the cup. Boom. And basic jewelry box has been made. And now we can actually use the Ring of Dueling and Games Necklace teleports at all times. And I don't have to make any more of those. <laughs> it was about time. I can't upgrade it yet because I need level 86 for that. So that's a bit far away. But hey, we've got the first one. Now I just need to move some things around so it's at a better uh, spot. But not too bad. All right, cool. Let us proceed with some more barrows and let's get some more elite clues. Dude, what do you mean it's 43-46? Oh, what a day. What a fucking day is it already. Jesus Christ. Oh, I imagine dying to Derek on a maxed account almost. Fuck me. Oh, hey, there, there's an item though. It's a duplicate, but I guess suiciding was the way towards a new Barrows item. Even though we already have the Varex Helm. Oh, we have an elite clue. Yes, 20 Barrows chests in for the first clue that's what i like to see let's kill a blood vault let's get this casket we have the casket come on this is casket number 10 on the task we didn't get anything from the nine we had in the bank can we get something here the first one from the barrows runs oh yes royal gown bottom let's go there it oh that's stylish i like that oh whoops sorry mr skeleton i didn't mean to do that let me Get you out of your misery real quick. There it is, Royal Gown Bottom, the first unique of the task after 10 clues. Just one more left now. Let's go back to Barrows. Let's see if we get some more items along the way as well. Okay, quick, before I die. Oh my god, another elite clue, yes! Oh, beautiful, 29 chests. A new elite, sweet. Can we get the back-to-back -back unique? That's the dream. Let's find out. It's time once again, next to Petrified Pete. Do we get lucky enough for the back-to-back -back unique? It would be nice. It would be a bit of a spoon. I mean, we didn't get anything from the nine caskets in the bank, but still, if we get a unique here... Okay. Okay, moving on swiftly back to Barrows. Yeah, we don't mention that one. 450 chest count. Woo! A nice total count there. Yeah, still five items missing. Which is not too bad, to be fair, in that count, so I can't complain. Alrighty, chest number 50 on this task. We've already got two elites, so that's pretty lucky already. And that is not a new one, but 50 chests in, 468 in total now. Two elites, three items out of which one unique. Not too bad. Oh, Carol's crossbow, but that's a another duplicate. We already have that one. Wasn't that like one of our first uniques from Barrows, like the first or second? Oh yes, clue, let's go. Okay, number three. Clue number three from Barrows, 74 chests in. Let's get it going. There it is. There's the casket. Let's quickly suicide to a lava dragon. Here we go, guys. Talk to Indus. Hi. Boom. Fuck. That's garbage. <laughs> well, that's 30 elite clues done. We get a dragon necklace, some runes, and some sweets. Awesome. Well, we're almost uh, 99 magic now. 101k XP to go. But I guess we're going back to Barrows for now. Oh, hey, new item. Torex Blade Body. At 498 total chest count, 80 chests in total on this uh, on this task. Torex Blade, that's a new full set right there. 
that means that we have now completed all of the Barrow's tasks in the heart tier as well. Because now we only have four items left and all of those are in the elite tier. The Carol Top, the Derog Lex, Gotham Body and Varric Flail. Really still want to get that Carol Stop, but we'll see if that happens. Two chests away from 500 now. Not too bad, new unique, we'll take it. Chest number 500, give me something good here. Nope, that's not it. Alright, 500 chests, that's cool though. Chest number 100 on the task. No item, no elite clue. It is what it is. 62k until 99 magic now. Gotham Skirt, again, that's the second one on this task already. Oh my god, we actually got an elite clue. What do we get? Is it a unique? Are we free? Okay, that's that's just what you can expect from elite clues right there. Yep. Oh my god, wait, I just got the Gotham's Plate Body. Literally the chest after the previous elite clue. Are you kidding me? 536, new collection log item, the Gotham's Plate Body. We're only missing three now. Literally just three items left at 536 chests. I'm pretty sure that's very lucky. Or a duplicate Carol Coif. That is the one that we got as the first unique on this task, uh, as far as Barrows goes. Alright, chest number 550 in total. Nothing there, but the, the number is getting up there. It's time, guys. 99 number 4 on the account. Right here, 99 magic. We are now a master of the magic skill. That's actually going to be a cape that I am going to buy, because unlike the ranging cape and the strength cape, this one is actually going to be useful when, like, switching spellbooks. So I'm definitely going to get that. Now let's see if we can get that next elite clue soon. I'll, uh, I'll go pick up that cape when I need it, uh, when I want to switch a spellbook next time, but... Yeah, there we go, 99 magic. Fourth 99, attack probably going to be next, 542k XP left. Not going to be on this task, but, you know, might still be in the hard tier. Oh, damn, Carol's skirt. The wrong piece of Carol's, I need the top. This is it, the quiz master. It's here once again, it's been a while. But this could be the stealth again. Let's see what we get. What do we get from the mystery box? Maybe next time. Oh my god, and there's another Carol skirt at 599. I'm gonna do one more chest to get to 600, and then we're gonna switch things up and go to Seracnus, because I think I'm gonna get quicker elite clues there, and I'm kinda done with Barrows for now, so we're just gonna switch things up a bit. Let's see if we get lucky on one more chest, but after that, we are going to Seracnus. There you have it, 600 Barrows chest count, so that means we are switching things up. Let's try some Seracnus, let's put that bludgeon to use for the very first time, and uh, hopefully get some more elite clues, because I've been very dry at Barrows for a while now. Let's see if Seracnus is a bit more generous for us. Hello there, Seracnus, it's gonna be you and me. Let's start killing some spider, and hopefully we'll get some more elite clues compared to Barrows, because uh, we did about 182 Barrow chests, uh, got 4 elite clues, so a bit dry there. Let's see if Sorachnus is a bit more generous today. Maybe we'll get the cudgel as well. Alright, first trip done. Seven kills. I, I think that's decent. You know, it's a 1 in 60 drop rate for the elite clue. So uh, that's about 10 trips for an elite clue. That's not too bad. We also got a grubby key, so uh, we can open those later on as well. I did not just die at Sorachnus, dude. At 3 HP. It's fine. You know, I tried to clutch it there. That 3 HP, what do you want me to do? It is what it is. <laughs> Alright, we got a giant X egg. That's always good. Those are the drops we want from Sorachnus as well. Guys, it is time. <sighs> Clue scroll elite. What a beautiful sight. I, I thought I wouldn't live to see it one more time, but there it is. We can finally do a clue. Uh, let me get out of here. 48 Sorakin is in. After quite some Barrow's chest without an elite clue. First step is Sherlock. Let's see what he gives us. Let's see if we can get a casket and a unique. We actually got the step. Oh, this is the longest elite clue in the history of mankind. We need to string a U longbow. Which means 70 fletching, which is good. It's good, because that means that we can make adamant darts afterwards for our blowpipe. But that does mean that we need to get 8 fletching levels. Um, but I guess we'll get started on that. I'm not sure if I have the supplies for that. I have no idea. But we'll have a look-see. <laughs> Okay, the plan is simple. We're gonna buy arrow shafts, we're gonna buy feathers, and we're gonna buy broad arrow heads. And we're just gonna make broad arrows all the way to 70 fletching. So let's get that going. All right, there we go. We are done buying all the supplies. Look at that. Time to make all of these arrows, and that's probably gonna take a while because we have to do it this way. But yeah, here we go. Fletching time. There you have it, 65 fletching. That's uh, three levels so far, I think, from making the headless arrows and then putting some broad arrow tips on it already. Let's make our way straight to 70. We've got all the headless arrows, so the XP is flying in right now. 
And there you have it. We have reached 70 fletching. I do still have some uh, supplies here, so I think I'm gonna quickly turn those into arrows as well, because, you know, I may as well do that real quick. We can then make that U longbow for the clue scroll, and then we can move on and hopefully get that casket ASAP. There you have it, the reward casket elite, together with some adamant bars from the avian sea. Let us pick up those as well, and let's finally find out what this casket is gonna give us. Is it gonna give us the second unique, yes or no? You cannot open a casket in this area. Well, <laughs> that's good to know. All right, hang on. Let's go over to the Ferox Enclave and let's open it here. Boom. The oh, whole pain. That that is that is exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, a rune plate and a rune skirt and some other stuff. Oh, awesome. Well, I'm I'm gonna do some more barrows now. Uh, get an elite clue there, and then once I've done that elite clue, and if I didn't get the unique yet, I'll uh, go back to Sarakness. Just switching things up every now and then. <gasps> oh my God! Yes. We got the Carol stop, no way, 603 chest count, three chests back at Barrows and we have the exact item that I was still waiting on. Oh, that is perfect, wow. I mean, it's not an elite clue, but that means we only have two items left to get from Barrows now. And we finally have the Carol stop, how nice is that? Let's fucking go. Oh, uh, Varric skirt, it's a duplicate, but there's another item. Yes! I always get so excited when I see an elite clue. Oh god, 620. That's 20 chests in after we did the elite clue from Sir Rockness. Let's go. Let's get the unique 15th elite clue of the task. Surely this will be the one, right? Here we go, guys. We're gonna dig for the casket and instantly open the chest for our second unique. No. No! It's a Master Scroll Book empty, which I do not need whatsoever. I've got four of those. Well, that's 33 elites now. Alright, heading back to Sir Rockness, but this time we do have the Carol top as well. Let's see how this goes then. Let's see if we can do uh, longer trips. I'm only using potatoes, so probably evens out a bit. We got the cudgel as well! Holy shit! 71 KC! And we have the, <laughs> the cudgel! That's another hard task done right there. Let's fucking go! Oh my god, everything's falling into place now. Hell yeah! Cudgel obtained, boys. There it is. Lovely. Now let's get the pet, the jar, let's get everything. We have another one guys, there it is, elite clue on 80 KC on this task, 98 KC in total. It's time! Let's head the fuck out and let's get our unique. Please! We got the cask, number 16. We're going back to Barrows, let's get the Derok Legs and Varric Flail, yep. What is this? Ooh, another Carol's Crossbow, that's the second one on this task. We've done like 215 chests so far on this task, but... There's another Carol's crossbow, number three in total, I think. Ah, gut and plate, buddy. That's another duplicate right there, 647 chests in total now. Oh my god, I actually got a clue. Nah, but how How does that work? What? <laughs> so I was playing like the intro of Blue's Clues, thinking that it would maybe give me luck to get a clue. It worked. Yes, let's go. New clue. <laughs> Here we are, casket number 17 on the task. There it is. There it is. Mr. Clue Scroll. How's it going, mate? There's the next one, number 18 on the task. After 66 Arachnids there, after the uh, elite clue from Barrows. Cross your fingers and your toes. Consider them crossed. Here we go. If I had some bolts right now, I'd shoot it straight to Sherlock's head. Oh my god, we come back and we get a new item again. But it, it's another duplicate, of course. It's uh, Guthans Blade Buddy number 3 on this task. Yo, oh, well, we did get an item again. It's the Derok's Blade Buddy, though. That is not what we need. We need the Derok Legs. Oh my fucking- oh, No way! What?! Huh! We got an Elite and a new Unique! <laughs> what the fuck?! That is one of the two items I still needed, and I get an Elite Clue. Oh, wow, we only need one more item now. We only need the Varric Flail. Plus we get a- what a casket. Oh my god. That is disgusting. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was like, oh, new item, plus the clue. Holy shit. Now, if we get a unique from this clue as well, that's gonna be absolutely insane. <laughs> Let's find out. <sighs> Come on. We got the Derek Legs together with this clue, so it has to be a good one. This one is blessed right here. Clue number 19. <laughs> it just it just hurts to look at these. Like what is this? What are these rewards? 46k. We we already have a new clue, guys. 
It's already time again. How many kills was that? That was like 20, right? Not even. I'm not sure. About 20 Seracnis maybe for this clue? Lovely. It's time. Clue number 20. Yes! Oh, yes. We have a katana. Oh, that is so cool, dude. Oh, that's such a cool unique as well. I love this one. You know, fun fact, my main account used to be called My Katana. Because it only had 40 attack and nothing else. It was like a skiller. And I, I would just rug the katana with nothing else. And now we have it. On clue 20 on the task, the second unique, we're free. Not only did we get two uniques from elite clues, we also got five uniques from Barrows and the cudgel. So we can complete all of those tasks right now. Whew! And this also means that we are going back to last man standing because we are going to add all of those other tasks, which means we're going to go back to the medium tier, complete those four tasks, and then we're going back to the hard tier. Let's go do all of that right now in the spreadsheet. First things first, it's time to clean up the bank just a bit because, uh, yeah, I can't breathe anymore. We have 815 out of 816, so we're just going to clean it up a little bit. Just, just a little bit, all some items, get rid of some junk. And then uh, we'll go to the spreadsheet to do everything we have to do. Alright, so here we are on the spreadsheet. We've added four tasks in medium for the ward upgrade kit, the granite clamp and the two whip mixes from LMS. Then there's four new hard tier tasks as well uh, for the dark bow paints from LMS. And four elite tasks for the golden godsword specials from LMS. Now, before we get this next medium task from LMS, let's also complete all the tasks we've done passively on this task. Because we got these two Barrows Uniques in the hard tier. And then we also got three of the Barrow Uniques in the elite tier. Because we got five in total. Which means there's only one Barrows Unique left to get. The Varric Flail in the elite tier. On top of that we also got the Seracnis Cudgel. So let's complete that one as well. Right here. And that should be it. Now if we go back to the dashboard, we are at 79% hard and 97% medium. If we complete the two uniques from elite clues, is that going to be 80%? Yes it is. Look at that. 80% hard, 6% elite, but 97% medium. We have to do four more tasks in last man standing. They all add up to 95 points if I'm not mistaken. Let's see which one we get first. The first one is going to be the frozen whip mix. So let's start killing some more players in last man standing and... Uh, Let's see if we get any better than last time, although we did do fairly well. Alright, we are back here with our new outfit, with the katana, we're looking good. So, the thing we need is the frozen whip mix, 25 points. Last time, let's look at the scoreboard, we played 27 games, we got 42 kills and even got one victory. Let's see if we can do that again right now. We are on the UK ping now, so we might be a bit better, although our opponents might be a bit better as well. So we'll see what happens, but let's get started with some more last man standing. Good fight. I don't know what I drop in change for Elder Maul. Do I just not use a whip anymore? Still use whip? Well, too late. It's a goner. Use Elder Maul like AGS? Okay. But then I have so many items in my inventory. That's too much. That's the problem. Ah, uh, he must have been out of food as well. Two points. First two on the board. Yay. Oh, oh my god. Wow, that was... <laughs> Ouch. Oh well, another two points. That's okay. As long as we get two points a game, that's fine. <laughs> ah, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that was more kills. We got two points again though. Even though we had two kills because we were only top whatever. Six total. It's okay. This guy was just trolling me, I swear. Whatever, it's fine. Three points, it's okay. Ho 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 ho, but this DDS is on steroids right now, holy shit. Oh well, I, I tried, I guess. Anyways, that was alright. Four points in that one, so we'll take it.
If only. If only. Uh whatever. That was that was fairly okay. That could have been it, I guess, but you know what? Six points in a game, that's fine by me. We came second, so we'll take that. 19 points in total. Six points left for this first medium LMS task. We did it! Let's go! That is 7 points in my pocket, second victory on the account, hell yeah! Look at that, 2 wins, 64 kills, 39 games. Hey, we're closing in on like 2 KDR at this rate. 2 wins, not too bad, that was pretty good I think. I think we did well there. That also means we have enough points now, look at that, 27 in total. So we can trade Justine over here. Our task is the frozen whip mix, so let's go and grab that one. 25 points, yes sir, there we go. New collection log item, frozen whip mix. We got it! Let's throw that on one of the whips we have, because we have like three. Right here, three whips, let's use that on one of those. Whew, yes, there we go, look at that. Boom. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, frozen whip. We're getting decent at it, I reckon. We're, you know, we're, we're picking up some tips and tricks here and there. Soon enough we'll be professional PKR and we'll be competing in all the tournaments. But for now, let's go to the next task. Let's see what the next item is that we have to get. Alright, there we go. First medium LMS task has been completed. The Frozen Whip Mix. 25 points for that one. There's two more that are 25 points. And there's one that is 20 points. Let's see what the next one is gonna be. It is the Granite Clamp, which is also 25 points. So, let's go for that one now. Let's see if we get another win as well. Ah, oh, fuck. Why did I not eat there? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, uh, two points. Oh my god, nah, he hit, hit 33 with Bar- Ah, that's fine. I was just trying too hard with the Derog there, but hey, that wasn't too bad, you know? First fight of the day and we got 4 points, so that's 9 total, not too bad actually. Oh well. That was a decent, decent game as well. Four points once again. 13 in total, only 12 left for the task, so... We did it! We just went and got our third <laughs> victory, guys. Dude, we're, we're gaming, we're becoming the best PKer that old school's ever seen. And that is 6 points, which means we now have 26, which is another task done right there. Let's trade Justine again for the Granite Clamp. 25 points, we got it. Boom, new collection log item. Let's throw that on the Granite Mall as well. And then we just have 2 more items left to get in the medium tier which is the want upgrade kit and the second whip mix. Apply the upgrade, now it's even bigger, I think. That's a massive granite mall, holy shit. That one is uh, pimped out as fuck. Anyways, another task done. Let us bang that and let us get the second to last medium tier LMS task. And just like that, we've got the granite clamp, which was the second medium tier LMS task. 98% medium, like I said, two tasks left. Which one are we gonna get next? It's going to be the Volcanic Whip Mix. 
So let's go for that one. And then the last one is going to be the Ward Upgrade Kid, which is only 20 uh, points. So we're finishing with the lowest amount of points task. Pretty good. Three points, that is five total. You know, that's that's all right. Bit of a rough one there, I could have had him for sure. I think, let's just say that he outgeared me. That That's all there is to it, really. <laughs> Look at me run after him. Nah, there's no way I hit zero, zero. What is it? <laughs> oh, what was that? Well, shout out Large Pockets for being a big fan, though. Oh well, Crow Ride was a bit too good. Oh my... No way! <laughs> well, that's two points. <laughs> Wow, dude, I can't believe he survived there. Uh, whatever. Wow 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 I'm actually pff, I'm I'm a beast. I'm just gonna say it straight up. <laughs> I did very well. I was doing well there. I was speaking like a god. And I'm I'm not sure. I, I think I was actually Losing hard at the start, but then I definitely brought it back like halfway through. I'm really happy with that one. Fourth win on the account. Let's fucking go. 19 points, only six left for the task. Now this is gaming. Battle of the century right here. Just two magic carps splashing at each other. What is this? Now we know who's the best Belgian YouTuber in the, in the OSRS section, don't we? Kinda destroyed that guy. Um, and that's another win for your boy, right there. And that is 26 points, <laughs> which means we're done with our task. We are now a veteran, by the way. We're now a veteran at uh, LMS, hell yeah. <laughs> right, let's get ourselves the Volcanic Whip Mix. Right, Volcanic Whip Mix, another item to the collection log by winning another game. Dude, we're getting so many wins. That was our fifth win, by the way. That is pretty good, in my opinion. Let's just grab another Abyssal Whip, let's put it on there. And we now have the second recolored whip as well, the Volcanic Abyssal Whip right there. Alright, one more task left in the medium tier right now for LMS, let's get that one. Let's go back to the spreadsheet. Honestly, like, we're smashing these LMS tasks, we are going through them quite swiftly, getting wins left, right and center. Becoming the best BKR Gilnor has ever seen. Let's complete the Volcanic Whip Mix right there as well. That is 99% medium, which means we only have one more task left. And that is going to be the Ward Upgrade Kit. Right there. One more task left in the medium tier for LMS. That is 20 more points. And once we have that, we are going back 
to the heart here. It's fine. I get 5 points and we take that. 8 points left for the task and then we're done. Oh my god. Oh, but what? I don't know, my inventory was like, there's just too many things. <laughs> I get confused quickly. And then I lose track of everything else. But hey, we're only 5 points away now. That was another 2. So that's all good by me. Three points to go! Possibly the last game coming up if I do well. They run all over the place, it's so fucking annoying! Ha! Huh. Shit bots. Okay, anyways, we're done. We got the four points that we needed. 22 in total, and that means we are done with the LMS tasks in the medium tier right now. Let us get ourselves the Wart upgrade kit. And that is a new collection lock item right there. Number four on the account. Now we do have to make a decision because this one goes on both the Odium and the Malediction Ward, but in my opinion it looks much better on the Odium Ward, so we're gonna pop it on there, use that ornament kit right there, and boom, now we have this thing. How cool is that? I really like this one. We now have, if we take a look at the collection log, I believe 9 items on the LMS collection log. We're making solid progress on that one as well. There is 9 out of 32. There will be 4 more in the heart tier, which is all of these dark bow paint mixes. And then there's also 4 in the elite tier, which are all the golden god sword special attacks. We might also get the victor's cape 10 if we get 5 more wins by the time we're done with that. But let's find out what the next heart task is gonna be. Maybe more LMS? Maybe something else. Let's see. So with that ward upgrade kit, we are now done with the medium tier once again for like the fifth time, but soon we'll do it for the sixth time because Temporals is going to be released and that's going to be a bunch of new tasks again. But for now, we are back to hard tasks. There are four LMS tasks. Do we get one of those after all of this LMS? Let's see what we get. Oh my god. Okay. It is time, guys. The final Slayer grind in the hard tier. The unique from Thermonuclear Smoke Devil. That means we have to get this final Slayer level, 93 Slayer. And then we are gonna kill Thermi to get either the Occult Necklace or the Smoke Battle Staff. Alright, time to get started on the Slayer grind. 321k XP is what we need, which is, you know, pretty much on the way to 93 already. We uh, got quite some XP from all the boss tasks we've done in the past. We're gonna use this Bludgeon at Gargoyles now, because we still have 107 of those from when we did the Guardians. So uh, let's get going. 320k XP, it's not too bad. We'll get there in a reasonable amount of time, and then we can go to Thermi to hopefully get that unique very quickly. Hopefully the Occult, actually. That would be the best one to get for sure. All right, we're done with that Gargoyle task, and now let's go back to Konar. <laughs> As a friendly reminder, uh, let's just check how many chests we've opened. Two, uh, 427 without a single unique. We'll still be doing Konar for this grind as well to get 93 Slayer and hopefully at the end we'll uh, we'll get something from this stupid chest. Ooh, Dark Beast. Alright, that's not too bad. I don't mind those. I don't know why people always hate about them, but I kind of like Dark Beast. Hey, look at that. We have an Elite Kalu Scroll from an Ebby Demon. That's pretty rare. That's like 1 in 1200, I think. But uh, we can get some more caskets, which we will definitely need later on. So uh, hopefully we can get some on this Slayer grind as well. And there we go, we have the Elite Clue Casket, so that is once again stacking up in the bank. Like I said, hopefully we can get a lot more before the next Elite Clue Task, and then maybe we can get more lucky than the last time. Because last time we got nothing from 9 Caskets, hopefully we'll get some the next time. <sighs> well, there was my 99 attack! Um, yay! We did Ooh! it! We did it guys, 99 attack! So yeah, there's our uh, our fifth 99 on the account now. Hit points, attack, strength, range, and mage. All that's left from combat is defense, so let's start training that now. We are currently 170k away from 93 Slayer, so still a bit of a defense XP to get as well. 
probably not gonna get a level, but we'll get there. Big boy going down, what do we get? Death runes, way! Hey, there it is, dark bow number three on the account. I kind of want to get four in total, because then I can use all of the dark bow recolors from LMS later in the heart here. So there's number three, just need one more and then we are sorted. Okay, so we are presented with the chance to go and kill Krill Tzeroth on a Slayer task. And I think we have to go for 35, because that means we still have a really good chance. Well, not really a really good chance, but a decent chance at getting that Zemi Spear before we head into the Elite here. And we kind of want to grab that. We might also still get that Imp Champion Scroll. It is going to slow down the Slayer training a little bit, but I mean, we're 122k away. That's not going to take too much longer. So uh, let's go and do some Zemi God Wars dungeon. Maybe we'll get that Zemi Spear. That would be amazing. Dude, there's literally so many improvements since the last time we did Zemi God Wars dungeon. Because we have a task, we have piety, and we also have 99 magic. So I can buy a magic skill cape to switch my spellbook instead of having to go to the pyramid. So um, everything's falling into place now. It's amazing. Let's see how well we can do at Zemi God Wars dungeon with all of these things going for us. No, I forgot that I'm poisoned now. Oh my god, and it's a double zero? Well, that was unfortunate. Um, let's try that again with an anti-poison as well. Okay, fine, I'll leave, it's fine. You win, Krill, you win. But overall, I'm victorious on that trip, because that was seven kills, I think. So, uh, on task with piety, definitely a lot easier than uh, it used to be before. <gasps> we got our first Godsword shard on the account! Godsword Shard 3! Look at that! Never had one before. We take that. It's not a Zemi Spear, but it's something. I saw a green text, so I got excited. Let's take it. There it is, the final Krill to Tzeroth kill. Do we get anything? No, we get Super Restores. 94 KC, though. That's wrecking up. Hopefully, we'll get another one of those um, very soon if we have to do more Slayer. Uh, probably not on this grind, but maybe, maybe in the Elite tier. I want to get that Zemi Spear ASAP, because we're going to need that for other tasks. But... We're done with this Slayer task, let's go back to Konar, hopefully get some good XP tasks so we can get that final chunk of XP done as fast as possible. We have made it guys. This last Bloodveld brings us to the 93 Slayer that we needed and just like that we have unlocked Smoke Devils. We have 30 Bloodvelds left, but I mean that would be milk to kill those as well, right? We are going straight to Duradel to start skipping for that. Hopefully we can get it with the points that we have, otherwise it's back to Turiel. But first things first, I'm gonna get one kill, because you are able to get one kill off task for the diary. Who knows, maybe we are super lucky to get a unique on that first kill. I highly doubt it, <laughs> but let's see if we can do it. Alright, here we go guys, the first thermonuclear smoke devil kill off task for soul runes. That is an elite diary task, but now we actually have to get a slayer task as well, so... Let's see if Duradel is going to be nice to us, otherwise we will have to start the real skipping. Alright, so we have 245 reward points, which means uh, 8 skips available. Let's see if we get lucky. Uh, we have to skip this Blood Vault in the first place, so let's do that. Now let's see if we can get Smoke Devils. Oh, I'm going to skip so such good tasks again, like 228 Neck Krills, that hurts. Come on. Oh! Life is good today, 100 and... No, I forgot to extend them, I think. Can you extend them? 155, is, is that a thing? Can't extend. Okay, we're good. Um, second task, 155 smoke devils. Let's go. All right, now the real grind begins. What do you mean 20 kills and we have a smoke battle stuff? Oh my god. <sighs> well, we are done. <laughs> uh, it's not the occult. I really wanted to get the occult on this task, but... Can I really complain about a 20kc 1 in 5 12 item? I suppose I can't. I suppose I can't. That's a pretty cool pretty cool item as well. Neat fashion scape, I suppose. I'm not sure if that's really too useful for many things. But I mean, I'll take it. We have the smoke battle staff now. Sweet! Task done! But yeah, thanks to Lord Jesus, we got blessed to get the early smoke battle staff, I suppose. Let's see what we get from the 13 brimstone keys that we got from uh, the little slayer grind we had to do. As a reminder, 427 chests have been opened without a single item. Please give me something. Five left. We need we need the Jesus blessing. We need Jesus to come through again. Hit us with the blessing, dude. No, that's a headbang. <laughs> okay, there it is. For thy task is lawful. Hey, it even mentions task. Five keys. Come on. 
Shit game, moving on. <laughs> Getting a new task, as per usual, 440 brimstone chests dry of a single item. So literally just 20 kills in and we get the smoke battle stuff. Not the one we wanted, but hey, at least it'll be useful for things like glass making, I suppose. That's the only thing that comes to mind. But that is completed right there. And let's see what the next task is going to be. Oh, it's the elven synod. There it is. And this means that we have to train our hunter to level 80 to unlock crystal implings. This is also going to be a great new method to obtain elite clues for us, I believe. Uh, we'll probably get a few along the way, maybe, uh, while hunting for the Elven Senior, which wouldn't be too bad to get some more caskets in the bank. Plus, we'll get a bunch of Renar Seeds as well, I think. So, overall, not a bad task. Just gonna be some uh, skilling content. We'll have to grind that Hunter level, but then we can go to Privetonus to hunt those Crystal Implings and hopefully get that Elven Senior. Don't be flex. Peakeeper number four on the account. We have one piece. Please be piece number two. Come on. No flex. No flex. No flex. God damn it! Baguette. Baguette! Steel plate, buddy. Okay, well, that's close, but no baguette. And there it is, 75 Hunter. We can now catch Murring Bats. Let's go. Well, that is five levels to go until we have level 80 for the Crystal Impling, so we better keep going. Still gonna take a while, probably like, I don't know, nine hours or something. But we already have a thousand chins, so that's pretty good. All of these chins will be adding up for Arma later, so they will definitely come in useful. I swear to god, if this is flex again, I'm gonna have to hurt someone, so it better not be. Let's find out. Alright, here we go. Mr. Beekeeper, what's it gonna be? Flex or a piece? Oh, <laughs> you're taking the piss. It's flex again. Ah! And there he goes, into the box. Let's grab that chin right there, and that is 80 Hunter on the account. We can now have up to 5 traps, but most importantly, we can now catch Crystal Implings. We can also uh, track the Herbivore, but I don't think we'll ever end up doing that. Um, but anyways, 80 Hunter done, ready for the Crystal Implings. Let's see how long it takes to get the Elven Signet. Hopefully we'll get some Renar Seeds and Clue Scrolls before we get it, but let's find out. Also, of course, we got 3,947 Red Chin Chompas, and those are going to come in handy later on when we go to Armadil. So those are going to be in the bank until we get one of those tasks in the Elite here. Let's gear up and let's search those Implings. Alright, so first things first, we do need some more Impling Jars. So I'm going to get one Jar Generator to start with. We'll use that to uh, catch some Crystal Implings. If we don't have the Signet yet, we'll come back for another one, but let's see if we get lucky with these. Here we go, guys. The very first Crystal Impling on the account. Shout out to Kitchen Sink. What do we get from this one? Nothing, because we can't catch it. Hello? <laughs> there we go. Boom. Four Rune Scimitars. Money in the bank. There we go. First Crystal Impling. Rune Dart Tips. I suppose that's not bad either. We have the Master Clue in the bank. That's going to allow us to train up to make Rune Darts as soon as we get one of those tasks in the Elite here. So getting those is pretty good. Well, we've got the two for here. One from Yuri, one from Charlotte. Boink. Javelin heads and rune darts. Rune darts are good. Javelin heads, not so much. Renar seeds. Yes, that's what we need. Five of them. Good. Good. Boom. Ooh, there's the first elite clue scroll, guys. We're switching it up. A break from the implings because we have a clue to do. Nice. Plus we get a crystal acorn as well. Also, that first clue came in after 18 Crystal Implings, which hasn't taken too long so far, thanks to the scouts. Uh, I think that was about maybe 40 minutes or so. Okay, <laughs> we, we got the casket. It wasn't the cleanest KBD kill I've ever done, but we, we got the Elite Clue casket. Now we can go back to the Implings. Jesus Christ. I almost died there because I got stalled by the, by the crate. <laughs> Another clue scroll. But we'll go get the one from Aristana as well. Elite clue number two. Let's go. That's pretty lucky, because I think we're only at about 50 implings now. Considering the drop rate is 1 in 50. How many do we have now? We have 48. This is number 49 here. Let's get another casket. There's casket number two. Let's go. Back to Priv. No! It despawned as I was generating my jar. I didn't get it, Yuri. No. <laughs> Pain. Dragon stones. Oh my god, third elite clue, yes! Let's go! Another KBD kill for the elite clue. Right after having to kill KBD, we now have to kill an even stronger monster. A rock crab. 
And there's casket number three on the impling grind. Let's go. Two implings here. Ruby, ball tips, and amulets of power. Back to Priv. That's a hundred right there. One hundred crystal implings caught. Three elite clues in just about three hours as well. So uh, shout out to all the scouters because that makes a, a massive difference. Elite clue number four. Let's go. Thank you very much, Charlotte, for that one. That is now 107 crystal implings for four elites. We're getting quite lucky on those, I think. But I'm not complaining. Let's do it. There's a casket. We are good to go. Nice. Wait, I, I, I got sniped by Tiddy Cheese. No. Oh my god, we got another elite clue. Yes. That is now number five. In 133 crystal implings. Sweet. Casket number six going into the bank. And we go back to Priv. Ooh, clue scroll elite. Let's go. Alrighty, that is number six now. For a second I was like, yes, wise. But then I realized that I can't unlock things when I'm not on an elite clue task. Because this is one thing that I don't have yet. I cannot enter wise yet. I could save the elite clue until I get... You know, the, the last elite clue task in the, in the heart here. But the fact that I can still get a lot of elite clues before that, it's just not really worth it. So, I'm afraid we're gonna have to drop this one. Okay. Beekeeper. Just from me to you, do not dare give me flex again, dude. I'm gonna find you. I swear to God. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Man. Ah. I hate this random event. I hate it. Okay, we're planning to do something here. We are going to the rooftops because I don't know if you guys remember, but at the start of the account, when I got 60 agility for the ecumenical key, I didn't pick up any marks of grace. And that kind of bit me in the ass now because I only have the first pool in my house. So the plan is to get just 10 marks of grace so I can upgrade this one to the, uh, the third tier so I can recharge my stamina as well. Because that's going to help me with loads of things. And I should have actually had those marks. It's just because I wasn't really sure about the rules at the start. So, we're going to get 10 marks of grace. And then after that, we will continue with the impling hunting. There's mark number 10. So, we are done with the agility for now. We did get about 36k XP. So, that's not too bad, actually. Just about 25k left for 82 agility. Which is going to unlock the next floor in the Hello Sepulchre. But... We're going to Birthorp, we're gonna get some amylase, we're gonna make some stamina pots. And then we can finally make that pool in the house, so let's go and do that. Alright, here we go, buy one amylase spec, open that, and we have 100 amylase crystals. Now let's make 10 stamina pots, and then we can go make that pool. Making stamina pots for the first time on the account feels good, man. We're only gonna make the 10 for now, though. And we'll probably make a bunch more in the elite tier later on. But that'll do for now, let's go make that pool. Oh, here we go, guys. Revitalization pool has been built. I am also going to upgrade it to the rejuvenation pool because I can boost with a T plus the crystal saw. So let's do that. And then we are going back to Priv. All right. Now we drink the tea and we upgrade the pool again to the rejuvenation pool. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Now we can use this and let's go back to impling hunting. Yoink. Oh my god, we got it! Hey, there it is, Elven Signet. I'll go for the one that Charlotte called as well, but... We just got it, guys. We got it on an impling that I found myself, by the way. <laughs> 198 crystal implings is all it took. Slightly over the drop rate, but not too bad. Shout out to all the people that have been scouting a lot, including Charlotte and Yuri and... Many others! <laughs> But those two have definitely scouted the most. Journey, one of them as well. Let me catch this last one, just because Charlotte still found it. Watch me get another Elven Signet from this one. Imagine. We get Dragon Daggers. Anyways, we do have the Elven Signet. We can now use this to save some charges on Crystal Equipment when we use it, which we'll probably not really use too often. Uh, I think it's mostly useful when using uh, skilling items. But anyways, Elven Signet obtained. Task completed, and we can move on. So I guess this is the main loot right here. The main thing is definitely the 94 Renar seeds, a bunch of rune dart tips and rune darts as well. We got some other stuff as well, but they stacked up in the bank with other things that we already had. So can't really see how much I had in total, but you know, it gives you a decent idea. We also got a bunch of wretched chompas getting to the 80 hunter. 
So uh, not too shabby whatsoever. Obviously the, the six elite clues as well, out of which we couldn't do one of them, but that's still fine. We got some elite clue caskets in the bank from that. So we're ready for the next elite clue grind. Anyways, task done, moving back to the spreadsheet and let's see what the next task is gonna be. Might be some AFK minigame or it might be some more PVM. Let's find out. Elven Signet, took about four days getting the hunter level plus hunting the crystal implings. Could have taken a lot longer if it wasn't for all the people scouting. So once again, big thanks to all of them. Uh, let's complete the Elven Signet. That is 81% into the hard tier. There's about 30 hard tasks left now. The next task we're gonna complete is a unique from Shades of Morton. So we're going back there. We're gonna get some more remains, get some more pyre logs. And we'll get that next unique, which is probably going to be one of the locks, I believe. So we're gonna need to get either the steel locks or the black locks here. And for that, we're gonna get some rile remains because those can give high steel and low black keys. So we're gonna start collecting some of those, get some pyre locks. We'll put those together, get some keys, and hopefully get one of these logs very, very soon. If we get lucky, we might even get one of these journals, uh, but I highly doubt that'll happen, but who knows? We'll see. I just realized I have like, what is this, 11 steel keys to already try and see if I get the lock. So maybe we'll get lucky enough to uh, not have to get any remains. Let's go and see if we get lucky with 11 keys. Come on, baby. Let me spoon this one. And the last one. No, unlucky. No luck with the banked key, so let's get some remains. Come on, 10 keys. Wait, these are black. Fuck. Uh, two steel, purple. Where are the, where are the purple? Okay, nothing there. Let's go to the black chests. Nope. Never lucky. All right. More pyre locks coming in. And there's a prayer level coming in. Look at that. 71 prayer. Nothing too special, but... We'll take that. Two steel keys that give us nothing. Looks like we're not getting anything. One steel black key and one steel purple key. Not lucky with those. A lot of mithril, but not much more than that. Getting a bunch of fine cloth, but that's about it. Final three keys here. Oh my god, we got the bloody notes. Yes, let's open the two others as well. Fuck it. Okay, nothing there, but we got the bloody notes! Hey, That's nice. Collection log item obtained. We didn't even get one of the locks. We got the notes. That is so good. Oh my god. I think that was about... Rough guess, maybe 70 keys. 60 to 70. We read it, we get this thing, we read that, and we can now learn how to make a blood bark armor, which I'm not sure if that's ever gonna be useful. Um... But I'm probably gonna make that at some point, because I think it looks cool as well. We're done with the task. Moving on swiftly. There's one more Shades of Morton Unique left in the heart here. But we'll see what that'll be. I'm very happy with that. That is nice. <laughs> nice and easy. Just about two hours of Shades of Morton there. Obviously very lucky to get one of the notes instead of one of the locks. <laughs> but I'm, I'm very happy with that. Next time we'll do the same thing to still try and get that steel or a black lock. Is that going to be right now or is that going to be later? Let's see what the next task is. It's five new uniques from Heart Clues. That's not too bad. It's been a while since we've uh, killed some jellies. So looks like we're about to barrage some more jellies. And we'll see if we get some cool items on this Heart Clue task. Not too shabby. Okay, so I, I kind of forgot. I kind of forgot once again that I have a Heart Clue in the bank already. I, I killed a few jellies. Not too many. Uh, but but there's there's a Heart Clue. So we're starting with this one. One day I'm gonna learn, okay? One day I'll learn. There's the first casket of the task. I'm not sure how many clues we are at, but let's see what we get from this one. Nothing too great to start with. 166 heart clues is the start counter. Let's see how many we have to do for these next five uniques. Feeling good about this one because I do remember getting a double unique here on one of my first heart clue tasks. I'm very sure that I actually got Zamorak Bracers here. I think we got this together with like a Zamorak plate skirt or something. So that's pretty cool, I guess. It's a duplicate, but not a unique. Was kind of scuff, but now we get two uniques. Or none. That's another duplicate. Bandle Sky Shield. Unlucky. Six clues in, two duplicates. Okay, so I do have three full dark totems, actually. Which means three Skatizo kills. I completely forgot about those. So we can go do those for three easy hard clues. What do we get from the first Cotizo kill? 
out of three. Nothing special, but there's a hard clue. And that right there is a good casket with uh, the third duplicate of the task, the Red Cavalier. Awesome. Yay. I just got the second pet. 25 KC, you have a funny feeling like you would have been followed. <laughs> well then. <laughs> There's a second Skodos coming in hot. We'll take that. Let's go to the Fairy Queen for our heart clue. Yay. <laughs> Alright, final Skatizo kill for now. After this, we need one more totem piece for the next one. But from kill number three, we get Anglerfish. No elite clue, no Dark Claw just yet. But we did get a second pet. 26 KC. Okay, this has to be it. Clue number 10 on the task. I'm feeling two uniques here. But that is the worst casket I've seen so far. Even got the 73 there with the nature runes. Wow. Alright, fine. I'll get two uniques. Or one. <laughs> For a second I was like, Red Cavalier? No, I already got that on the last clue as well, I think. But we got Gothic Blade Legs and that's a new one. That is one out of five uniques with the fourth duplicate as well. Clue number 11 into the task. Do we get the back-to-back -back next to Sub Lucky Tank? Yes, we do! Oh my god, a Dehyde Shield! Oh my god, that is so good! Zamorak Dehyde Shield, I'm pretty sure those are very rare, actually, from Hard Clues. Look at that! That is the first one I have, I'm pretty sure. Holy moly, Zamorak Dehyde Shield. Very nice, second unique, and that's a, that's a good one. Oh my god. Yeah, that is the first one. Nice! Dehyde shields are very rare, so it's really cool to get one. And that looks pretty cool as well, actually, with the logo on top of it. We take those. Let's uh, get another unique here. Or a lot of purple sweets. Wow, 32? That that might be like three purple sweets rolls. I'm not sure. At least two, that's for sure. Alrighty, here we go. Boom. Oh! Oh my god, it's a double unique! Yes! Look at that! Gothic's Crozier and the Dual Psy. Oh, baby. We can shank some people now, plus we have a new Crozier as well. Lovely jubbly, two uniques and one clue, clue number 15 on the task. Now we just need one more. Let's see how long that one takes. Possibly number five here. It's a duplicate, Red D High Chips Gold. We already have those. All right, here we go. This is a good casket. Casket number 18 on the task, and I know that I'm gonna get a, a unique from this one. That is like <laughs> full rune right there. With the helm we got from the jellies. We're ready for some uh, free-to-play action right there. I'm gonna get the unique right here. With the Ancient Bracers, that is the fifth unique on this task. That means we're done with hard clues in the hard tier. Because that was the very last time we had to get five uniques. And just like that, we can move on to our next task. There it is. So, in 22 clues, we ended up getting five new uniques. That brought us to 65 uniques in total in 187 hard clues. We are done with hard clues in the hard tier, like I said. So let's move on to the spreadsheet. Let's get a new task. There's a few more clue tasks. Let's see what we get. Okay, so five new uniques from hard clues have been obtained. That was about three days of hard clues, or I should say two days and about an hour in the third day. So it's not too bad. Done with hard clues, 82% into the hard tier. I'm gonna call LMS task. There's four dark bow paint tasks in the hard tier, so I feel like we're getting one of those right now. Here we go. Oh, it's three new uniques from beginner clues. And that also means the final three uniques from beginner clues. Uh, we are gonna have to complete the section of beginner clues on the collection log. Now we do still have around 60 caskets in the bank. If we're lucky, we can finish it straight away. But I have a feeling that that's not gonna be the case. But let's find out straight away. Let's open all of those caskets we still have from the Bryophyta grind. So, the items we still need from beginner clues are both monk rope pieces, the trimmed monk ropes, and the sandwich lady bottom. We have 68 caskets to open. <sighs> let's hopefully get at least one. I'm actually gonna be happy if I get at least one out of three from these caskets. But if we're very lucky, we might get two or even three, but <laughs> let's find out. All right, let's get it going. Oh my god, we got a unique on the first one. <laughs> Monk's rope top trimmed. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, we're off to a good start. We are off to a good start. I did not expect that. I did not expect that. That is one out of three. All right, let's keep it going. First duplicate as well. Frog slippers coming in there. 
There's another duplicate. The Rune Scimitar Ornament Kit Sarah Domain. Okay. Off to a pretty good start. The first 15 caskets and we got a new unique and two duplicates as well. Nice. Another one. The Shoulder Parrot. Dude, they're coming in hot right now. Holy moly. I've never gotten this many beginner clue uniques in an opening before. Another one. Sandwich Lady Head. Damn, all the items came in early, but now we're not getting anything. The final 10 caskets. Can we get one more unique here? Um, I have a feeling we won't, but like I said, I'm already happy with the one that we got on the very first casket. Oh, bare feet. Another duplicate, but seven caskets left. Another duplicate right there with the sandwich lady head again. We're getting a lot of items, to be fair. And that is all she wrote unfortunately okay we did get one unique and five six duplicates pretty decent opening but that means it's back to the minotaurs for us right now and time to get more beginner glue caskets i'll probably stack up a bunch and then open them once again all right i'm probably still forgetting some things in my inventory but we'll uh, we'll build that inventory as we go along we got a beginner clue in the bank let's start with that one i think we'll stack like 10 clues every time maybe and we'll see how that goes and I will also be killing Minotaurs again, just like last time. Went pretty well. Here we have 10 caskets at the ready. Let's see if we get lucky. No, we don't. We didn't get anything. Not even a duplicate. So back to the Minotaurs we go. 475 in total now. Maybe, maybe we should get 25 caskets to round it up to 500. Let's do that. Let's get 25 caskets for the next opening. Let's see what happens then. We have 25 caskets. This is going to bring us all the way to 500 total beginner clue uniques. I'm just going to open them. All the items are going to go to the floor and I'll pick up the, the beginner clue items. Here we go. 25. Let's get something nice. Three. There's a duplicate sandwich lady hat. I think we, we already had two of those on this task. That's number three. And the very last one. Beginner clue casket number 500 on the account is body runes and that is nothing well 100 clues left for the emote unlock back to the minotaurs we go so <laughs> we we kind of just realized something here i have three giant keys and 18 mossy keys left from both of those tasks and those are guaranteed beginner clues so i guess we can go and kill Ober three times and brow 18 times to get some more beginner caskets very quickly let's go and do that there's another mossy key as well, like we were gonna get to 25 caskets with the keys we have in the bank, but I guess we get more than that. We do get another mossy key right there at the end. This was gonna be the last skill at 171, but I guess we'll get to 172. And that is all she wrote for Bryo Fighter. 172 KC, no second Bryo SS unfortunately, that would have been pretty cool. But hey, a lot of quick beginner clues, we're getting 24 and then 3 more Obor kills as well. Rounding us up to 27 and hopefully we'll get something from those caskets. And that was the last Obor kill right there. 162. 10 kills less than the Bryo kills but fairly close to each other. Let's get this final casket and let's open 27. 27 caskets at the ready. Let's go and get one of the bottoms that we need. Oh hey, we got another shoulder parrot. Yay. And back to the Minotaurs we go. Nice. 527 beginner clues done. Okay, surprise, three caskets. Boom, 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 boom. Six coins? Let's see if we get the Monkro bottom trimmed or the sandwich lady bottom. Oh, that's Musto Task coming in. Look at him flexing the ancestral. Holy moly. What a beast. All right. Guys, I think we just got nothing at all. Okay, cool. Back to... <laughs> Back to Minotaurs we go. 550 beginner clue caskets have been opened in total. I think we will be getting to 600 for the emote. <laughs> There's absolutely no way we are not getting the sandwich lady bottom from these 10 caskets. Right, guys? Right? Am I right, guys? Surely? Right, guys? Not lying, right? Surely it has to be. Must happen right now. Surely in the last two, in the last one, maybe? Ah! This man says if you open one right now, you'll, you'll get a unique. Bullshit, dude. More cabbage. I'm gonna get casket number four here, and then we open them all at once. Gonna bring us to 565 with still two uniques to go. Because we got one duplicate there and nothing else. 35 left to unlock the emote. I think we'll get there. Yep, I think we probably will. 
We've got 15 more caskets, that's gonna bring us to 880. After that we're getting 20 if we don't have the uniques yet to get us all the way to 600 to unlock that explorer mode, but maybe we don't even have to get those, let's find out. 15 caskets, here we go. Oh, it's a sandwich lady top! No, we need the bottoms! We need the other piece. That's the wrong one, but I'll take it. There's another duplicate. Seven caskets left. Well, we got one duplicate. <laughs> we got the sandwich lady top. Not the one we need, but still looking kinda nice. We're at 580 beginner clues, so we are getting 20 caskets now to get all the way to 600. And then we can use this explore emote. Let's go and get them. We're just gonna stand here with Charlie. Spare some change, Gov? Well, I don't know. Depends on what we get from these caskets. 20 caskets. Gonna bring us to 600 in total. We are about to unlock the... The explorer mode right here. 600 beginner clue scrolls. That is it right here. But can we get the final two uniques we need along the way as well? There's a first duplicate. The shoulder parrot. Coming in hot once more. Another sandwich lady top as well. Another... <laughs> another shoulder parrot joining his friend in the inventory. I mean, at least we're getting some items, but it doesn't look like we are getting the items that we need. But there it is. As a reward for completing over 600 beginner clue scrolls, you have now unlocked the explore emote. Look at that. Hi. That's, that's pretty neat, you know. That is pretty cool. But unfortunately, all we got was three duplicates once again, and that means we are not done yet. We are currently 203 clues into the task with one out of three uniques. All right, let's see what we get next to bald woman. <laughs> another sandwich lady hat. Another sandwich lady hat. <laughs> oh my, how, I, I, I've already had five sandwich lady hats this task. I just keep getting those. I don't get anything else. Sandwich lady hats currently in the lead from the beginner clue uniques. Because we have five of those. No, six. Six. So they are one ahead of the shoulder parrots now. You know, 6,444 Minotaurs in, I figured that maybe I should use my Elite Void instead of my uh, Range Accuracy gear, so... Maybe this will be a little better. I'm not sure if it's gonna make too much of a difference, but... I feel like this might be better on the low defense monsters that we're killing here. Tedious, if you click the casket, now you get one unique. I got cabbages and runes. Thanks. Oh, no, it's the monk rope top trimmed again. No! <laughs> oh, well. Okay, there's the first duplicate monk's rope top trim. That's the first item we got on this task. Moral... More... 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 Mole slippers. <laughs> Final three caskets. Gabiche. Frog slippers. Dude, we're getting a lot of items, but it's all duplicates again. And the last one is a leather body. Uh, there's another rune scimitar ornament kit Zamorak. I think that is now number... Four or five as well. I'm not, not even sure. Another pair of mole slippers. Very expensive one. Those are carrying the uh, the value so far from the loot. There's Kabish and nothing. Another duplicate straight away. Amulet of Defense trimmed. Way Bedrock didn't do the trick, unfortunately. This is where we're gonna get lucky in the Apatol dungeon right here. I just got four cabbages. Okay, never mind. We're never going to the Apatol dungeon ever again. Uh, that is 650 beginner clues now. <laughs> okay, you know what we haven't tried before? Just spam opening all 10 caskets. So let's try that. And then we see if we got something along the way. So I'm just going to spam open all of them. They're going to open straight away. Okay, in the three that I saw, I didn't see jack shit. Let me check the text here. No message at all. No high value. So I think I didn't even get a duplicate there. That is just junk right there. Oh, lovely drop party there. <laughs> the final minotaur right here was... Minotaur number 10,000 already on this task. That means we've gained 400,000 range XP killing them. Oh, and we still need two uniques. Uh, we still need two uniques, yep. Uh, one more, one more cask and then we'll open them again. Fortune smile upon you, friend. Here we are in the Enchanted Valley. If this is not the place that's gonna give us the uniques, then I don't know what is. Can we get a new unique? Come on. Ten more. Surely. Surely. Just one. Just one unique. Just one. Monk rope bottom trimmed. Oh my god, yes! Sandwich lady bottom! Oh, come on. We got one. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Take that. Come on, just one left. 
We just need one more. Yeah, there's the first one. Lovely jubbly. New collection log item. I haven't seen that in a while. <laughs> Four caskets left. Could it be? Could it be? Surely not. Oh my fucking god! No way! Holy shit! Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Yes! Oh, I have never been so excited in my life. <laughs> Give me that. Give me that. 690 beginner clues is all it took. The very last one there. In 10 caskets, we get both. In 10 caskets, we get both bottoms. Oh. Green beginner treasure trail. 16 out of 16 in 690 beginner clue scrolls. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful. I am happy. I am a happy camper. The max amount we got from one item is the Sandwich Lady hat, which we have six of, and the Rune Scimitar Ornament Kit Zamorak. There's a Sandwich Lady bottom. There's a Monk Rope Trim bottom. The fact that we got those in like six caskets at the end is pretty cool. We can finally move on to Temporos. It is time. Now that we are about to complete this hard task, we are going to the easy tier for four Temporos Uniques. We can finally go check out that new content. Also, maybe I should mention that we had to do 294 clues in total on this task, which was worth 2.84 mil in total loot. But we have also killed 11,712 minotaurs, which gave us almost 1.94 mil in loot, <laughs> out of which 995k just from the normal bones. So that's pretty cool. We also have about 2,000 charges left for the Skull Scepter, so we will never run out of those. That looks good as well. The, the treasure chest, beginner rewards, 12 out of 12. Look at that. Okay, we, we haven't been on this screen for a while, but we have now obtained the final three uniques from beginner clues, and that is our task completed. 83% hard. Guys, literally just 17% left until the Elite here. But first, we need to once again recomplete easy and medium. Uh, in easy we have four temporal uniques and in medium we have two of the items from shooting stars. So first we are going to the new water boss, Mr. Temporos. Let's see what we get there. I, I mean, the first unique will probably be the shards, but the fact that we need four of the uniques, I may as well just keep doing it until I get all four, because I'm gonna get all the tasks back to back anyway. So I, I will probably just go to Temporos, get four uniques and complete all of those at once. And then we'll uh, proceed to the medium tier. That is the plan. Let's see what we have to do at Temporos. And in total, there's 12 things to obtain here that are on the collection log. That includes the spirit flakes, soaked pages, fish barrel, tackle box, big harpoon fish, and the tome of water. There's also a recolored angler outfit, which we'll have to get all four pieces of by using 1200 spirit flakes for each piece. Those will be all the items we actively go for on Temporos tasks, but there's also the tiny temper pet and the dragon harpoon, which are both very rare to get. But since the dragon harpoon is already considered a unique from Mount Karulm, it will stay like that instead of counting as a Temporos unique. In the easy tier, I've added four Temporos unique tasks, and that's what we'll be going for right now. It's time to travel with Ferryman Sathwood to the Temporos ships. Here we are. What's this place called? Ruins of Unka, Sea Spirit Dock. Come and help us find Temporos. Fight Temporos. Yes, I will do that. We don't have a Dragon Harpoon, unfortunately, so I guess we will simply barehand fish, because I've heard that that's possible. Apparently the current Blessing doesn't work, so we're not taking that. So I don't think we need anything other than the things we can find on the ship to get started with. I'm not sure what I'm going to do long term. I think I'll probably end up doing solos with a, uh, a good method available, but I haven't done it before, so I'll just give it a go at the start and we'll see how it goes. Okay, take bucket, take rope, take hammer. Don't need harpoon because we bare hand. Now what? Now we stand here? Wait, where do I fish? Hello? What do I do? <laughs> Panic? Go fish. Am I blind? Oh, I can just run down here. Okay. You need a harpoon. Wait, maybe I just haven't learned how to bare hand fish. Fish jumpy spot, more fish. I see. Ah, what's going on? My screen is blue. I can't see shit. I lost my fish. Oh, you can tether to the totem pole as well. Oh, cook at shrine. Okay, okay, we're learning. I'm pretty sure I want to cook all the time because cooked fish is like three times the amount of points, right? Bucket is for extinguishing fires, okay. You know, we're just learning. We're, this is just a test run. Oh, uh, tie myself to the thing. Because there's a wave, right? I do this and I'm, I'm safe. Yes, okay, cool. Learning. 
Oh, and I see the storm intensity building here, so I assume when it's 100%. 100% and you lose the game. Oh! Ah! So, so you fail the kill if it's 100%. Oh, okay. It's okay. We're just learning the mechanics. We'll get there. We did it! Our first temporal skill! Four reward permits. Now where do I go? Do I get teleported back? What happens here? <laughs> Hello? Right click the jumping guy? Okay. I will do that next time. Excellent work out there. Yay. Thanks. Okay, we have four reward permits. And I think it's one in four to get the uh, the shards. So we'll probably... Or we, we have a decent chance to get our first unique here. Which is just uh, the fishing shards or whatever it's called. So four reward rolls. Oak planks. Raw shark. Raw lobsters. And seaweed. Okay. <laughs> Nothing yet actually. That is 19k from one kill. That's, I suppose that's not too bad. Alrighty, there we go. Seven reward permits on that second kill there. Pretty decent. Let's leave and let's see what we get this time. I kind of like this, you know. This has, you know, more things to it than Winter Todd. I really like this a lot more. Alright, let's see what we get this time. Hey, there's the first unique. Spirit Flakes. That counts as a unique. To soaked Pages. That is also new. And one more loot. Alright, there we go. That is two uniques right there. Just two more to go now. And we are done with the easy tier temporals. Before we continue with this, we are gonna unlock barehanded fishing first, so I don't have to use this harpoon anymore. So let's go to Barbasalt first. Let's go do that. And then we come back with one extra inventory slot. Okay, I think this is it, right? You must catch, catch fish which are usually harpooned without a harpoon. Use your arm as bait. Did we just unlock it? I, I think we did. I think we did. Wait, let me go try it in, in like Gatherby real quick. Okay, it works. Cool. Nice. Okay, now we can go back and we can do this barehanded. Let's go. We complete the first solo kill. We got eight reward permits. 6.5k points. I definitely think we can get more than that. But, you know, at the same time, that is not too bad, I reckon. Let's see what we get from those eight reward rolls. More flakes. And nothing else. Okay. Ooh, we have a casket. That's the first one we've had. I'm not sure if we can get something good from that. I think you can get, like, jewelry and clues and stuff from that. We got seven ruby necklaces. Which I suppose isn't too bad. Those are some dig site pendants right there. Ooh, 20 more flakes. Yay, we got enough flakes for our first... Whoa, that was literally four flakes in a row, guys. But we now have enough flakes for our first recaller. Because that right there is 1,299. Now, who do we have to talk to here? Someone said Rita? Or is it Jita? So, do I do this? There we go. Spirit Angler Top. There's unique number three. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. I like that. Nice. All right. Three outfit pieces left, but all of the other uniques left as well. Just need one more in the easy tier now, and then we are done. Let's see if we get something before the next 1,200 flakes. I got a fishing level. 81 fishing. Yay. Nice. This might well be the last time we loot for now. We only need 38 spirit flakes. If we get that, we can get our second recolor. And I feel like that might well happen here. Let's see what we get from these eight. There it is. That is enough. Those spirit flakes will cover the next recolor. Just about. Barely does it. Because with those in the bank, that is 1,203. Let's recolor the legs right now. Let's use that on her. 
And there it is, the Spirit Angler Waiters. Boom! We got two out of four now. Let's check the collection log. That is four items. Let's have a quick look-see. Shout out Neve's Panty. <laughs> Great. If we go to Temporos, that is now 4 out of 12 with the pages, the flakes and 2 outfit pieces. Next time we'll go for the next 6, but that'll be in the medium tier after we do shooting stars and some more hard tasks first. So let's go complete all the easy Temporos tasks and let's see which item we have to get from shooting stars first. So first things first, we can... Uh complete this one in the dashboard right here but of course we have completed the other three as well so let's just go to the easy tab let us mark all of those as completed just like that okay there we go it all turned green the images are slowly loading so now we're gonna get one of the two shooting stars tasks that are in medium and the first one is going to be the celestial ring which i believe is 2000 stardust that we need for this so let's go and hunt for some shooting stars Let's see how long it takes to get that 2,000 Stardust. Alright, so here we go, hunting for some shooting stars for the very first time. We've got a bunch of teleports with us to try and locate them as fast as possible. We've got the Dragon Pickaxe with the Ornament Kit, which we're gonna put to good use for the very first time. We need 2,000 Stardust for this Celestial Ring, so uh, let's see if we can find any stars that we can mine. We do have level 81 mining, which uh, means that we can mine up to size 8 stars. We can't mine the size 9 ones, but you know... We can mine most of them, so it should be fine. Let's get going. Let's see if we can find some very quickly. There is a shooting star. We're joined by some other people. This one is uh, tier 5, I believe someone said. So let's see how much stardust we can gather from this one shooting star. There's the first one. One out of 2,000. Here we go. The first star is a gunner. 210 stardust is what we got from that. Now apparently if we go to 464 Gnome Stronghold Bank, we can find another one, so let's go there straight away. Second star done, we're at 485, and apparently the next one is RD Monastery 357. We're making decent progress. I feel like the, the 2000 star just won't take too long, but then again, we do need to get 3000 afterwards as well, so we'll be mining these stars for a little while. I've never been here, but what is this spot? There's literally a black dragon. Okay, that's pretty cool. Didn't even know this was a thing here. Now we see if the star spawns here. All right, here we go. That is 1,000 Stardust. We're halfway to the ring. This is just a tease, isn't it? I mean, I don't have to do beginners anymore. But I guess I'll keep a beginner clue in my bank just in case they ever add more uniques to it. But I hope they won't. <laughs> Guys, we did it. We have 2,000 fragments. I mean, Stardust. But we need 3,000 more for the fragment anyway, so we'll just finish this star and we'll go get that ring afterwards. And then we'll uh, go straight back to the mining to get the 3,000 for the fragment as well. Alright, here we are with Dusuri. I think we just talk to him first. And then we should be able to uh, check the store. I have some. Can we trade, please? There we go. The Celestial Ring is 2,000 Stardust and we're getting that one right now. Boom. We'll be able to use this as a invisible plus four mining boost so we will be wearing that as well now you do have to charge it with more stardust if you want to use the other bonus which is a chance at getting double ore but we won't do that so we'll just use it like this time to find more stars to get the 3000 for the star fragment as well and there it is 1000 stardust just 2000 left to go and we're done with shooting stars I thought I'd never see it. Look at that, tier 9 shooting star. That's pretty cool. Holy moly. We can't mine it yet, but it's about to break down into a tier 8 and we can mine that. There we go. And we have 2,000 fragments. I, I keep saying fragments. 2,000 stardust. <laughs> the final 1,000. And then the plan is probably to buy the fragment. Then we sell it back to get the stardust back. Because, I mean, I could recolor one piece of prospector, but that's going to look shit anyways, right? So I think I'll sell it back so I'm able to combine the Celestial Ring with the Elven Signet. That way at least we get some use out of it. And that will be the very last one. There it is. 3000 Stardust. Time for us to go back to the Mining Guild to buy the Star Fragment. And then sell it back straight away because we don't really need it. And then we can combine the Celestial Ring with the Elven Signet as well. Let's head over to the Mining Guild. Let's trade with our boy Desuri once again. The star fragment right there is 3,000 stardust, and we have it. For some reason, this doesn't give the new collection lock item message, but if we go to shooting stars, that is two out of two. That's a green section once again on the collection lock. Now what we're going to do is sell that item back straight away for some stardust, and then we can go and combine these two in Privdenus. 
Now all we have to do is this, I think. Make the Celestial Signet. Yes, and don't ask again. There it is. And I guess, you know, we don't have anything left to uh, use the Stardust on, so I may as well just charge the ring with that, right? There we go. Celestial Signet. That way, we only have one bank slot instead of three that is being used for all of those things. And like that, we are done with the Medium Tier once again. It's time to go back to the spreadsheet, complete those two Shooting Stars tasks, and we're generating a new hard task. Let's see what it's gonna be. Okay, we still had to complete the Celestial Ring first, which is gonna be 99% medium. Let's just generate task. It's gonna be the, the fragment, and then we just complete that one as well. And just like that, we have completed the medium tier for like what seems to be the 542nd time or something like that. Anyways, back to the hard tier. 83% is what we're at. The plan is to get to 85%, then we're gonna add three temporal tasks to medium and do those. Then get to 90% hard and then finish the three other temporal tasks in medium as well. So that's that's the game plan right now. Let's get to 85% hard first. And the task that we're gonna do right now is two unique ancient pages. That's very quick actually. <laughs> that should not take too long. We're going back to the ancient cavern to uh, find two more of those pages. There's the first page already, but it's a duplicate. Second dupe page. There's another page, and it's a duplicate. Fourth duplicate. The thing is, we have so many pages already now that it's getting harder and harder to get these new ones. We'll probably get a bunch of duplicates on this task. This is a new page. Nope. First page of the day is another duplicate. Yay. And is it a new one? No, it's not. All right, page, come on. Fuck. Hello. God damn it. <laughs> I don't know how many pages I've had so far, but I feel like we've already had like 10 or something. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Thanks to you. Uh, never mind, it's already... It's a duplicate again, never mind. Well, once again, that's two inventories now without a new page. Uh, this is taking a bit longer than anticipated, but, you know, compared to other tasks, this should still be a quick one. So, <laughs> let's just go heal up and then we'll go right back. Oh, we got one. There it is, as soon as we get the page, it's th it does say the message. New collection log item, ancient page. There's number one. Thank God for that. We copy the scrap of information to the logbook. One out of two, guys. Now we just need one more. Let's hope that we can get it within this inventory as well. So now we already know that it's a duplicate because we didn't get the message. We got it, guys. There it is. New collection log item, ancient page again. That is number two. And we're out of here. We are done with ancient pages for now. Let's also take a look at the collection log for the ancient pages, because that's the last one in the hard tier. The last four will be two elite tasks, and those might take a while. Other, my notes, we now have 22 out of 26. Just four pages left until we complete this entire section as well. Looking pretty good, 739 items on the collection log now. Pretty solid. Right, time to move on, I have a feeling that the next task is going to be LMS. Just just a hunch. I don't know what it's going to be, but let's find out. So the ancient pages have been obtained. And just like that, we have 83% hard still. Okay, so it's probably two more tasks until we reach 85 and we do some more temporals. Let's find out what one of those two tasks is going to be. Is it LMS, yes or no? It is not LMS. We are going back to Apatol to complete that section on the collection log. Getting the final two monkey backpack transformations. I believe that is from 1000 laps all the way up to 2000. So we are about to train quite some agility. Which is also going to unlock the next floor in the Hallowed Sepulchre. So as soon as we get to one of those tasks in the Elite tier, we'll be able to go to floor 4. Here we are at the course. We are at 1000 laps and we have to get all the way up to 2000. Right now we're at the Maniacal Monkey. But we are going to unlock two new monkeys being the... Crook Jr. at 1500 laps and Princely at 2000. We're gonna get quite some agility XP here, just about 600,000, so we're probably gonna get at least two levels, I believe. Uh, so let's get going. This is gonna take a while, but it's time for some monkey business. Here we go. Here we go. Sliding our way to the bottom, and that's going to be the first agility level coming in on this grind. Level 82. It's 250k until level 83, so I do think that I'll actually get all the way up to 84 agility from this. Oh yeah, I just got 83 agility. Look at that. That is already the second level and it's 278k until 84, which I think we'll also get. 
So that'll be pretty, pretty nice. And we are also only 26 laps away from the first transformation, so not too shabby. This right here is going to be lap number 1500 in total. So uh, we've already done 500 on this task and that also unlocks the Crook Jr. transformation. Let's check that out real quick. Let us transform our maniacal monkey to Crook Jr. There it is. Kind of fits, kind of fits the, the black graceful hat right there. Or hood rather, similar to, uh, to Mr. Crook there. Alright, cool. He's got the little blades on his back as well. Pretty nice, 500 laps to go. We're halfway through our task, let's continue. Hey, look at that, we got 84 agility there. I almost missed it, but there it is. 84 agility, 1925 total, and just 47 laps to go. We're almost done with the task, just under an hour left. We made it, it's here. The final click on the tropical tree. Because that will be agility lap count 2000 once we land at the bottom. And that is us done with Apatol agility forever. You have completed 2000 laps. You can now transform your monkey into a princely monkey. Let's do that. Let's see what that looks like. Boom. There he is. He looks pretty cool. I like this little fella. I'm a big fan. And just like that, we've completed that section on the collection log. So let's go and take a look real quick. Monkey backpacks. Boom. That is green as well. Six out of six monkey backpacks have been obtained. And we can move on to the next task. It's probably just one more task in the heart here to get to 85%. And after that, we're doing some more temporal. So let's see what that one task is going to be. We've unlocked the two monkey backpack transformations right there. Those were the final two. And that brings us to 84% hard. And like I said, it's probably just one more task right now until we reach 85%. And that task is going to be the Kenderin Hard Diary. That is one of the last two Hard Diaries, I believe, that is left. So let's go do that one as well. I'm not sure if we have to get any requirements for this, but let's go and have a look. So today was a big update to the collection log. Uh, it now has like a lot more information on everything. It keeps track of all the items, so we don't need the Runelight plugin anymore. Plus there's like a pop-up when you get new items, so I'll probably start using that as well. One of the main things is that they changed the clue tables to have the rare sections as well. Which does mean that we'll probably put these rare items on the passive tab on the spreadsheet, which also means that I lost one unique on Master, Elite and Hard and I will have to get one extra on all of those. But I'll probably just get one extra on the next tasks that I get on those clues. So we'll just get six Hard Clue Uniques next time and three Elite Clue Uniques next time. That's the plan. Other than that, there's a few extra things added to the collection log as well, which we will put on the spreadsheet as well, of course. But the main change is that if you go to search on the collection log and you type in Tedious, that they have added this. And that is probably the best change they've done today, and I'm, I'm very happy with that. That is actually really cool. Anyways, our current task is to do the Kenderin Hard Diary, so we are going to work on that, and then we'll see what we do with all of these uh, new task changes. Now, as far as the Kenderin Hard Diary goes, we only really need one thing, and that is 75 smithing. We could actually boost, but 58k XP isn't going to take too long, especially because we do have all of the gold ores in the bank that we need for this. So we're quickly going to get that level and then we'll do all of the tasks straight away. This is going to be the last inventory of gold ore to throw into the melting pot. Because that is 75 smithing and we can now make the adamant spear that we have to make for the diary. So now we can go and complete all the tasks and we'll be done with this diary in no time. There we go. You longbow made. That is one task and I believe in Sears Village we do have to burn some maple logs with a bow as well. So let's do that. Boom. Another task done. Let's put on piety and walk into this place, and that's another task. We have to redecorate our house with some fancy stone. So that is setting us back 25k, but it is putting us forward one task towards completing the diary. Wait, I messed up. It didn't actually complete it. Let me try that again. Oh, it's already fancy. Okay, I have to change it to basic wood and then change it back to fancy. Now we've done it. Okay, cool, cool. Now we can move on. All right, here we are. We made it to charge a water orb. Which is also another task done right there. Boom. Just two left. Alright, let's see. Enlighten us on the barbarian smithing, my guy. Oh, we need to finish barbarian fishing first. And I think by doing that, we have... Okay, cool. So now we can ask about the use of spears. Can I use it now? Was that it? Was that enough? Looks like it was. 
We made our own Edmund Spear there. And now we're ready to take on the Shadow Hound for the final task. We've gone and done it. There goes the Shadow Hound, and that is everything completed. Let's claim the reward. Hello, Mr. Wedge. I've completed all of the hard tasks in my Kandrin Achievement Diary. What do we get? Enchant battle staffs for 30k gold. Amazing. Uh, this one is the main one, probably. We can change our Camelot teleport to Sears Bank. And that's probably one of the, if not the, uh, closest teleport to the bank we have now. You'll now find 15% more marks of graze on the Sears rooftop. Which is not useful anymore, because we're 84 agility already. Uh, receive 10% higher yield from Ketherby farming patch. That's a pretty big one. Get the Flex Keeper to convert 120 Flex to Bowstrings. I'm not doing anything Flex related out of my own will. And get 10% more points from Barbarian Assault, which we will need when we have to get all of the level 5 rolls. Your chances of having an Enchanted Bolt use its special attack has increased by 10%. That's not really too useful. But anyways, the diary has been done. We can use this lamp on Herblore once again. 15k right there, very close to a level. We only have one diary left now, and that is Fremenic. We'll see if that's the next task, but it won't be because we are going back to Temporals for some more medium tasks, probably. Okay, so right now I've added one Merfolk Trident to the medium tier alongside three Temporals uniques. I'll be adding everything else that has changed to the hard tier and elite tier later on, like the Volcanic Mine rewards and the Blue Graceful and whatnot. For now, we can move on. We can complete this task, which is going to put us at 85% hard, which before the changes, you know, is what I said that I would do more temporals for uh, once I got 85. So let's do that. Now, there's a 1 in 4 chance that the next task is the Merfolk Trident. Otherwise, it will be temporals. So let's see what the next task is going to be. In the medium tier, it is temporals. All right, we're going back to temporals right now. We're going to get a unique, but we will complete it one by one because we might get that Merfolk Trident. So here we go again. Last time we got two outfit recallers. We got the pages and the flakes. That means that right now we are going for, once again, one of the outfit recallers if we get another 1200 flakes. Or the big harpoon fish, tome, tackle box or fish barrel. Let's see how that goes. Let's see which one we get next. Probably do the same thing I did last time, just solo with uh, three phases. Maybe at some point I'll try increasing it to four or five phases, but for now I'm gonna stick to the same method. Let's go. And it looks like they did change the boat to 30 seconds, so that's nice. Less cooldown between kills. Hey, we've got 82 fishing coming in. We can now actually catch angler fish and minnows in the fishing guild as well. Pretty nice. I will hopefully not get another level on this task. Oh, we have enough spirit flakes for the recaller. There it is. Some extra as well for the next one. And nothing else, but... With that, we do have 1200 Spirit Flakes again, so that means we can get our third recaller. Let's get the hat. Let's use that on Jita right here. Let's see that pop-up for the first time as well. This is gonna give the new collection lock pop-up. Look at that. New item, Spirit Angler Headband. New item added to your collection lock. There it is. Lovely! Alright, one recaller left. We have two more Temporos tasks in the medium tier now but we also have that merfolk trident so let's see which one we get next so let's complete this one the first tempros in the medium tier now you can also see that i have 83 percent hard now which is because i've added three tasks to the hard tier as well so uh, once we're done with medium we're gonna get to 90 percent hard before adding those final tempros to medium as well but let's see what the next task is is it gonna be one of the other two tempros or is it going to be the merfolk trident it is the next Temporals unique, so we'll just continue doing some more Temporals until we get that fourth recaller or finally one of the unique items.
I'm not gonna say anything anymore. I'm just gonna do it and hope for the best. Please, please, please. Yes, finally. The beekeeper stop. We got the second piece of the beekeeper's outfit. Oh, lovely, lovely. Finally, another beekeeper piece. I'm happy, yay. Just three left, I think. There they are. We have enough flakes, but let's let's finish all of the reward. Oh my god, that's that's plenty of flakes. We have enough. We have enough. Okay, more flakes. That's fine. Yep. Okay, cool. From the casket, we get a tooth half of key, and just like that, we have twelve hundred again, which means we have enough for the final recolor. How many rewards are we at now? We are currently at four hundred and eighteen total rewards. I believe it's one in one sixty to get one of the four actual uniques. Uh, that you can fish, like the tome, the harpoon fish, the barrel, or the tackle box. And we still don't have any of those in about over two and a half of the drop rate. So, a bit unlucky on those, but we do have the final recolor now. So, let's use the boots on Jita. And just like that, we have the spirit angler boots added to the collection log. And we now have full spirit angler, which also allows us to not use a rope anymore at Tempros. So we don't have to bring that along with us anymore. Now let's find out if we go for that first actual item, a uh, Tempros, or if we have to get the Merfolk Trident. All right, second Tempros done in the medium tier. Like I said, one Tempros left and the Merfolk Trident. Which one is it gonna be? It will be... Okay, the last unique from Tempros for now. The first actual item is what we have to go for now. So let's see how long that takes. Like I said, we're already at two and a half times the drop rate, a bit over that even. So uh, hopefully we'll get one of those items soon. Oh my god, we actually got the fish barrel. No way! Yes! Guys, we're done! The first kill on this task, and we have the fish barrel. Lovely, the first actual unique item on the last roll there as well, the eighth uh, reward permit from that kill. Hey, sweet. Now we can actually use this if we uh, go fishing, which is probably not going to be anytime soon, but in the Elite tier we'll definitely spend some time fishing Karambans and whatnot. So that'll be lovely. We'll uh, basically have a second inventory right there to uh, fill with raw fish. After 426 total rewards claimed, we finally get the first actual unique item. And with that, we are done once again with Temporos for now. We'll get back to medium Temporos uh, once we have 90% heart. But first, we're gonna have to get that Merfolk tried and let's generate that task. Alrighty, seventh Temporos task has been completed. 99% medium and now it's time to get the final medium task for now once again. Which is the Merfolk Trident. So now we're gonna have to figure out the swimming activity again underwater on Fossil Island. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take. Some said that it's like three hours of swimming to get the 400 tiers that we need for this. But let's find out. And so it begins. The first clam we can search. We're gonna need to do this a lot for 400 of these mermaid tiers. But at least we'll get some more Nemolite that we don't need. <laughs> and some glistening tiers which is gonna give us some more XP as well I think. Hey, but we do already have 100 tiers, so not sure how long that took, but I guess it's not that bad, I'll be honest. But still, the, the mechanics are not that great. I don't enjoy it too much, but it won't take too long, so that's alright. Hey, look at that, we're already halfway, 200 tiers. We also have 8 fossils along the way, so that's not too bad. I think that took about just over an hour, maybe, so... I think this task is uh, about 2 hours on average to complete, which is really not that bad, I expected worse. We made it! 400 mermaid steers have been obtained. We have everything we need to buy the trident and we're also gonna get some more XP from the 400 glistening tiers. I'm not sure how much we're gonna get, but we're gonna throw it on mixed XP between agility and thieving and uh, we'll see how much we get. Let's go to the start, let's get the trident, let's gain the XP as well. We have Mayrin right here. If we do training, exchange all on boat skills, how much XP is that? Okay, that is <laughs> not a whole lot. I don't know, I expected a lot more from that. What? 6k agility and 18k thieving. Oh wait, it only used 47. Oh, I see. It only uses the amount until you reach a level. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> I was like, wait, that's not a whole lot at all. There we go, that's more like it. 44k agility and 138k thieving. That's decent, we're uh, close to 78 thieving now. 15k away from that. And we got some agility XP along the way as well. Now if we trade Marin, we can also buy the Merfolk Trident, which is 400 mermaid tiers. And that is a new item added to the collection lock. 
Uh, you cannot swim. Deeper water will kill you. Okay, I'm not sure. I'll just leave first and then I'll equip it. Plus, we got all of these uh, sm uh, fossils as well. We got 16 in total, including a rare one. So that's pretty cool. Got a bunch of Numelite as well, but we already had plenty of those. All right, let's see what the trident looks like. Looks like a trident, all right. That's about it. <laughs> there it is. We've obtained it. We now have two different tridents. We have the trident of the seas and this one. Time to proceed. Back to the hard tier we go, because we are going to complete the medium tier for about the 10th uh, time or something now, I think. <laughs> Aren't you famous? Yes. 100% medium is there once again. Let's hope that they <laughs> wait a bit to add more things. Although we are adding those uh, final temporal tasks later when we reach 90% hard. So uh, we have 7% hard to gain now. Then we're adding those final three temporal tasks. Two to medium, one to hard. But uh, we have to complete some hard tasks first. Probably about 10 of them. Let's see what the first one is going to be. Oh my god, get a new dark bow paint from LMS. There's the first LMS task in the hard tier. There's four of these and we have to get the first one. I feel like it's been a while now since we've done some LMS, so I don't mind this. At least this time it'll be spaced out a bit. We don't have to go for all of them back to back. It's time for some PvP. Let's see if the bots are still there or if it's any better now. Okay, we've got the best outfit ever. The full Guthics with the Odium Ward with the Ornament Kit. It looks amazing. We're ready for some PvP action. I'm probably going to be rusty again at the start, but we'll see how it goes. For the Dark Bow mix, we need 25 points for each and every one of them. I'm not sure which one I'll get first, but we'll decide on that. Probably the white one, I think. That might look the coolest. We uh, already have two points from last time, so we only need to get 23. Let's see how many games it takes to get this. way nah dude i spec zero zero hit a zero with the elder mall and then he specs me a 72 bullshit ah oh, whatever it's fine really <laughs> what okay i mean i guess we'll take the three points and move on jesus christ I can't keep track of anything. There's like my brain cannot handle the amount of items I have in my inventory. It's simple as that. Like I'm looking at on my it's like nah there's too much. There's just too much. <laughs> I can't. No. Two points. Yay! Ten points. We only need 50 more and we can move on. It's fine. Four points, 14 in total. 11 to go. I think it was close. I don't think he had too much food left. <laughs> Two points, hey. Wait, I just died? Wait. <laughs> wait, what happened there? How did I all of a sudden- Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I think I messed up somewhere. All of a sudden I had 33. I thought I had higher HP there. I don't know what happened, okay. <laughs> Not sure what that was. It's fine, moving on swiftly. Did that guy just go upstairs to hide? <laughs> Holy fuck, what was that?
Oh, come on, I did, I clicked it. He had pit. He had pit. He had pit. Hey, we got the four points, though. That was, you know, the, the, the best game we've had on this task. Uh, we didn't really have many good games, but we'll take it. Four points, 26 in total. We can now trade Justine for the first dark bow paint, which I think I'm going for the white one. There we go. Collection lock new item, white dark bow paint. Let's put it on one of the dark bows we have. Let's see what that looks like. We have three of them. We still need one more for the final repaint, but... Let's use that one on this one dark bow. Now we have a white dark bow. That's pretty cool. We take that. One dark bow paint done. Three more to get in the heart here. Let's see if we get the back to back. You know, even though I'm not, I'm still not that good at PvP, it took about two hours for that one. But that's not too bad, right? It could be worse. Let's complete the first LMS task in the heart here. Let's see if we get another one or if it's going to be something else. It will be easy clues. Okay. More clues, but uh, it's the easy one, so I suppose that's not too bad. Maybe we'll get another one of those capes. Uh, it's been a long time since we've got a cape from an easy clue, so that would be nice. I think we must have one in the bank, so we can start with that. But uh, let's see how long it takes to get five more easy clue uniques. I believe this is the second to last one uh, in the heart here. Not only do we have an easy clue at the ready, we even have three easy clue caskets, because last time we ended with a double unique with three caskets left. So, do we get lucky? On these three caskets already, yes or no? Nope. Nope. And... Duplicate. Alright, <laughs> not too bad. Let's start with this clue then. I do think we will get 78 thieving on this task. From the XP from the underwater swimming, we're only 15k away, so uh, that's less than a thousand pickpockets. And last time we definitely did more than that. Oh, we already got a new clue, nice. We have six caskets. That's gonna bring us to 10 on this task. Do we get super lucky? Do we just finish the task here with six caskets? Let's get five uniques. There's one. <laughs> There's a steel plate skirt trimmed on the very first clue there. We have five done in total now on this task. One out of five uniques. And looks like it. Okay, looks like we only get one there. <laughs> but we'll take it. That is one out of five in ten clues so far. We have five more caskets. Let's see if we get something. Hey! Highwayman mask. That is pretty cool. I kind of like that. We are Zoro. Alright, three more caskets. Nothing. Ooh, another one. Green elegant blouse. Let's fucking go. That's number three already and 14 clues. There's no way we get a back-to-back, -back, right? Nope. That is a duplicate to finish it off. Not bad. Two uniques and a duplicate in those five. We're doing pretty well. Three out of five in 15. Five caskets. Let's get two uniques and be done with it. No! Oh, we got one. The black cane. Guys, could it be? Could it be? We only need one more. In two caskets, come on. We have 420 in total now. No, okay. You know what, that's still fine though. 20 clues in and we have four uniques. That is, that is above average for sure. That's the pimp cane right there, look at that. All right, here we go. Five caskets. We could finish the task right here, let's see. And uh, nope, and uh, nope. And the last one is absolute garbage. I missed it, but I just got 78 thieving, there it is. We did get the level, and now we can just go and finish the task on these next five caskets. Ooh, oh, that's a duplicate. Armadillo roped up, and... Yay, we got it! Blue skirt G, the new item. There it is. We're done. How nice is that? 30 clues on the dot, and we finished the task right then and there. Let's go check on the collection log once again, but we know that we are at 80 now, I believe. Look at that, 80 out of 131. That is pretty good. We are getting up there. 432 easy clues completed. Just uh, 68 left for that giant spade reward. Uh, we'll see if we get there on the last easy clue task in the heart here, but that would mean that we go quite dry on that one. So hopefully it'll be for the start of Elite. But let's find out what the next hard task is gonna be, because we just completed the easy clue uniques here. Let's move on. Easy clues are done for now, but there's one more easy clue task in the heart here. So we could get the back-to-back, -back, but uh, let's see what it is going to be. All right, well, we did have two of these left um, alongside Troll Brewing. So I assume, well, I suppose we're, we're going to AFK some Castle Wars. We're going to get two white decorative pieces. Guys, we've gone and done it. We've obtained 120 tickets. I do have 121 because I accidentally lost one game where I scored on the wrong account. So, I mean, that happens. Anyways, let us trade Lanthus over here. We're gonna get two pieces, which is the legs and the skirt. They're both 60 tickets, and those are the ones we're getting, so... White decorative legs, that is new right there. And white decorative skirt as well, boom. 
Now the next ones that we'll get are the Plate and the Kite Shield. That's gonna be the last Castle Wars task in the heart here. I hope I don't get it back to back. I also hope that I don't get the final flank that we need from Troll Brewing. But let's find out what the next task is gonna be. All right, two white decorative pieces is what we just obtained. Only two of those left and we're back to 85%. Now, do we get the back to back? Please, please don't give me the final two white decorative pieces right now, nor the flag from Troll Brewing. None of those two, I I'll take anything else, just not those two. Okay, five new uniques from medium clues. That is all right, I suppose. That is not too bad. Also not too exciting, because again, I don't like Piro Piro, but we might finally get those holy sandals. So that would be pretty cool. We will see what happens here. So we're starting this task with 55 out of 115 medium clue uniques and bang on 200 medium clues. So we're also halfway to the uh, equipable clue scroll thing. Let's see which five uniques we are about to get next. We have one clue to get started, some more eclectic implings in the bank. Let's see if we get something straight away. Do we get something on the first one? <laughs> what is that? Okay, no clue either. To Puro to to Puro Puro we go. <laughs> We're gonna open four caskets, that's gonna bring us to 205 in total, and then we'll do five caskets every time. Let's see if we get anything from these four. Oh, oh, that, that looks so nice, but I already have them. I'm missing the holy sandals. <laughs> Fuck's sake. The climbing boots G coming in right there on clue number two. Oh, why did I open it? Oh, <laughs> I clicked an impling instead of the casket. Whoops. Another duplicate with the red boater. Okay, I need space. Hang on. All right, two more. To master scroll book and... Nothing there. Okay, just two duplicates in the first five clues. Let's do it. Five caskets. We're gonna get two uniques here. The first one is the white headband. And in the final two caskets, we are getting the blue headband as well. <laughs> Yay, thanks uh, for the two new uniques. Two headbands. Not gonna say I called it, but I kind of called it there. <laughs> Woo, two out of five. One more unique in these five. It's not gonna be two, it's gonna be one. And that one will not be the element gain because we already have that. But instead, it will be on the last. Never mind. Okay, it didn't work this time. <laughs> this time we only got one duplicate and some Eddie armor. But maybe next time, on the next five caskets, we'll get something again. I am feeling very good about these two caskets. I'm telling you straight up, I'm getting three uniques here. There's one. There's the crier head. And now we're about to get a double unique from the second one. Okay, watch this. Never mind, that's a bit too ambitious, but we did get the Cryer Head, and that's number three, so I'm quite happy with that. Only two more to go. Why do I have a medium casket in the bank? What is this? I just got spiked medicals from that. What the fuck? I mean, that's a duplicate, but where did that casket come from, and why did I get medicals from that? <laughs> okay. All right, we're gonna open two caskets, maybe get something here, but that's gonna bring us to 20 in total again, so it's nice and rounded up. Let's see what we get. Absolute trash, and double that right there. Let's see then. Five more caskets. It's gonna be 25 in total, which means 225 grand total. Do we get unique? Nope. Oh, we got them! We got two! There it is! There it is! Two uniques in one casket. We have three caskets left. The black boater and the gold elegant legs. We're done at 222 medium clues. Lovely jubbly. We already have three caskets left for the final medium clue task in the heart here. But just like that, we're done with the boater and the elegant legs. <laughs> Lovely, indeed. Nice. Let's take another quick look at the collection log. Because that is now going to be 60 in total, I believe. Uh, 60 out of 115. Nice. We'll have to get five more, like I said, in the heart here. But let's see if we have to get that straight away. Another clue task has been completed. And just like that, I think we only have three left now in the heart here. One easy clue, one medium clue, and one elite clue, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, let's see if we get one of those, or if we get something else. We're gonna have to... Oh my... <sighs> okay, so this means we have to get either the dragon harpoon or the dragon sword from Worms. And currently, we are quite dry on both of those. This is gonna involve quite some turtle skipping, probably. Yeah. We'll see how long it, it takes, but ah, here we go. It's time for some worm hunting. So right now we have already slain 4,673 worms. And we're still missing the dragon harpoon and the dragon sword. They are both individually one in 2k on task. So that means one in 1k to get either one of them. 
We're gonna have tutorial skip, because I don't know if I still have any points. If I do, I can use those first to see if we can get a worm task straight away, but I highly doubt it. But uh, we have to skip the smoke devil's task first anyway, so let's go do that. And then we'll head to Konar to see if we get a worm task. So I do still have 185 reward points, because we got those smoke devils so early on when we uh, were going for that. What do we get? Hellhounds, that's not good. Let's skip that. Okay, we have... Oh, no, that was the last one. Shit! Okay, bird torpedoes, whatever. No! It finally happened. We have a Worms task. 143 of them. It took a bit of tutorial skipping before we got here. But we can start on this task to hopefully get the harpoon or the sword. Let's find out. I'll probably use some uh, bracelets as well to extend the task, because that's going to help a little bit. Let's see if we get lucky on the first one. I mean, it wouldn't be too lucky, because we're already super dry, but let's find out. Guys, we already have a big fella here. 13 kills in a shadow worm. Well, what do we get? What's it gonna be from the first superior? Blood runes and coins. Let's fucking go. <laughs> oh, I saw the green text with the dragon, but it's knives again. No! <laughs> Pain! So close, yet so far. Alright, there it is. The last kill of the first worm tasks we got. And we only got one uh, extra duplicate dragon knives drop, so we're not done. We'll have to hunt for another worm task, so back tutorial we go. Hopefully this won't take too long, though. There it finally is. We got another worms task. 172 worms. We can finally do another task, because we've been tutorial skipping for like four hours now. I was sick and tired of it, but it is finally time. Let's see if we finally get some unique here. Again, I saw the green text. with the. I, for a second, my mind was like, yes! But then it's the knives again. That's the uh, the third time we've had knives in total now. So now we've had the knives three times and the axes two times. But no harpoon and no sword. We're currently 238 kills into the task, which means that we're probably getting closer to 5,000 in total. Second big worm going down for a dragon dagger and some other useless stuff that we don't want. Yeah, nah, nothing there from the big worm number three. Of course. I've been saying, like, for the last... Hour. I'm so close to 97 defense. Oh, yeah, only seven more kills for 97 defense. Well, there it is 97 defense and we are now 122 total as well. I mean combat 122 combat as well. Lovely two more defense levels and we are maxed out Yep, there he goes the last word Fire runes. God damn it, man. Well, looks like we are about to go Terriel skipping once again, but we now have 5,101 worms killed in total, without a sword, without a harpoon, but with three knife drops and two axe drops. And we'll just have to keep going until we finally get it. 423 worms so far on this uh, on this grind. Let's see how long it takes for the next worm task. After some more turtle skipping, we finally got the next worm task right there. 145 worms at the ready. We still got some bracelets in the bank, so we'll probably get like 200 kills there. Let's go, let's see if we get the unique. Big boy going down. Just a few kills into this new task. What do we get? Or a rune battle axe and some coins. Come on, baby. No. There goes the final worm again. And we get some earth runes. Five, no, 612 kills into the task already. In total, we have 5,293 worms. And we're once again going back to tutorial skipping. Big crawler going down. What do we get? Oh my god, it's an uncut sapphire. No way. <laughs> I feel like that's the first superior we've had from the tutorial tasks, to be honest. I feel like I've been going dry on those. Oh, lovely. 189 worms. That's a that's a good amount right there. Decent chance on the unique. Let's find out if we get it. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? <laughs> Junk. All right. Oh. Oh, we just got 99. Gret's curious. Not sure what that was, but Gret's on a 99 there. <laughs> and another task flies by without a unique. Not even a duplicate either. And just like that, we're going back to Turiel again. And there it is, guys. 175 worms. We are once again ready to head back. We'll reach over 1,000 KC on this task and get closer to 6,000 in total. So maybe this time we'll get lucky. All right. What do we get? First skill of the task, we get a superior. And from that superior, we get junk. Probably one of the worst superior drops we've had so far. Kill number 1,000 on the task for some more fire runes. That is the drop rate. One in 1,000. In total, we've now killed 5,683 worms. Come on, big boy number 8. What is that? Dude, look at all the dragon swords and none are mine. Let me have one. Look at all of them. It's it's painful. 
end of another task where we ended up killing 237 worms without a sword without a harpoon yes worms good i was like what two and a half hours of skipping again oh we get another chance all right 163 that's a decent amount as well give me a sword just the usual ah now we get the throw axes again as well god damn it now we've had two knife drops and one axe drop on this grind so far in, in 1148 worms <laughs> not the one we need we need the sword or the harpoon come on guys this is a big one it's gonna be the last kill of the task and 6000 kc in total uh, 1313 kc on this grind but in total like i said 6000 on the dot 6000 worms we've had six unique drops i think we should have had 12 and the only ones we've had are axes and knives and that's just pure pain right there because now we have to go back tutorial once again it, it's it's not ending like this is just oh god awful god awful it is now that is what i like to see a lot more the actual first tutorial skip we get worms right afterwards that is lovely okay straight back we go that's the first time that's happened no 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 the time has come once again guys we killed 199 worms and the task is over and done with 1512 on this task and 6199 in total we're gonna kill one off task we're gonna kill one off task just for good luck one kill off task four fire runes or red the edge chaps all right i got the harpoon oh my god <laughs> No, but well, there, there we, there we have it. We have the dragon harpoon. Finally, <laughs> 1568 kills on the task. 6,255 worms in total, and we are done. Oh my God! Thank you. Let's move on to the next task. Oh, I'm so glad we're done with that. No more worms until the elite tier. That's when we have to get the sword. Hell yeah! All right, now. One more thing to do is open the 14 brimstone keys that we got from the worms along the way. Let's do the dragon harpoon special attack here. Fishy fishies. Let's finally get our first thing from this chest. 440 dry, by the way. 1 in 100 to get the first item. So uh, after going like 6.3 times the drop rate for this harpoon, let's see if we finally get a unique from the brimstone chest as well. Over 4 times the drop rate. Here we go. 14 chances. Game's still shit, fuck! Ah, brimstone chests 454 times opened and we didn't get anything. <laughs> oh well, it's it's fine. I'm feeling good now that I have the harpoon. I'm, I'm ready for the next task. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Let's see what's up next. And before we get the new task, there's 87 farming. While uh, we're doing a farm run real quick. So that's getting up there as well, getting close to 90. Pretty good. Right, oh, after about a week of killing worms, we are finally done. Over six times the drop rate if you look at the total KC, so... <laughs> that was probably the uh, the driest we've ever gone for an item. But we're done with it now, and we are at 86% hard. Once again, once I'm 90% hard, I'll be adding the final temporal tasks, and also the new tasks from below Ice Mountain. So uh, we'll wait until that. So first we're gonna do some more hard tasks. And the next one that we're gonna do is... A Pirate Hook! Uh, yeah, we're going to the Brimhaven Agility Arena and we're gonna get the Pirate Hook, which... I forgot how many points it is, but I think it's like 750 or something. We'll, we'll have a look in a second, but... Well, it's time for, uh, for some more agility content. Yeah. So yeah, for this hook, we need 800 tickets, so uh, that's gonna take a while. Assuming we get 60 an hour, right? Or is it... Do we get bonus because of the Hard Diary? I forgot if it's, uh, if it's Hard Diary or Elite Diary that you get extra tickets, but... You know, this will take like, I don't know, 15 hours or something. A bit less, like 13 hours maybe. I don't know. Anyways, 800 tickets for that one. We'll have to come back later as well for the Graceful Recaller. 250 tickets, that's a hard task as well. But for now, we're getting 800 for the hook. It's gonna take a while, but we're gonna get some Agility XP. We'll see how much that is. Oh, hey, new collection log item. Agility Arena ticket. I forgot that they added those. <laughs> those are basically just a, an item we get along the way, so there's no task for that, but... 
There's one Agility Arena ticket. Just 799 left to go. Hey, 100 tickets already. Just 700 left to go. This is amazing. Almost 5k XP per hour. We're not gonna get much from this. Let's be honest, 40k in total. That's not even gonna make a dent into this agility level. But, you know, it's not too bad. These tasks where we know how long it takes. They're a nice switch from the RNG tasks. So, 700 tickets to go. And with this pillar, we are already halfway there. 400 tickets have been obtained. Just 400 more to go. I am gonna bang though, because I'm 11 HP and out of food. And I'm gonna bring the HP cape as well, because that's gonna double our regen, which I kind of forgot the first time around. So uh, let's go bank real quick, let's get that HP cape, let's come back and let's finish the grind with another 400 of these. Just 400 more minutes to go. There it is. We are finishing the grind right here. That is ticket number 8. 100, 800 Agility Arena tickets have been obtained. Ah, we can leave. That that was almost, well, just over 13 hours of Brimhaven Agility Arena. But now we can go and purchase our Pirate's Hook. So let's go and do that. We didn't get jack shit for Agility XP, by the way. Probably like, uh, I don't know, 60k or something. So very negligible, but that's fair. We don't care about the XP anyways. We're just gonna get the reward here. Let us trade Pirate Jackie the Fruit. Pirate's Hook, 8. 100 tickets. That is quite expensive, but there it is. New item. Pirate's hook has been obtained. We'll have to also come back here for the graceful recaller, which is 250 tickets, but that might be back to back. It might not be, but now we have the pirate's hook. That is pretty cool. We are gonna morph that together with the crab claw as well. So uh, let's go do that and let's see what that looks like. All right, so patchy should be able to put them together, right? A hook and claw. You can do some other things as well. But right now we've got this one here. So now we have the double whammy going on. With the crab claw on the one hand and the pirate's hook on the other. That's pretty cool. I like it. Alright, sweet. The task has been completed. And now we can move on to the next one. Getting closer to that 90% hard. Will we get the Brimhaven Agility Recaller or not? Let's see. Pirate's hook. Only took, you know, like I said, just over 13 hours. It's a bit of a grind, but when you know what the uh, what the end goal is, and it only takes a certain amount of time, it's not too bad. And just like that, we're only 3% away from 90% hard. What are we gonna get here? Oh, a heatproof vessel. So that is one of the things that they recently added uh, from Volcanic Mine. And I have never done Volcanic Mine before. But apparently this won't take too long, because I've seen people say that it's about 12k points per hour i'm pretty sure you can get this like within an hour but we'll, we'll find out like i said i've never done volcanic mine before so uh we'll have to see but from what i can tell it shouldn't be too hard so the plan is simple we're doing the noob method where we enter the thing and then we we mine something we replace it we do that three times and we leave and re-enter and do that over and over and over and over until we have enough points uh, we need ten thousand points to get the large water container, which is what we're going for. Which shouldn't take too long. Apparently that's only like less than an hour if we do it well. Uh, I'm not sure how it'll go, but we'll just try. We just need some Numelite to enter. We already have all the kudos needed. So I think if we pay, we can then enter the volcano entrance. And let's see how this goes. So we run south and then we go down here from what I saw. It starts in 20 seconds, so we wait until this uh, begins, right? Should start now. Wait, I forgot. Did we just run here? I think we just run, right? We pick up this thing. We go here. We throw water. Wait, I think we have to... Ow! We go here. Inspect. Go here. Inspect this. Then we go back here. There's a guy here, so I think we pray range. Now we mine this. Okay, I think if I do it properly, I do that three times, right? And now I just run north, climb up the rope, and then do that again. We already have 406 points. So getting 10,000 is really not going to take long at all. So uh, we're just going to grind it out and we'll be done in no time. Apparently we got 1.5k mining XP from that as well. That's actually pretty decent. Already well over halfway. 5.6k points and that only took half an hour. So we'll be done in no time. Alrighty, we are done here. That did not take long at all. Like I said, just about an hour of this activity we also got let's check 40k xp on the dot now we can trade petrified peat for the large water container unlock that 
And there it is, new collection log item, large water container. So now we get 70 water stored in the container instead of 35 that you get by default. Looks like if we get the volcanic mine teleport task, that is going to be like a minute to complete that one because that is only 200 points. And then the ultra fertile soil spell is in the elite tier, so we don't have to do that anytime soon. But we are done with this task. We can move on onto the next hard task, getting closer and closer to the 90%. The heat proof vessel has been upgraded. And just like that, the task is also completed. No 88% yet, but that means that the next one will be 88%. Now what will that be? I, it's not going to be elite clues, no. It's not going to be elite clues. It is LMS. We have to get a new dark bow paint from LMS again. That is number two. There's two more after this as well. It's uh, 25 LMS points that we have to get for this again. It shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't take too long. But uh, we're going back to LMS. We're doing some more PvP. Let's see if we can get another victory maybe. So we need uh, 25 points once again for the next recaller. Not sure which one I'll go for. Maybe the blue one. I only have one point left from the last time. So we need to get 24. Let's see if we can get some more wins as well. We have five in total now. Getting 10 would be cool because that upgrades our cape. Let's see how it goes. I can't believe they did this. Everyone just spawns on the fountain. But I have a tactic here. All I do is this and just spec whoever I can get to. That's what I've been doing. Maybe this guy. This, this guy looks like a free kill because he's a, a bot. So we just kill this guy and then we have one kill already. Okay, it's fine. We got the free kill from the bot, so we got some points. One point, yeah. I mean, we got five kills on the first game, but this guy is literally like rank 100 in LMS. His name is LMS Unit. This is a second placer and that, I'm, I'm okay with that. That is good enough, you know. That is good enough in my book, but we can make a... We can make the best out of it. Let's see how we can hold up against this guy. Probably not too well. Oh my god, no! What the fuck? Uh, that could have been it, to be honest. Like, if I hit a little better there. Ah, uh, well. That was close. You know, we take that. Six points? Dude. Oh, I lied. That was not my first game. That was, that was the second game. But hey, five kills in one game, second place against that guy? That's pretty good. Wait, the last guy is a bot. The last guy is a bot that auto dies. Nah, there's no way. You can't make this shit up. Free win for me. Look, he's just gonna die. Like, I, I don't even have to do anything. I can just... I can just poke him to death. Hey! We take those. We take those. You are victorious, hell yeah. Win number six on the account. <laughs> that way, uh... This task is not gonna take too long. Hey, 100 games played. We're not gonna look at the kills, but 100 games played. We've we've done quite some LMS already. Only six wins, but you know, slowly we're getting better at it. I got him. I got another win. I just got another win. Just like that. There's a uh, a second win on this task. Dude, we're we're beasting and like I'm not even gonna lie, I feel like I've I've done very well so far. You know, we had a rough start on the first game, but ever since then we had some good games. Uh just two points left, so the next game might possibly be the last one for this task. It's fine. I have two points from this. And that is literally all I needed. So that is perfectly fine by me. I calculated that. I intentionally gave that guy a kill so that I would only get two points from that game. So I wouldn't get too many for my task. So let's go and get the second dark bow yellow. Uh, not yellow. The second dark bow paint. Which one do we get? Green, yellow or blue? I said that I was going to get blue maybe, but come to think of it, I think I want to get green. There it is. Green dark bow paint has been acquired. Let's take another dark bow out of the bank and let's get the second one recolored. Boom, put it on there and done. What does that look like? The green one. There it is. It looks green. Come to think of it, that makes a lot of sense. So yeah, another LMS task done. The second one in the heart tier. There's still two more in the heart tier as well for the other two dark bow colors. So let's see if we have to get a third one as well. 
quick little LMS grind over and done with in just about an hour of gaming. We got two more wins, so uh, well on our way to that next victor escape at 10 victories. Let's complete the second LMS task in the heart here. 88%, probably two or three more tasks until we get 90. Next one is... Back to Brimhaven. It's not been too long since we've been there for the 800 tickets for the hook, but this one is only 250. With that being said, right now I have a uh, dark graceful hood, so I'll have to get a different hood, because I don't really want to recolor the recolor. So I'm going to get some uh, marks of grace for that as well, and then we'll go to Brimhaven to get the 250 tickets once again to recolor the full set into the dark blue which is probably my favorite graceful uh, recolor so quite happy with that one it's just gonna take a bit of time and there's mark number 35 so we're just gonna finish this lap real quick and then we are gonna pick up that duplicate graceful hood so we can recolor the entire set at brimhaven and we can start with the actual Brimhaven agility as well for the 250 tickets. So just about 4 hours and 10 minutes in that arena. We will probably get 85 agility, maybe. Wait, how much did we get? Nah, we won't get it. Never mind, cancel that. But uh, we will get some XP, get closer to 85. Well, let's let's head on over to Birthorp, get that Graceful Hood. Hello, Grace. Thank you very much for that Graceful Hood. Let's go to Brimhaven. Look at that. The 1,000th th ticket in total. 200 after the 800 for the pirates hook and now we only have 50 more to go until we're done here forever hopefully so uh on to the final 50 minutes here we go we've gone and done it the final ticket dispenser to tag that's gonna be number 250 right there and that is exactly what we need for the dark blue graceful now i have forgotten my cape so i need to go back to the bank pick up the cape we'll come back and spend all of the tickets on the recolor let's go and complete the task all right, here we are again with the full Graceful, the collection log, and 250 tickets. Let us trade Pirate Jackie the Fruit for the Graceful Recolor. And there it is. Now we're going to get six pop-ups for every single item. But that is the blue Graceful completed. Look at that. How nice does that look? Probably my favorite Graceful set in the game, so really happy with that one. And if we check the collection log, with the collection log pop-up still going... Is it minigames? Yes. Brimhaven Agility Arena is now colored green with 1050 tickets, the pirates hook and all of the graceful pieces. There we go. Task completed. Never have to come back here unless they add something else. And we can now go and get a new task. The Brimhaven graceful set a recolor has been done. That is Brimhaven Agility completed forever. Let us get the new task which might get us to 90% after which we will be adding the Ice Mountain tasks and the final Temporal task as well. And that task is going to be LMS once again for the third Dark Bow paint. Back again at LMS, maybe we'll complete it in another hour, maybe we'll get two more wins like last time, let's see. Another 25 points to get, because last time we ended on zero. We have seven wins, so if we get three more wins, we get the next Victor Escape, although that's definitely not happening on this task, but maybe still on the last one in the heart tier. Um, the world is once again in the US, so we're gonna play with higher ping than last time, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. <coughs> Ow. <coughs> Ow. I even heard myself laughing there. <laughs> Shit. Well, that was four points, so that's <coughs> the best we've got so far. Huh. Didn't even need that key. Didn't even need that key. We got the win, guys. We did it. Hey, right at the end there. Another win on the board. That is now eight in total on the account. Pretty decent. Next time, if we get two more... I'm still frozen. <laughs> Hello, can I move? If we get two more wins next time, we will have that next victor escape as well. But for now, we have eight wins and enough points to get the third dark bow paint, which is going to be... We've got white and green. Let's go for blue this time. And yellow will be the last one. Boom, there it is. New item added to the collection log. We have one more dark bow to put it on. Unfortunately, we don't have a fourth one yet for that last one that we still need, but you know what? Three down, one more to go. Let's take that dark bow and let's put it on there. Boom. Yes, sir. And we're done. 
Just like that, fits the new outfit as well, blue on blue, not the same shade, but we take that. And just like that, we're gonna do one more hard task to get to 90%, and then it's time to go to the Iron's Mountain and to go back to Temporal. So let's see what that final hard task will be for now. Once again, just about an hour of LMS for another Dark Bow paint, so not too shabby. There were a lot of free kill bots out there, so that did make it a bit easier. Let's complete that one. That is still gonna be 89%, but now there's one more task left to get to 90%. And that one more task is the Fremenic Hard Diary, there it is. The final Hard Diary that we have to do. After this we'll have the full Hard Diary outfit and we'll be ready for uh, the catch-up content once again. Let's go do the Fremi Hard Diary. For this Fremenic Diary, which is the last Hard Diary on our list, we only need to do one thing before we can do all of the tasks very quickly. And that is Throne of Miscellanea. So after this we'll also have the Kingdom of Miscellanea available. That being said, we won't have the uh, second part of Royal Trouble yet. So I don't really know if it's worth using yet. But I guess I may as well put some money in there after the quest to uh, get some herbs and whatnot. So uh, let's go do Throne of Miscellanea and then we can complete that diary. I didn't even realize that that was the end of the quest, but there's Throne of Miscellanea completed. That means we can go and complete all of the tasks now. Let's start with the 100% favor here. And then we can move on to the all of the other ones and be done in like 5 minutes after that. We did it! We reached 100% favor. That is the first task done right there, or the third one if we uh, count the ones that we already had. Now let's quickly do all of the others and let's move on. I think we just talked to this guy? Can I use the furnace? I have level 60. Feel free to use it. Alright, there we go, nice. That is done as well. I'm actually surprised that I haven't done that yet. Does that mean I've been paying for no good reason? Ever since I've been level 60? I'm not sure. But I'm 75 smithing already, so I feel like he's been scamming me out of some money there. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, on to the next one. Let us steal from the gem stall. Which one are we gonna get? That'll do. There we go, we did get an emerald. Let's go. I think we can also make this potion here. Okay, never mind, it doesn't count? <laughs> you have to be in the actual Fremnic province, okay. My bad. Let's teleport to- oh wait, this is a lunar spell, what am I doing? Teleport to Waterbirth is on here, hang on. Uh, there it is. <laughs> I didn't have to switch spellbooks for that, there we go. Okay, now we should be able to make the potion here and that would count, right? Alright, there we go. Nice, just three more to go. Alright, there we go, five adamant ores have been mined. Actually, only one task left now and that is catching a kayak. So, let's go do that and then we are done. Oh wait, what am I doing? Why did I make a death fall? Wait, where are the things? Wait, am I stupid? Oh, it's over there. See you later, idiot. Dismantle that, and that is the diary complete. The very last heart diary task is done. Let's claim the reward, and let's move on. Hello, Thoradin. I've completed the heart diary, dude. There it is. Now we can also use the lamp on Herblore and that is 78 Herblore and that's a pretty big level because that unlocks the strong Buchu Leaf potions in raids. So that's definitely going to be a big one for uh, when we get to the Elite tier and we get a raids task early on. We now have the Fremenic Sea Boots 3 as well. I don't know how many teleports that has but there we go. And now it is time to go back to the spreadsheet. We're getting 90% hard. And then we are going below Ice Mountain to get all of those items, because we are adding those to the easy tier, and then also adding the final temporal tasks to medium and hard. So let's go do that! How nice does this look though? All of the hard diaries done, all green, just elite diaries to go, and we'll get there soon enough. Okay, so I've added two tasks to the easy tier for the uh, Cam Dozal items. And also two tasks to the medium tier for two more Temporals Uniques, but I've also added one more Temporals Unique to the hard tier, because there's two Mega Rares there, basically. But that also means that if we complete this diary, we were supposed to get 90% hard, but by doing that, it is no longer the case, so we're still at 89% hard. But that's fine, that is alright. We're just gonna do some catch-up content first now. We're gonna get all of those items from Camdozal, get all of those 10 Uniques, because there's two tasks to get five each. So the next one will be get five unique items at Camp Dozal. So we're going to do below Ice Mountain. We're going to uh, investigate that area right there and get five items. And then we'll do that again. And then we're going back to Tempros afterwards. Let's start with the quest and talking to Willow here. And then once we've done the quest, we can start working on all of those items. I think by killing that guardian, the quest has been completed, right? 
That should be it, right there, below Ice Mountain has been completed. We now have access to the ruins of Camp Dozal, and that is where we have to get all of the items. Now, I'm not sure what the way to go is yet, but uh, I think I'm just gonna mine stuff for now and, and get some items that way. Uh, I don't know if I have to participate in all activities, but we'll figure that out in a second. Here we go, first full inventory of deposits. Let's see how this goes then. Oh. Oh, this one. Ah, okay, I see, I see, I see. I found it. Let's see if we get something here. I see. Okay, cool. Gotcha. Nah, that's fine. All right, cool. First inventory, we didn't get anything. Uh, all right. I just got the Imkando hammer, guys. After the first deposit on the second inventory. I think that's pretty rare, actually. I think that's good. That right there is going to be one out of five uh, as soon as I repair it. I just need to look up how to do that. Oh, and there's the ancient car connect. There's the first actual item. Cool. One out of five. Boom. Just like that. Okay, no triple, but uh, do we just have to do this? What does he say? Oh, okay. We need 1250 shards to repair it. So just about 300 more and then we can get the uh, the Imkando hammer fixed and that'll be our second item. No. What do you mean? I literally have one item and I got a duplicate. Nah, dude. Okay. It's whatever. That's the second car in it. <laughs> Just for you, we'll get a new unique this inventory. Or I get a third... Nah. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> okay, so we have three of these things now. <laughs> that's great. I quit the fucking game, dude. Nah. That is just ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god, dude. All right, there we go. Now we have 3,000 shards. So first things first, we're going to exchange Romarno here and get the luck buff. So this way we get a permanent 5% buff to your chance to find rare items in Camp Dozal. So there we go. That is active. Let's see if we get something more from these final 11. Oh, hey, we got something new. Nice. An ancient astroscope. There's number two or three if you count a hammer. Cool. Hey, we did get a new item, the Baronite Head. There it is. Lovely, lovely, lovely. There's a new unique Baronite Head. The first piece of the Baronite Mace. And with the uh, shards we have now, we can also get the mining buff. Permanent 10% buff to your chance of mining Baronite. So we'll take that as well. Boom. Okay, nothing there. But we do have enough shards to repair the hammer. So I think I'm going to do that next. Just to unlock that one as well, and then we're just one away from completing the first task. But of course, we have to get all five other ones uh, afterwards as well. So we'll just keep going when we get that fifth one. But this is going to be number four. Let's use the broken hammer on my guy over here. And he's going to be able to repair that with the shards that we have. There we go. Imkando hammer has been obtained. New item on the collection log. And that is now a wieldable hammer right there, which also looks pretty cool. Nice. And there's a mining level creeping up on us. 82 mining. Not a lot of XP to gain here, but we did gain enough to get that level, so uh, pretty good. We can now Dragon Pickaxe spec for Rune Ore, so that's actually something we need for the uh, Elite Diary, so we'll take that. 82 mining. Well, there's another one of these Karkonets. I guess we have a little collection going. Number 5. There's a duplicate Baronite head as well. That is number 2. Wow, what is this inventory? We literally get a new item with the ancient globe and two of the same duplicate as well. But that does mean that we've completed the first one of the five uniques. But I'll just keep going because I need to get all ten in a row anyways in the easy tier right now. So we'll just keep going and we'll complete both tasks at the same time in the end. But there's number five, the ancient globe and two more duplicates as well. Baronite head number three. We just keep getting dupes left, right and center. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice little collection uh, building up in the bank. So let's just spend some of these shards on the boost. Because that's going to give us an hour of boosted buffs. And I guess uh, since we have enough, we can also start working on the others. So let's unlock the fishing one. And next we'll get the preparation as well, I suppose. Oh, we have an ancient ledger. Yeah, there is a second to last unique from mining. Just one more to go. And then we're going to fish and do the other activity. Right, we got a duplicate Imkando hammer. That's pretty neat. Alrighty. Oh, another hammer there. Hammer number three. Oh! <laughs> Astroscope number four. 
Just for completionist's sake, I guess I will unlock all of the buffs here. Let's get the preparation one and let's do another boost and then by the time I get the next boost I'll have defense as well. Ooh, another astroscope there. I saw an item that I haven't seen much yet. It's the ancient globe again, the second one. And the second ancient ledger as well. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna do this as well. Now we have everything unlocked and now we can just keep boosting as well with uh, the remaining shards we get. Ooh, there's head number five, I think. Wait, nah, you didn't just get a treatise. Waka, you didn't just get it. I need the treatise. Don't tell me you... I just got it as well. The ancient treatise. <laughs> there it is. Okay, cool. We're done with mining. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> well, that works. Now we can continue to the fishing activity. Get that part. Then go to the golems for the final part. And then we're done. Okay, just two more. Because then after that, we can combine them for the maze. And then we have everything. Alrighty, sweet. Let's move on to the fishing. We just got it. I wasn't even paying attention. Baronite handle, there it is, cool. We're done with fishing as well, and now we just need one more part, and that is from the golems. There it is, we have it. The Baronite guard, pick that up. We are completing this section of the collection log. Wait, did I get it? Okay, there it is, cool. Right, let's move on. That was 74 Chaos Golems, so just about half the drop rate for that one. Now we can uh, take the other two pieces that we have in the bank, trade that with 1500 shards. And we'll get the maze completed. So I think all we have to do now is talk to the guy. Be like, yo, I have maze pieces. Can you make one? Construct the weapon. There it is. Baronite maze. And that is all she wrote for Below Ice Mountain. Let's take a look at the collection log. Because that is plus 10 items right there in total now. Chemdozal. There it is. 10 out of 10. We are done. 757 in total. Just about 600 items left to get. Now with all of the other items that we still have, I think we can turn in one of each in the museum for kudos and then everything else is just like 100 GP each or whatever, but we'll just get rid of everything because uh, we don't really need it. And yeah, that is all she wrote. Let's move on to the spreadsheet. Let's complete the easy tier again and let's go back to temporals afterwards. So I still haven't completed the first one, so let's complete the first five uniques. That's 99%. Generate the next one and complete that one as well. And just like that, once again, 100% elite completed. Next task, once again in the medium tier, is one unique from Temporals. There is two uniques to get, so again, we'll just grind out those two uniques. And then we can move back to the hard tier afterwards. Gonna be a bit of a big grind at Temporals again, but we'll get through it. Let's go. We just drop everything. I, I don't need any of this. Fuck it. <laughs> Anyways, we got some kudos and now we are heading to Temporals. I'll probably stack up some uh, rewards and... Uh, We'll see if we get something there soon. Here we are with all the upgrades now. Because we now have the Imkando Hammer, the Rope from the Outfit and the Dragon Harpoon. Let's get started. 82 fishing. Let's see how long it takes to get the next two uniques. Just got a new PB. 6,585 points on the first kill. We got 7 permits. I think I'm going to stack up to 50 permits and then loot that instead of doing it every single kill. So uh, let's start stacking up. Okay, I know I said... I was gonna loot every 50, but I'm gonna call it here for today. So we are gonna loot the 31 permits that we just obtained. So uh, let's take a net here and let's see what we get. Do we get lucky straight away? Yes or no? Let's find out. Here we go. 31 rewards. It's not looking too good. Doesn't look like we're gonna spoon anything here early on. 31 rewards in. We, we didn't get anything noteworthy. <laughs> But hey, off to a great start. Yeah, we got some manta rays. The manta rays are the main thing we get other than the unique, so that's all right. From the casket, we get some coins. All right, we have 48 permits from six kills, I believe. That's about an hour of solo temporals, I would say. Maybe just over an hour, but let's find out if we get something from these 48. We're also very close to 83 fishing, so we'll get that very soon as well. And we didn't get anything. Lovely jubbly. Three caskets give us a loop half of a key. Some jades and a rune chain body. Wow. Oh, uh, fuck. I missed it, but there was 83 fishing. Yay. That was a bit of a slow kill because we messed up, but that means new personal best 7.4k points and we got nine reward permits there. Once again, 48 in total. What do we get? Oh my god, I got a drag. This is the... No way, 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 no way. 
This is just taking the piss. This is just me straight up getting bullied. We had to kill 6,300 plus worms for our dragon harpoon. I'm, <laughs> I'm baffled. I don't know what to say here. This is just... Well, now we have two. So that's cool, but that is not a unique, so... <laughs> we keep going. Oh my god, dude. That... <sighs> well, at least we already got some manta rays compared to last time. Some soaked pages as well. The 25 roll. I'm not sure if that one is more common or less common, but... I feel like I haven't seen that one before. I'm pretty sure so far I always got a lesser amount of pages when I got them. 25 roll means dupe? Oh, fuck. So that means that I... Oh, shit. <laughs> that means that this was the, the fish sack again? Or the, or the fish barrel, rather? God damn it, dude. I got them... I got 25 again. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> well, moving on with uh, 50 soaked pages then, I guess. <laughs> Lovely. Well, there's, there's 77 construction. <laughs> Completely lost track of that. But we take that level. Nice. Huh. 84 fishing. Another level flying in. I think we might get another level here uh, before we're done. M maybe even two or three, depending on how dry we go. This is going to be 54 permits, and we now have 100 kill count in total. All solos. Come on. Surely we'll get something, right? 54 permits. Last time we got two 25 soaked pages rolls. Nothing. 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 It's okay. Oh yes, the Dome of Water! Oh, it's the one that I didn't mention. It's the one that I didn't say. Okay, come on, give me the second one. Give me the second one. Give me the harpoon fish. <laughs> okay, we can't get greedy, I suppose, but hey, we got one and I'm happy with that. The Tome of Water has been obtained. That is one out of the two mega rares, so that is an actually very good item to get here. I'm happy. Good. One more to go. Uh, I could go and complete the task on the spreadsheet, but we know that we still have to get the second unique as well. So we're just gonna keep going until we have that as well. Lovely. Just the harpoon fish or the tackle box to go. More so What the fuck? Wait. Huh? Look at this. Five pages, six pages, seven pages. Here we go. Here we go. Mystery box and we get... Bunion! 85 fishing flying in. We can now catch dark crabs. Let's go. Getting a lot of XP here, to be fair. Not even paying attention to it because we're mostly focused on the rewards, but those levels are uh, coming in nicely. Okay, I almost missed the beekeeper. Oh my god. Okay. <sighs> my heart dropped there. Come on. <sighs> As if today couldn't get worse. Oh, we have a thousand. We have a thousand eighty-three. Okay. We're over a thousand total rewards claimed. Ah, well, there's 86 fishing. We're well on our way to 99. Uh, but hopefully that's not actually the case. Okay, come on. 40. We have 170 KC. Oh yeah, nice temp prospect there, Task Flake. And there's 9 soaked... That's all we get, really. Soaked pages. Yes! We got it! Okay, I'm just gonna keep fishing. If I get the big harpoon fish as well, that is the hard task completed as well. But surely that's not happening. But we got the tackle box! Ah, oh, oh, lovely. Yes. Oh, thank God. We can move on. We can move on. Some more soaked pages to go along with it. Sure, why not? Some more soaked pages to go along with it. Sure, why not? <laughs> Let's open these two. That is uh, useless. And some more opals. That's alright. But... Now we have the tackle box, we can actually fill this with a bunch of stuff uh, that is related to fishing. I'll, I'll do that in a second, because that's going to save quite some bank space, I think. But, uh, you know, as far as the task goes, we are finally done with the medium tier again, and we can move back to the hard tier. And that is after a total of 1,317 total rewards claimed. So now all that's left is the big harpoon fish, which I do believe is 1 in 1,600. That one is still in the heart here, but for the love of God, please do not give me that task right now. <laughs> I want to do something different, but let's see what it is. Okay, so first, we still have to complete both medium tasks here. So we're going to complete this one and then generate that second one as well and then complete that one straight away. And just like that, we're once again 100% medium. 
And we're back to the hard tier. The next task is going to bring us back to 90% hard as well. I think there's um, about 17 hard tasks left in total. So we're getting ever so close to elite, but... Let's see what the next task is. Please, no temporal. Don't give me, don't give me the temporals, unique. Do not give me the temporals, unique. Oh, thank, thank God. Okay, okay. It is LMS. So this is the last LMS task in the heart here. Uh, just 25 points for the fourth dark bow paint. Unfortunately, we don't have a dark bow for this paint anymore, so we'll have to get that one from Dark Beast at a at a future Slayer grind. But again, this shouldn't take too long, so. Um, should be 90% again in no time. Let's do some more LMS real quick. So we just stored everything that I could find in the bank into the tackle box. I do still have some items in the POH and elsewhere, I think, like the flippers and whatnot. But that is 16 items right there stored in this one single item. So that's pretty nice. Let's put that one in the bank and let's head out to LMS. Let's go kill some people. Oh my god wow okay yeah he says i'm going down nah dude we take those wins jesus christ i think that was a pretty clean game i'm not gonna lie that was pretty good we we got another win there on the board hell yeah that is number nine. Oh, hey just one more win and then we get that new victor scape as well so uh that would be sick we still have 11 points to go so could happen if we uh if we get like a back-to-back -back win here <laughs> okay well then that's another win right there and that means that we now have 10 wins guys we are not only getting the dark bow recolor we are also getting the second cape the tier 2 cape boom just like that victor's cape 10 has been obtained oh yeah the back-to-back -back win now we're just gonna get three more points and we'll be done with lms until we are in the elite tier Look at how cool that cape is. Oh, love it. Maybe I will just get three wins back to back. Where is this last guy? Is he, is he hiding? Oh, he just died to the fog. Well, that is another win. <laughs> what the hell? Three wins back to back to back for the 29 points in total. So uh, we already have four points towards the first elite LMS task. That was the fastest LMS task we've ever done. Holy moly. Let us trade Justine. And let us get the final Darkbow recolor, which is the yellow one. Boom, just like that. New item added to your collection log, yellow Darkbow paint. Like I said, unfortunately, we don't have a fourth Darkbow to slap this bad boy on. So that'll just sit in the bank until we actually get one from the next Slayer grind. But now that we have that, another task done. Back to 90% hard as we go to the spreadsheet and get the next task. Let's go. Alrighty, another LMS task done in just less than an hour, I think, as we got three wins back to back. Just like that, once again, we are at 90% hard and onto the final 10%. I still don't want to get the Tempros. Oh, but this could, this could be a lot worse. Oh boy, uh, there it is. The two new uniques from Elite Clues, which is actually three new uniques from Elite Clues, because that third age guide that we have doesn't count anymore since they updated that. So we need to get three elite clue uniques. With that being said, we have some caskets in the bank and we could get very lucky. So let's find out if we are. Okay, it's time. We have six 
Elite clue caskets. Please just, at le I'm not gonna ask for too much. I, I'm just gonna ask for one item. Just one, and then we need two more after that, which is still gonna take ages. But if we can at least get one new item from these six, that would be nice. Right now we're at 7 out of 59, so we have to go all the way up to 10 Elite clue uniques. 38 Elite clues completed so far, plus these six that we have here. We've had the Royal Gown Bottom, the Musketeer Hat, the Mithril Dragon Mask, Katana, Briefcase, Tear Stalker and Yuri's head. Okay, first one. <sighs> it's oh, it's already hurting. It's already oh, I'm already in pain. This is not gonna go well. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. I just wanna <sighs> just a, a a crumb of unique. Oh my. Oh no 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 no. I got a mimic. Oh shit. I got a mimic. I forgot those were a thing. Right, okay, okay, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go kill the Mimic. Then after that we have one more crate as well, but so far not so good. We even got two of the same page, what the hell? Alright, there we go, Mimic down, new PB, one minute, one second kill. Now, what do we get from this? You know what we got here in the first place when we opened the first Elite Clue Casket? Endless amounts of pain and suffering is all we got there. It did add a little extra reward for us. 500 blood runes, yay. <laughs> One more casket. Please! Oh my, ow! Ah! 45... <coughs> what is that? 45k? My god. Holy shit, that's the worst thing I've ever laid eyes upon. <sighs> well, uh, oh no, but... Uh, well, okay. It's time to grind the lead clues for the next month and eternity beyond that all right <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna do yet i mean i guess i could do crystal implings that could be fast we, we can try some different methods some sorakness again but my god is that unfortunate oh well let's uh get going yep so let's just kick things off with some sorakness and then maybe further down the line we can uh do some crystal limps as well. For now, let's do some more spider and maybe we'll get the pet or the jar along the way, you know, just a little extra. That would be cool. And let's see how long it takes for the first elite clue. Oh, oh, we just got an elite clue on the second kill. Okay, okay, okay. We're <laughs> off to a good start. Let's go and do a new elite clue already. Lovely. There it is. There it is. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Casket number seven. Give me the first unique. Boom. <laughs> what is that? Not even 41k? Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay, well back to the spider we go. And the, the first skill back we get a giant egg sack as well. That's pretty good. We take those. That was a pretty solid trip. That was what? 10 kills? Oh my god. A third giant egg sack and the grubby key and more egg potatoes. Okay, the trip is not done. Never mind. The grubby key is really good as well because soon they will release recolors for the pet which you can get from the grubby chest and they will be on the collection log as well so we will need more of these keys luckily i still kept all of those from last time oh we already have 200 total kc at sarachnis pretty decent well there's an elite clue there it is 59 sarachnis skills into the grind we get the second elite clue at 254 kc in total nice all right another chance at a unique let's go and hopefully get it no way, we got a, a reward casket elite from an aberrant specter? Oh my god, what could possibly be in it? Let's find out. Ah, oh, it is absolute garbage. Awesome, let's go back to Sirachnis now. I was reading, what happened? I was reading chat, oh no, my, my pet. Just cooking some sharks, because we uh, also ran out of food supply, basically. But we have like 7k raw sharks in the bank, so we'll just cook a few of those. There's 81 cooking coming in. We get another elite clue, guys. Yes, 105 kills in now. Another chance, another opportunity. You know what they say, right? Ninth casket is always the one. That is what everyone says. So what do we get? One, two, or three uniques. I, I hate these. I, I hate looking at these. Oh, it just hurts. 47 elite clues in total. And there's another cooking level because I just decided to cook some more sharks to prepare for the inevitable Sorachnis grind that is going to take us weeks upon weeks. So now we got some more sharks in the bank. Looking good. Boom. Big kill here. Number 400 already in total. The kills are uh, stacking up, but no clue in a while now. 
We have been getting a lot of grubby keys and giant XX, so I'm not complaining too heavily, but would be nice to get a new clue as well soon. Okay, we have a clue. Yes, finally. Uh, that one took a while compared to the last three. Clue number 10 on the task. Come on. 440 spiders have been slain for this one in total. <laughs> Please. If, you know, it could be, could be something here. Let's find out. We're here. We have casket number 10. I mean, after 10 caskets, uh, there should be something, right? <sighs> Alright, anyways. We'll just kill some more spiders. Hey, only two clues until we have 50 in total. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, another quiz master. It's been a while. Ah, perfect. Thank you so much. That was that was nice. Lovely. Kill number 500. Yes, 500. 313 on this grind. Let's get all the way up to a thousand. Yay! Another elite clue together with the grubby key. Okay, cool. That's 18 grubby keys in total now, by the way, from this grind. So we have 27 in the bank, which, uh, you know, might be one of those recolors that they're adding to the game. Let's just open it straight away in the house. Boom. You can't. Oh. Oh, you can't? Oh, never mind. I'll go outside and then I'll open it. And we get... Dude, this is just the same clue as last time, but worse. Nine room crossbows to go until we have 100. Yay. We just got three grubby keys back to back to back. Look. Grubby key. Grubby key. Grubby key. <laughs> What is this drop? What? Giant exec, grubby key, and an elite clue. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Nice. That's what we like to see. Gasket. Next to broken hands and some badgers. We do have 50 elite clues in total now, so that's looking good. But only 7 items in those 50, so I feel like we're due. Let's say 3. So let's get those 3 soon. <laughs> Hopefully. Yo, we once again, we have progressed another 100 kills because we're at 600 total now. 413 on the task. We have an elite clue. Cool, finally. I feel like this one took a while. 636 KC in total. Let's go. I, I just need something here to keep me going. Just a, a, a little sniff of dopamine. <sighs> Monumental achievement here. 660 kill count. That is one higher than... Only trails. The biggest achievement so far on this grind, I would say. Let's try and get a uh, an elite clue again now. Completely forgot, but last kill was number 700 in total. Over 500 kills this task. We got an elite clue on the last kill of the trip. God, I always get so excited when I see the clue. But I'm gonna get even more excited when we finally get something from it. We've never opened one here yet, so uh, I think this is a good thing. I'm feeling good about this one. It's time. It always hurts, like... What do I even say? I don't know. They're all trash throughout the dryness of the elite clues. Let's see what we get here. Steel plate body. <laughs> Not lucky there either. Kill number 800. Another grubby key. Well, there's something we haven't seen on this grind yet. The Sarachnis cudgel. Number 2 in total at 858kc. Saw some green text there. I was like, hey, I haven't seen that yet. Cool. There's a clue. Finally. 899 right before the 900 mark. Okay. Let's go! Number 15 on the task. It has to be the one. It has to! There's just no way around it anymore. Alright, so we just did a surprise exam, so we're gonna use that on Herblore. And then we're gonna open the casket and get... Yes! We got something! Finally! 15 clues in! We get the Dragon Legs Slash Skirt Ornament Kit. There is something. <laughs> First unique. Still, the clue is only worth 142k. It's still garbage, but at least we have a unique and we can slap that on one of the dragon legs that we have. So let's do that as well. We have five of those. Wait, do I... I have five legs, but not a single skirt? Okay, let's use that on this. And now it's golden. Oh, look at that. Fits the boots now. We have the golden boots and the golden legs. Lovely. All right, cool. Let's continue. 899 spiders in total, 709 on this task, 15 clues done, and we have one out of three. <laughs> Let's get two more. We got another elite clue. Today is a good day, yes. It's all happening right here, right now. Let's get it back to back. Send back to Priv with some lava dragons. After 14 dry, do we get two right after each other? No, we do not. Back to absolute garbage. <laughs> Lovely. Big one here. Kill number 1000 in total. 
Look at that, a thousand Sarachnis KC, 810 on this task. I'll probably switch it up with some Crystal Impling soon if I can find some scouts. But I'm also gonna kill some more Spider as well. Hopefully another Elite Clue coming in soon. Alright, let's catch some Crystal Implings. Last time we ended at 199 caught. Let's see how many we're gonna catch this time around to get our first Elite Clue. Oh my god, we actually, we actually got a clue on the very first one. Shout out Gara. Off to a great start, let's get going. The first one from the Crystal Implings, the one that we got on the first Crystal Impling, which was Crystal Impling number 200 in total, by the way. <sighs> Off to a good start again, <laughs> 17 clues in. We got another Master Scroll book. Wow, we're literally only four Crystal Implings in. We already have the second Elite clue. This is great. And let's open it for our second unique, which is going to be a Mimic, fuck, okay. Uh, let's go kill the Mimic first. Once again, a new PB. Sub one minute kill. Let's fucking go. Alright, let's leave. Let's see what we get here. Let's get that third age ring, shall we? Oh my god, we got a big pirate head. Yes! Alright, and we actually got Wines of Zamorak as well. Big pirate head. Elite, unique, number two on the grind. Look at that. Yar. That's a nice one. Okay, cool. <laughs> One more to go. 56 elites in total. 18 on this grind. And if they keep on coming as quick as they have from the implings, we'll be done in no time with that third unique as well. Thank god for that. That took ages. My god. I think that was probably like... I want to say 150 crystal implings or something for this third clue. But there we finally go. Alrighty. Shout out Love the Rage for that one. I said that it was gonna be sub 50k. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh man, well, that is one more rune crossbow, closer to 100. There's a new clue once again. How many have we caught in total now? 411. I think we start at 199, and since then we've had four clues. So, uh, pretty decent. Let's see what we get from this one then. And from the green dragon we get clue casket number 20. Is it gonna be the one? Will it be our task completed? Can we move on to something else? Or are we still stuck with Crystal Implings for a while? <sighs> Pain. Well, there it is. It took a while. It's not a clue, but after 469 Crystal Implings in total, we've gotten our second Elven Signet now. That's That thing is still worth 4.4 mils. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Not that we can use it for anything, because we already have the Celestial Signet. But hey, there's another one. Thank you very much, 67F, for this one. Let's go. How many implings are we at now in total? 506. So we've caught 307 in total so far, I think. For, if I remember correctly, six clues? Something like that. Pretty decent. Uh, just about on drop rate, I think. Let's see if we get something. <sighs> no, we don't. No, we do not. It's just more of the same old junk. Tuna potatoes, summer pie, some, some dragonstone scrolls, uh, the usual. 59 elite clues total, 21 into the task. Love the fits, man. Hey, thank you very much, Libero, for the new elite clue. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> I can't I can't keep begging every single time I get a casket, but... Oh, fuck off. <laughs> 60 elite clues, yeah. Let's go, Charlotte. Hell yeah. God, I get so happy every time I see the clue, but then <laughs> the reward just takes me right back down to earth. Open. <sighs> close okay how about this we do one hour of lava dragons and we'll see how it goes just a, a test hour with a ring of wealth eye we'll see if we die we'll see if we get some clues and if not we'll see how many qu we kill in one hour and, and we can go from there well that was about half an hour of lava dragons let's just kill one more for good measure but um we killed about 43 in half an hour let's say we can kill about 80 an hour that means that it's about an hour and 35 minutes or so uh, per clue scroll, which is pretty decent considering uh, other methods. Obviously, if there's Picare showing up, that's a bit uh, setting us back, possibly, but this is probably a good method. Even though we're using a lot of Trident Charges, we get some Prayer XP, some Defense XP, some other loot. So we'll probably do some Lava Dragons as well, alongside the Crystal Limplings and uh, maybe some Zolra even. Who knows, but hopefully it won't take too much longer that we're on this task for now. It's whatever, I guess. <laughs> I mean... I guess I'll do some LMS to get a new imbue then. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> that, that crept up on me. 72 prayer there from the lava dragons, not too bad. Obviously I'm only getting half the XP if I'm using a bone crusher here, because I only have the hard diary, but 
that means that I don't have to pick up the bones and bury them every time, so I'm a bit lazy. So that's why we're using the Bone Crusher. We have plenty of Pre-Rex in the bank anyways. Alright, this is gonna be Lava Dragon number 125. The drop rate has been hit. Do we get the clue? Not yet, we get another Uncut Sapphire. Gonna go to the bank real quick, because I did get quite some Onyx Bolt tips, and I don't really want to risk those, because that's a nice chunk of cash right there. So uh, we'll be right back. Go for the next 125 kills. Because, yeah, look at that. 564k in loot from that trip. Pretty good, because we got three Onyx Bolt tip drops. Get some Fire Orb, some Rune Darts. Pretty decent. Ah! Damn, no Amulet of Eternal Glory. Never lucky. Maybe next time. Yes, finally, we have a clue. Okay, 186 Lava Dragons is what it took. Let's go. We only died once to that one guy that scouted us at Edgefill, so... Not too bad so far. Lava Dragon is pretty chill. Let's see if we are done after this one. We got one unique from Sorakness, one unique from the Crystal Limpling. So let's get the third one from Lava Dragons. Wow, what a journey it has been, isn't, hasn't it? But it, the time has come to uh, finally put an end to all of this, to finally get the third Elite Clue Unique. And that third Unique is going to be the... Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, thank you! Praise the Lord! We actually got one. Light Infinity Color Kit. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, we're free. About time, isn't it? Do we have Infinity in the bank? I think that... Yeah, that's in the POH. So um, I guess we can slap that on one of those pieces. But dear lord, am I glad that I am done with that grind. <laughs> Holy shit. 62 elite clues in total. 24 on this task for three items, which was the uh, the Dragon Plate Lex Ornament Kit, the Big Pirate Head, and the Light Infinity Color Kit. So uh, let's see what we get here. Uh, which one are we going to recolor? I think the one we have to go for is the hat, right? Because the others don't really blend too well with other pieces, I reckon. I don't know if I like it. Like, I, I really don't. I I'm not sure if I like it more than the normal Infinity Head. But it's a unique and I'm happy with that. So... We can finally move on. Back to progress, hopefully. But uh, I don't really want to get the temporal task. But let's let's find out what the next task will finally be after almost two weeks of the Elite Crew grind. So like I said, basically two weeks since we started this task. And my god, was that a grind. But we finally completed it. And we can move on once more. We're still at 90% hard. We didn't get a new percentage there, but... Let's see what the next task is going to be. It is! Oh, the Volcanic Mind Teleport. Okay, we'll be back in like a minute because that is literally... I think it's 40 points or something. So uh, we'll go and complete this one real quick and then we'll get a new task again. I think we're done here. <laughs> Pretty sure I can leave. 156 points. I had 50. That should be enough. 200 in total. Let's go and uh, buy that teleport. That was, that was a real quick one. Uh, why did I even prepare at all? If we trade Petrified Pete, we can get the teleport. That is the task done. Right there, new item, Volcanic Mind Teleport. Wait, that's a bit faster than those Elite Clues. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get the next one already. Alright, quick and easy. Five minute task. Let's complete that and move on swiftly. 91% hard and now we... Oh, there it is! That's the first time we have to go for the Obsidian Armor drop. So for this we're gonna burst or, or barrage some of those uh, high level Tsarkets in, in Moral Wreck. I've never never killed those before, but I think there's a good method to where you like clump them up, barrage them and uh, hopefully get that armor piece very quickly. Let's see how this works. Okay, I'm, I'm not quite sure if I'm doing this correctly, but we're just gonna try and, and barrage these guys in this little area marked here. Uh, we might get some of the mages as well at the same time. I'm, I'm not really sure, but we'll see how it goes and uh, how many kills it takes to uh, get something here. Hey, we act wait, whoa, whoa, we got the obsidian legs. Hey, we're done. Nice, let's finish this stack real quick. Oh my god, I saw the, the collection lock pop up all of a sudden. I was like, hold up. Hello. All right, cool. Nice. Uh, that was another fairly quick one, I suppose. I don't know how long we've been here. Maybe like an hour or so. Not even, I think. Uh, we take that. Let's kill this one and let's head out. We'll just get the plate body from this. Okay, never mind. Too ambitious, but <laughs> we can move on. Look at that. Obsidian plate legs. 250k. Not too shabby. Let's look at how that looks. There we go. It looks like my hair is glitching out with the light infinity hat. Obsidian plate legs obtained. Time to move on. 
Could get the back-to-back. -back. There's another obsidian uh, armor piece in the heart here. Let's find out. You know, thankfully, after we finish those elite clues, we are blasting through the tasks. For now, at least. Let's uh, touch wood, because that might change very quickly. Let's complete the, uh, the first obsidian armor drop that we've gotten. Are we going to get the other one back-to-back? -back? No, we are going back to Shades of Morton for another unique there. I don't remember what we're going for, but probably the next lock, right? Okay, so last time I think we got the bronze locks and then also the bloody notes. So we're probably going for the steel locks and the black locks uh, next. Maybe we'll get that uh, tree wizard's journal as well. But uh, we'll see. Let's gear up for some more Shades of Morton. Okay, so I do still have eight willow pyre locks in the bank. Plus, I've got these real remains. So uh, let's use these eight first. See if we get lucky. Who knows? And then we'll start collecting some more shades, some more pyre locks, and then we're good to go. We're gonna do these real remains because they can give both the steel keys and the black keys and uh, we need both of those slots so uh, that way we cover both. We literally got a key for every single lock that we've used. Look at that. Eight keys. Seven black ones, one steel one. Let's see if we get lucky. Final key for now. Okay, no luck. No luck straight away. That's fine. Let's get some more real remains and then we'll get some more logs as well after that. And we get nothing. Cool. Never lucky. Unlucky. Okay, guess not then. Guess not. Bum. Bummer. Nope. Still not lucky. Okay, more shades to kill once again. Not sure how many we've done so far. Like 50, 59, 69, 75 keys in right now in total. Lock out of stock, I guess. Looks like it. Lock. 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 Wait, I, I just got it. Yes, <laughs> Black Locks. Hey, see? I told you I was gonna get it. There it is. Black Locks have been obtained. You know what? We're gonna throw all of these keys in here anyways, because we're not gonna keep all of them. Watch us get the green book as well. That would be funny. Oh, okay, never mind. But we, we did get the Black Locks, and that's what we needed, so we are done here. That was the last task of Shades of Morton in the heart tier. So we can move on to the next task. Alright, so... After 102 keys, we got that, that black lock. So uh, we can complete that one as well. And that is Shades of Morton done in the heart tier. We still have some other mini games left as well. Not only Troll Brew and Castle Wars, but also some Mahogany Homes and whatnot. So uh, let's find out. Next task is... Ooh, a unique drop from DKs. The last unique drop we have to get from DKs. And that is the Sears Ring from Dagnoth Prime. So uh, back... To what a birth dungeon we go for the the very last one there the Sears ring. Let's see how long it takes to get that one from Prime. So we actually already have 112 Prime kills, which is when we got the the pet as well from like 44k C or something. But uh, right now we have to get this last unique the Sears ring. So let's gear up, let's head out there, and let's see what happens. I mean, I I, I don't think this is the most ideal setup, but. I'm just gonna send it. I'll try to like squeeze my way in while avoiding Supreme. Get into the southeast corner and just kill Prime and heal off the spin ellipse with uh, Blood Barrage. We'll see how it goes. If it doesn't work, we'll figure things out afterwards. Let's uh, give this a go then, shall we? I don't know how it'll go, but here goes nothing. Ah, uh, well, that works. See, here I don't know how close I can come. I feel like that is too close. I don't know. I don't like it. I'm scared. All right, there we go. First kill. Earth Battle Staff. We're starting at 113kc. I can't believe a Mud Battle Staff is 13k. I saw that drop in white text. I was like, well, that's just a random shit item, but it's actually one of the uniques. But we already have that, obviously. But my god, 13k? That's just sad. But they're just taking the pit. I need to. I need this elite clue. I need it. This is my chance. Oh, I'm gaming. Yes, we have it. Okay, cool. Nice. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Why do I get another Mud Battle Staff that is worth 13k? I don't want to see it. <laughs> Give me the Sears Ring. 31 kills in now, two Mud Battle Staffs. All right, gonna call the first trip there. That's 47 Prime kills this task, 159 in total. All we got was two Mud Battle Staffs again and the, uh, the Elite Clue, which we'll do now. And then after that, we'll head back and hopefully get the Sears Ring soon. Hey, there we go. We have the Elite, cl uh, elite Clue Casket once again to uh, put it in the bunk. It'll be there for a while until we have to get an Elite Clue unique in the Elite tier again, so at least we'll have one. Now we can go back to Prime after buying some more Death Runes and heading out to Water Birth again. 
Alright, gonna be kill number 200 in total. 200 KC at Dagonoth Prime for the Renara Wheat that I'm not gonna pick up because I don't want to accidentally aggro Supreme. 88 kills on the task so far. Almost done with this uh, trip again, so we'll have to restock. Maybe next trip will be better, unless we get it on these last few kills. Kill number 250. That's a lot. Uh, six more kills until we're double the drop rate already in total, so... Uh, Whew, big one, 300 kills in and we still don't have the ring, so uh, over double the drop rate already. I mean, I just hope that we don't have to go to triple the drop rate, but at this point, uh, not really sure anymore. Almost at the end of this trip again, and then uh, we'll have to once again go and restock. Well, now we're already at 350 KC in total in games. <laughs> Closing in on the triple the drop rate, I suppose. Kill number 400. <gasps> Yes, 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 get out. Oh my god. 400. 400 kills is what it took. Oh, yes. No more prime. Thank god for that. Oh man, I'm free. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. On the round 400. 288 kills on this grind. We didn't even get a dragon X, by the way. We only got two mud battle staffs. But we are free. No more prime. We can move on again. <sighs> that is great. I'll, I'll probably imbue this ring at some point, uh, but not straight away. You know, I don't know when it's gonna come in handy, but whenever that is, <laughs> I'll go and imbue it first. But for now, it's gonna sit in the bank looking pretty. And we can move on to the next task. I'm, I'm hoping not to get Tempros still, because I don't want to do it, but we'll have to eventually. Uh, there's only so many tasks left in the heart here, so let's find out what the next one is. No more Prime. Thank God for that. Sweet. That was about, I want to say, four days of, of Prime. Something like that. It was a bit of a grind, but we're done with it. 93% hard, 7% left. Oh, getting so, so close to Elite. Next one, what's it gonna be? Boom. It is Clues. Five new uniques from Easy Clues. The second to last Clue task left in the heart here. There's also one more uh, for Medium Clues. Let's get five new Easy Clue uniques. It's also been ages since we've had another cool new unique from uh, these Easy Clues, so maybe... Maybe right now this task will give us something nice. Let's find out. Easy clues it is. And we are starting at 80 easy clue uniques in 432 clues. Honestly, we might get close. If not reach 500 easy clues. If we if we go a little dry for the 5 next uniques. We might get that giant spade. But I'm not sure if we'll get that far. But uh, we'll see what happens. I'll probably do like 5 or 10 clues every time. Open those at once. So let's get back to the hand members and let's see uh, when we get that next first unique. Alright, we're gonna open 8 caskets to begin with. Because that is gonna bring us up to 440 in total. Then after that we can do 10 caskets every time. So let's find out if we get a unique straight away. That's uh, the first duplicate on the first casket. Lovely. Okay, this is not looking too good. Not off to a great start unless we get something on the last casket. Nope, That's that was atrocious. That was really bad. We got one duplicate and everything else is just bad. <laughs> Back to the ham members. All right, and there we have the next 10 caskets. Double duplicate. Not good to see either. <laughs> the second ham joined on the account. 2.7 mil, but not a unique. My God, look at that. Hey, there we have it. The blue elegant skirt. We do get a new unique. Lovely. So far, this is a, a pretty big opening. Jesus Christ. Four items, one unique, a duplicate ham joint. What else do we get? Another duplicate, the Guthix Roblex. And the final casket is another duplicate. Two, actually. With Oh my god, what? How much did we get here? That is six duplicates and a new unique as well. That That is a lot of items right there. I'm glad with one unique so far, 1 out of 5, 18 caskets in total, 450 easy clues in total. Only 50 away from the 500. Wait, I need to, I had to double check that. I have 3 ham joints? I didn't even know. Well, I guess I guess I have 3 of those now, my god. Oh, Zemrek rope top and a Zemi page, but not new. Absolute trash, more trash, more trash, and the final casket is more trash! 460 in total. That was not as good as the last opening. That is for sure. Ready with the next 10. Goes by qu pretty quickly. Like, I think we're getting 10 caskets like every hour, so... Not too bad. We'll get this task done in no time. Let's see what we get from these 10. Do we get the second unique? 
Ba -da -da -ba. Yes, we do. Bob's green shirt. Hell yeah. I think... Wait, I thought that I had all Bob shirts, but I think that is now the very last one that we still needed. Look at that. Now we've had every single Bob shirt there is. Nice little collection completed there. Let's see if we get something else from the next eight still. Another duplicate there with the blue beret. Another unique, the black skirt G. That is a double unique in the opening. That is what we like to see. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Do we get something else? Oh my god, a black full helm. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. Get this task done. Just one more unique. Come on. Oh my god, yes. What the hell? We're done. We're done just like that. The blue elegant blouse as well. Holy moly. I mean, I'll take it. Yes, cool. Um, fuck it, we're just gonna open it for the fun of it. That's trash right there. 470 easy clues. Completed. Oh my god. Four uniques in 10 caskets with a dupe. Wow. That is that is one way to uh, complete a task. My god. Well, I guess we can move on. I guess we are done just like that. Beautiful. Holy shit. We're gonna put all of these in the, in the POH actually, but that is now 85 out of 131 easy clue uniques in 470. So that means that the first easy clue task we get in the elite tier will probably get to 500 in total and get that large spade when we go for 90 total uniques. We're at 772 total unique items on the collection log now, almost at the uh, triple seven there, which looks pretty nice as well. Let's go and put these in the POH and let's get a new task again. That was nice. Pretty, pretty quick easy clue task. I think overall took us like four hours probably. Uh, that was 38 clues in total, so not bad at all. Quite happy with that one. Uh, still one clue task left. The five final medium clue uniques in the heart here. Do we get that or do we get to do something else? Oh, <laughs> it's back to the obby boys. We didn't have to spend too much time there last time for the uh, obsidian plate legs, but now we have to get the plate body or the helmet. So we're gonna stack those boys up again, barrage them a bit. Let's see which one we get next, the body or the helm. Or maybe some duplicate plate legs. Who knows? Let's find out. Wait, I just got... What is that? I just got something from the from the Tsarik Sil. Like a sword? Is that a sword? <laughs> I just got the first clump and I, I got, I guess, an obsidian item. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> Not what I'm looking for, but uh, off to a great start. And there's another obsidian sword as well from <laughs> the Xils that we are tagging into our clumps. <laughs> I guess we can get some duplicates like that. I just got something from the big Tsarket and it was green text, but it's just a Tsarket. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> that's the third Tsar item so far. Dude, I'm literally gonna get every single obsidian armor or weapon piece there is. Look, we got the shield now. We've had the dagger, we've had the sword, we've had the maul and the shield. <laughs> cool. Little collection building up. Another obsidian shield. Dude, we get so many items here, it's actually crazy. I'm doing great because I just got the obsidian helmet. <laughs> Hell yeah. And we're done. And we're moving on. <laughs> oh my god. That is lovely. That was, again... I think an hour and a half to get that one. We have two of the three obsidian armor pieces now. <laughs> we're moving, we're moving, we're getting somewhere. This is gonna be another percentage. Let's keep the train going. Let's keep the progress flowing in. Let's get those tasks done. Let's get to the elite here. We're almost an unstoppable obby tank now. With both ornament kits, we just need the plate body. That's gonna be for the elite here though, but we're looking strong. I like this. All right, let's move on to the next task again. You know, if we if we keep getting lucky on the tasks that we have left, we could get to the elite here very quickly. But that being said, we still have some tasks that are simply time gated, like um, trouble brewing and castle wars, uh, some mahogany homes as well. But uh, let's complete the second obsidian armor drop, nice and easy. 84, I mean 94 percent hard, six percent left. Just about what is it? 11 or, or 10 tasks left. We're so, so close now. The next task is... Oh, oh, oh my god, the content. A unique from the gauntlet. We are going back to the gauntlet now for either the armor seat, I think. Because I think we got the weapon seat the first time. So we need to get either the armor seat or the blade of Seldar if we get very, very lucky. I might try some more corrupted gauntlet as well, but you know, first we'll need to get back into it with some normal gauntlet. But that's gonna be fun. Let's uh, let's go back to Priv, do some more gauntlet, and let's see what we get. 
Alright, we're looking good. We're looking ready for the gauntlet. Although I'm gonna need some practice to get back into it, I think. But if we look at the collection log last time, we did 64 normal gauntlet and one corrupted gauntlet to get the armor, uh, the weapon seed. So right now we need to get the crystal armor seed, which is 1 in 120 from the normal gauntlet or 1 in 50 from the corrupted. Or we could also get very lucky and get the blade, which is 1 in 2000 from normal and 1 in 400 from corrupted. So let's start with some normal gauntlets, see if we can still do it once we're good enough. We can maybe try some more corrupted. Let's bang the collection log and let's get started. That wasn't too bad. First run at the gauntlet. Watch a spoon. Boom. Blade of Sildor. Never mind. We got some battle stuffs and some money. That's, that's decent. Off to a decent start. Let's just... Keep getting better at it, and then eventually we'll do some corrupted, but not not anytime soon yet. Got to get into it first. Kill 70. That is number six on the task so far. No luck yet, but at least we're consistent, so uh, we can move on to some corrupted attempts in a bit. I'll probably do some normal uh, until like maybe 100 KC. We'll see. Alrighty, 80 kill count now. What do we get? Number 16 on the task, some cosmic runes and uncut sapphires. Now that we hit 80, it is time to try another corrupted run. I'm not saying I'm gonna make it, but I can try. <laughs> okay, I think I kinda, I kinda smashed that. What the hell? I have 16 food left, holy shit. Okay, well we did it. <laughs> holy shit. Two corrupted KC guys, 10 minutes and 10 seconds. Now give me that blade as well. Oh, if only that would have been perfect. Holy shit. Gaming! <laughs> Whew. Oh my. Alright, the plan is... I'm gonna do Corrupted now, until I fail. And then once I've failed, I'm gonna do one Corrupted every five normals. So, uh, let's dive back in. I think I was very lucky on the prep there. Uh, it went very smooth. I got a full inventory of food, tier 2 armor, got everything. So, uh, let's see how it goes when, uh, I grind it out a bit. Kinda gaming. Kinda gaming. What do we get? Third Corrupted. Some more trash. Well, that was a failed one, so, uh, what do we get? Oh, an adamant blade skirt. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, we're gonna drop that. I think I am gonna continue the Corrupted for now, though, because I feel like it's going all right. I just had a slightly bad prep there, plus I messed up twice, and that's why I died. Otherwise, I would have still made it. So, uh, let's just try and grind out the Corrupted a bit. I think we can do this. Five Corrupted, Casey. Halfway to the high scores. Oh, some room play bodies. There it is! With only one death, we now have... Well, one death on this task, I, I have like six in total, but... <laughs> we now have ten Corrupted Gauntlet KC, so that means we're now on the high scores, right? That's pretty neat, what do we get for KC number ten? Some death runes. Cool! I guess we can con uh, continue grinding the Corrupted instead of the normal Gauntlet, because uh, it's going pretty well. And the drop rates are much, much better from the Corrupted, so let's keep it going! Lucky number 13. Ooh, boys and girls, we have an elite clue. And we can go and do that. Lovely. Let's get that casket in the bank real quick. There you have it. Reward casket, elite, and the loop half of key from the blood vault. Let's go. Another casket, hopefully with a unique, once we have to get one in the elite tier. Let's go back to the gauntlet. And that is corrupted number 15 that just went down. What do we get from that one? Oh! Oh, it's a duplicate. Fuck, I thought I was done. For a second I thought I was done. But it's it's a crystal weapon seed, not the armor seed. We have to keep going, but hey, there's something. Let's get that back to back into the armor seed. Bam, bam, da, dam. Ah, unlucky. Okay, no back to back. Alright, that was a pretty solid corrupted gone look at that was the first sub 10 minute kill look at that all the boys are here as well including task looks flexing his blade of saildar let's see if we get that one too no we do not unfortunately let's keep grinding 17 corrupted kc all right 20 corrupted kc now that's uh getting up there i'm liking it still only one death on uh on this task so 19 successful attempts one failed one going well that has to be super quick 844 holy moly that is more than a minute shaved off holy shit let's go 844 corrupted gauntlet i'm happy with that wow the previous pb was like 954 i think ba -da -da -bow. junk but hey that was good i'm happy with that that was a really good prep like more than two minutes left after the prep not lucky for turi what do we get another elite clue hey 
content. Let's go. Let's get another casket in the bank. Casket obtained. Back we go. All right. Look at that. 30 corrupted gauntlet Casey. Still only one fail on this task. So uh, we have 29 successful ones and only one failed attempt so far. So I'm doing pretty well, if I say so myself. What do we get? 30 KC, nothing special, but we keep going and we'll get it eventually. Oh, hey, look at that. The first Dragon Halberd. We haven't had one yet. That's pretty cool. Yeah, just in time for the blade. Here we go, 40 KC, blade of... S nothing! Way! Nature runes. All right, Corrupted Gauntlet number 50 for another elite clue. There's number three of the task. Let's go. And there's casket number four ready to go in the bank. <laughs> and back we go. We are now at the drop rate for the armor seed. So hopefully we get that soon or maybe still get lucky at that blade. Let's find out. Damn, but look at all that food left. We only used eight food with a full... No, seven. <laughs> we had 18 fish left there. That's pretty cool. Do we get rewarded on the 55th kill? No, we don't. All right, I, f I feel good about this one. This has to be the one. There we go. Boom. Oh, it's another elite clue. It's another elite clue. Number four. All right, let's do another one. There we go. One new elite casket again. Lovely, lovely, lovely. 60k C at the Corrupted. Getting up there. 64, that's a nice number. Coop is here as well. Eggs, and we get... Oh my god! An elite clue and the armor seat. Yes! <laughs> wow, what a casket. What the fuck? Armor seat and another elite clue. My god. <laughs> Coop is the MVP, I guess. He gave us the luck we needed. Wow. We're done. We're fucking done. 64 corrupted gauntlet. We've literally done 63 corrupted gauntlet. And we only died once on this task. And I'm very, very happy with that. We can go and do this elite clue first. And uh, see what we... If we get another casket, probably will. But with, there is the crystal armor seed. And look at all the other loot as well. If we price check that. That is 16.2 mil, plus another weapon seed, which was 400k as well. Without the armor seed, without the weapon seed, it's 10.6 mil. Just in uh, all of the other stuff, which is very, very nice as well. Wow, sweet. All right, done with the gauntlet in the heart here. We can move on to the next task. There it is, the casket. We got it. Now let's get a new task. Okay, about three days of the Corrupted Gauntlet. That was fun, though. I really did enjoy it. I, I like the fact that I can do the Corrupted Gauntlet consistently now, so... Uh, good progress there. 95%. The very last 5% of the heart here. And we're kicking it off with some Mahogany Homes. We haven't done that in a while. I think the plan is probably to turn all the Mahogany Logs I have in the bank into planks. And that should cover the two remaining Mahogany Home tasks that we have left in the heart here. Time for some construction gains. Alright, there we go. We are done turning all of our mahogany logs into planks. And that should just about be enough to complete this task, I think. We now have 2,200 mahogany planks. So it's time to uh, get some mahogany homes going. Let's get that carpenter's shirt. Probably some construction levels along the way. Should be good. Alright, look at that. I think we just got our first level. 78 construction. Lovely. Probably get at least one more from this grind so let's go it's just going too fast i didn't even realize i was that close but there's 79 construction already as well we have 300 points now so still 500 left to go so we will definitely get at least level 80 and there we go that is 400 points we are halfway just 400 more to go and we'll be done 100k xp until 80 construction so we'll have that in no time all right watch this guys boom oh wait <laughs> B boom 80 construction flying in we can now have a maximum of 30 rooms and we can build these altars and whatnot this is good i think we'll still get 81 as well actually before we're done with this task but uh yeah that's already three levels oh hey another level 81 construction nice time to build a gilded mahogany throne i guess we are done that was the last contract right there. Let's go pick up the reward. And let's upgrade our house a bit afterwards as well. Because we now have 81 construction level, uh, Four levels gained. We can definitely make some upgrades there. Store a lot more clue items in the POH. And that's going to that's gonna clear up a bunch of bank space as well. So that's lovely. Uh, let's go to the rewards. Let's get the carpenter's shirt. 
we are done. Just one more Mahogany Homes task left. That is going to be the Amy's Saw. Let's hope we don't get that back to back though. But uh, first, let's go upgrade that bank. And let's store some items in there. Alright, this is the main thing. I don't really care about those things just yet. But I can upgrade the treasure chest to be mahogany. And in this one we can literally store all of our treasure trail rewards. So all of the hard, elite and master uniques will be stored in this as well. Oh, look at that. Everything's going in there. Some elite as well. Boom. We have a lot more in the bank as well. That's gonna save like 50 spaces already, I think. Alright, one of the two mahogany home tasks that were left is now done. We still need the Amy saw as well, like I said. We could get that back to back, so we might not be done with Mahogany Homes yet. But that is not the case. We have to go to KQ first to try and get the Dragon Chain, buddy. The second unique from KQ. Last time we got super lucky at the KQ head. Let's see if we get lucky at the Dragon Chain as well. Alright, so it's that time again. We are going to Turial Skip to try and get a Kelfight task. We just unblocked them, so uh, we could get it from Turriel as well. Obviously, it wouldn't be too long of a task, but let's try and get a Kelfight task, and then we can go and kill some KQ. Wait, wait, I actually got Kelfights. I was like, brain dead, just clicking through the chat. I actually got Kelfights. Let's go. 174 of them as well. That's a good task right there. All right. We can actually get started. <laughs> let's go. Uh, but why? What am I? Okay, I'm just... We're just gonna say that I'm a bit tired, and that's why I died, okay? Yesterday, late at night, I was just preparing for this. I have 900 sharks cooked and I have 120 house tabs made. So we are good to go for a while, hopefully. Currently at 14 KC on the task, which is 21 in total. So let's see if we get that chain soon. Wait, just like that, already at 40 kill count in total. Getting two kills every trip, so that's not too bad at all. Here it is, kill number 100 in total. Papaya tree seed and a super combat potion. Well, we are only 28 kills away now from the drop rate. Let's see if we get it before that. Ah! It's a dragon two hands. Okay. It's, oh my god, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, that's jokes. Oh my god, that's actually funny. And just while cooking some more sharks to prepare for some more kills, we now have 83 cooking already, just four levels away from 1950 total. So that's starting to look pretty nice. No way, I- oh my god, I just died, I come back and I get a double- oh, my duplicate cake you had. <laughs> oh, this task is just- I don't even know anymore. Everything is just comedy. I mean, that's cool though, second cake you had, why not? And that right there is the drop rate, 128 KC. We've had two KQ heads, which, which are more rare than the D-Chain. But no chain yet, so let's keep going and hope for the best. Come on. One of these days, it will be the one. Ooh, an easy clue scroll. Well, I guess that's decent. I guess we'll keep that. <laughs> sure. Boom, and just like that, we're already 150 kills into the task. 159 kill count in total. I got another KQ head! <laughs> okay, I know last time I said the KQ head is more rare than the D-Chain, I lied about that. They're the same drop rate, but I have three of those now, and I also got that Dragon Two-Hander, so... Oh well, it is what it is. Surely we'll get the, the chain soon. And that is the end of the Slayer task. And we didn't get the chain. 183 KC, 174 on this grind so far. And back to Turiel we go to try and get the next Kelfight Slayer task. At least the overall loot is pretty good. We got 1,300 Potato Cacti and 720 Wines of Zamorak. Also 75 Snapdragon, 75 Renar. So, hey, we take those. But, yeah, still dry. About one and a half times the drop rate now. Let's try and get another task. Yesterday, I was Turiel skipping for a while late at night. I've got a KQ boss task. <laughs> so we're gonna kill 35 KQ and then I have to skip again for a new task. But unless, you know, maybe we get it on this task. Who knows? Who knows? Let's find out. Total kill number 200 for some magic seeds. We have 18 left on this boss task. It could still happen. KQ head number 4. Give me the chain. <laughs> ah. And to finish this Slayer task of 35 KQ. Fight Queens, we are doing it in 2004 gear. <laughs> we can't use anything other than uh, things that were available on KQ release. So let's see how this goes. Maybe it'll give us some good luck to uh, get that dragon chain. Die! Uh oh, no, not me. 
come on, we're almost there. <laughs> is that the final arrow? There it is. We finished the boss task in 2004 gear for absolute garbage and unlucky. Oh, well, time to try and get a new Kelphite task again. And hopefully it's not going to be a boss task, but a normal Kelphite task instead. Please, 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 please. I said please like six times. Come on. <sighs> Pain. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Steve, for the 130 Kel fights. We can go back. New task, new chances. Let's go. I'm out of darts <laughs> and I'm out of sharks. So I am gonna do some more prep again. Cook some sharks, make some new darts, and we can continue. 235 KC already. Closing in on double the drop rate soon enough. There's another cooking level 84. <laughs> Slowly making our way up to 99, I guess. Oh, we can cook angler fish now as well. That's pretty nice. And that is 2,170 adamant darts made. We were using rune darts before, but unfortunately we ran out of those. So adamant darts will have to do because we don't have the fletching level yet for those rune dart tips that we have in the bank. But hey, we're stocked up again and we can go back to KQ. Hey, and there it is. Double the drop rate for the chin and that means we get the tethered KQ head as well. Now we have four normal heads and one tethered. Give me that chain soon, please. Maybe before 300 KC would be nice. We still have 91 kills left on this task, so still a decent chance to get it. I actually did! I actually got it! <laughs> the kill after the tethered head! No way! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, yes! Now the worst part is that this thing is worth 175k. That is just tragic. Look, it's almost alk value, Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, thank god for that. We are done, just double the drop rate and we can move on. Yeah, put it on, okay. Boom. Look at that, ooh. Oh, that's that's kind of nice. That is kind of nice. I like that. That's a good looking chain. I like it. All right, sweet. Done with KQ. Time to move on. What is the next task? I'm 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 guessing it's gonna be one of those AFK things. Let's take a quick look at the collection log though, because I mean we did get four head, two dragon two handers, but one is from Chaos Ellie, and then the dragon chain as well. No jar, no pet. But hey, maybe maybe one day we'll go for that. Who knows? We now have 776 collection lock slots in total. The next task is going to bring us to 777. That's pretty cool. Let's find out which one that'll be. KQ Unique. We have completed it. We got the D-chain. Doubled the drop rate. Took a few days, but we managed to get it in the end there. Now, we do have to go back to the medium tier just very, very quickly to get some Fossil Island notes because we moved those to the medium tier. But we have all the number light needed, so we're just going to go there. We're going to complete the entire section. And then we're going to continue with the hard tier. So as you can see, we need three more of those notes. Let's go to the dick side. Let's get those instantly. We have 6.3k Nomalite. So that is 63 chances. I used the wrong teleport there. 63 chances to get it. There's absolutely no way that I won't get it. We're looking like a champ as well with our D chain and all of the other dragon as well. Shouldn't take too long here. Any moment we'll get some... There's one. Wait, I already had... Wait, what? How do you... You can't get dupes here, I thought. Wait, I'm so confused. There's a new one. There's the hastily scrawled note. Two more to go. There's another one. Old writing. New collection log item. Just one more now. If we don't get it in these 49 attempts, that, that would be very strange. There we go. Short note has been obtained as well. And now if we check the collection log, that is another green section. How nice is that? Fossil Island notes fully completed. 10 out of 10. 779 items in total. Unique items, that is. Back to the heart here for the real content. Let's go. Okay, now that we've quickly done that, let's complete that. Generate the new one and complete that as well. Now that we're back at 100% medium, it's time to get back to a heart uh, task. Let's, let's see what that's going to be then. Oh, there it is. See, I told you. I said it was time. It is time for the lucky shot flag. And that right there is 4,000 pieces of eight from... Troll brewing. We are gonna be there AFKing for a while. So yeah, let's go and do that. Well, as you might expect, there's not a whole lot I can show you guys on grinds like this because I literally just get 100 pieces of it every game and sit there AFK for the rest of it. But we are now officially halfway. We have 2,050 pieces of eight. We need 4,000 in total for the lucky shot flag. So plenty more left to get, but Hey, we're halfway. The end is somewhat near, I suppose. Let's keep going. 
just reached 3,000 pieces of eight, so we are on to the final 10 games. Thank God for that. And there's the last pieces of eight that we needed. Let's take a look. Right here, we have 4,080. So now we can trade Honest Jimmy and get the lucky shot flag for 4,000 pieces of eight. That only took me two days, basically. I, I just AFK'd all day for two days. And there it is. That's pretty cool. Is it worth it? Sure, yeah. It's, it's quite nice. I highly recommend everyone going for this. Uh, how many things do we have now from Trouble Brewing? We have 22 out of 30. Two naval sets and two flags left and those are all in the elite tier. It's not for now, but let's find out what is for now. <laughs> what's, what's the next task gonna be? The final Trouble Brewing task done for now complete that one we do of course still have that final castle wars task as well which is just more afking are we gonna get that straight away or do we get something more active it's going <laughs> to be <laughs> it is the castle wars task it is us getting the final two white decorative pieces so i guess it is time for more afk awesome Let let's just get it over and done with and then the final grinds will be more active so for this one, we are going for the last two white decorative pieces, which is the plate body and the kite shield. So that means we need 140 tickets in total. So that is once again going to take us like for probably two days of AFK in Castle Wars, like 16 hours in total. So we better get started. Let's get cracking. And that right there marks the first 102 tickets, I suppose. Over 100. Just 38 left to get. I guess we could already pick up the plate, but I'm just gonna get the 140 in total and then pick up both pieces. We're getting there. And there you have it. We got the 140 tickets that we needed. We are done with Castle Wars in the heart here. I am so happy to say that. Let's get that white body first. There's the first one. And now let's get the kite shield afterwards as well. And that is gonna leave us with all of the white decorative pieces obtained now in the elite tier there are four more castle wars tasks but i'll probably do things a little bit differently in the elite tier with the goal of eventually just buying everything selling all of the items i have and just keeping the gold body and legs but we'll figure that out once we get there you know what i do kind of like the white decorative never really thought that i'd get a full set like this uh, way back when but here we are full white decorative both versions as well Looking pretty solid. Well, with that being said, time to move on to the next task again. Let's find out what that'll be. Well, that concludes the massive AFK minigame grind. Two days of Troll Brewing followed by two days of Castle Wars. We're done. Now, one last somewhat AFK grind that is left that I could go very dry on is the Temporal's Unique. And I kind of want to get it now rather than right at the end of the tier. But let's find out if we do. Here we go. We actually don't. That is a unique from demonic gorillas that we have to go for. Well, so far, we've been very lucky at those three uniques in like 70 something kills, I think. This fourth one might take a while, but maybe we'll get some extra zenites along the way, which will come in handy in the elite tier as well. So let's hope for that. So here we are all set up to go back to the monkeys. Now, as a reminder, we are tw uh, 82 kills in. We have one zenite. We have the heavy frame. And we have the Ballista Spring, so we either need to get the Monkey Tail, which is 1 in 1500, I think. The Ballista Limbs, 1 in 500. And the Light Frame, 1 in 750, if I'm not mistaken. One of those three items, and we complete the task. Wouldn't be opposed to getting some more Zenites as well. Like I said, would be nice. But uh, let's get going and let's see if we get lucky on the fourth one as well. I, I highly doubt it though. Alright, that'll conclude the first trip there. 27 kills with uh, four prayer pots at the start. So I guess I'll bring some more prayer pots because I did still have some food left as well. Not too bad. 27 kills in. Already 833k in uh, in loot. Pretty decent. At least we'll uh, stack up some loot in the bank from this again. If we uh, don't get it straight away. Which is pretty alright. Alright, we're already uh, four trips into the task. Over 100 kills done. 101 as a matter of fact. Yes! We got another Zenite shard. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. That means that we do at least have two Zenites going into the Elite tier. This does not complete the task, obviously, because it's not a new unique. But that is great. I'm happy with that. One extra Zenite. We now have two. Maybe we can get a third one as well before the uh, fourth unique. Lovely. Oh my god, I just got another heavy frame. That's one in 1,500. No, oh, I have that. What do you mean? That's literally like four kills after the Zenites. Oh my god. Wow another duplicate the ballista spring are you what is this 
Look! <laughs> We're, we literally got every item we've had again. So we had three uniques. We got all three again. <laughs> now we have two of each. Cool. All right, now, now let's get a new one. I'm 88 XP away. I randomly checked my XP. It's literally 88 XP until 98. There it is. Boom, 98 defense. Just one level to go until the final combat stat, not counting prayer, to 99. Oh my god, we got a third Zenite. Yes. Yes, this is so good. We have three Zenites before we finish the task. Oh, that is so good. I am happy. <laughs> I don't even have 300 KC in total. I'm literally like 299, I think, right now. <laughs> oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now now give me the unique, and I'm I'm happy. I actually got a fort set. Oh my god, everyone's gonna hate me. Everyone's gonna hate me so bad. I have four Zenites in 400 kills. <laughs> wow. Let's go. Well, okay, now I'll just get the unique. Now I'll just get the unique and move on with four Zenites in the bank. This is amazing. 321 kills on this task. Uh, that's like 400 in total for four Zenites, two heavy frames and two ballista springs. <laughs> oh my, look at that. Four Zenites. Beautiful. This monkey right here. Monkey number 400 on the task. Four. Rune, played legs. Still no unique. So many duplicates, but technically kind of dry because it's one in 250 to get one of the three items we need. Hey, 71 fletching coming in. Right as we're making some more darts because our blowpipe ran out of those. Once we're done with this, we can head back to the gorilla, start working on the next few kills. Hopefully not too many more. I just died to the Monix. Oh my god, what am I doing? How? He hit a 30 as... Oh, whatever. Hey, there we go. 79 herbal. Just making some more potions. Super strong anti-poison potions are now unlocked. Perfect. Getting close to level 80, but, you know, as soon as we get that Verok Elite Diary, maybe early on in the Elite tier, we'll have to train a lot of herbal. That's pretty alright. I only just realized we're already at 504 KC. We've killed over 500 demonics on this task. Should be done soon, right? Hey! Wait, so... Nah, this X thing is actually something. Trail said X, and now I get an elite clue again. Last time when Coop said X, I got an elite clue too. Well, time to do the elite. <laughs> there it is. Casket number 7 to go in the bank. Hopefully at least one of those will give us a unique. Unlike last time we opened them on the elite clue unique task. But that is for the elite here. Oh, fuck! I, I was excited. I saw Ballista, but it's the spring again. No! <laughs> God damn it. A, a glimpse of, of hope. Oh, I just realized we're uh, 600 kills in now. 600 gorillas in one grind. Option four. Cool. Ash Sanctifier. Look at that. We now have an Ash Sanctifier because they released some new ashes in the game, which includes the one dropped by Demonic. So if we charge this one with death runes... We now have 100,000 charges and this one is gonna uh, scatter the ashes we get from the demonic gorillas, give us half the XP because we have the hard diary for now. But hey, some extra prayer XP, may as well, let's go. Kill number 700 on the task. That's a lot of monkeys slain. Wait, where's my unique? 700 of these? Come on. That's almost three times the drop rate technically on this task because it's 1 in 250. But again, I can't complain, Zenites and everything. <laughs> I want to move on. I want to get to the elite here. I want to finish this chapter. Ah! <laughs> ah, again, baited. It's a Ballista Spring again. Number three on this task. I have four springs. Two heavy frames and four Zenites. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Second elite clue. I'll take that. Elite clues are good. I like seeing those. Let's go do it. Gasket. That is number eight. I, I beg to get at least one unique from those once we can open them. Oh my god, I got another Zenite! <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna laugh. There's nothing else I can do. 780 KC. <laughs> hey, clue number three. Why do I always get these at the start of a trip? I mean, I'm not complaining. That's nice. Another elite clue. Let's go! Gasket obtained. Well, hey. Now, instead of a, another elite, let's get the unique. Let's get some Ballista Limbs, shall we? 855 demonic gorillas have been slain on this task. I think it's about time we finish it. Ah! It's not a ballista spring number four on this task. Ah! God damn it. No! No! I can't. I cannot do this anymore. Yeah!
Yes! Oh my god, I'm sorry, but I'm so excited. Thank god for that. Ballista limps, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> it's over. It's finally over. 994 demonic gorillas. Four Zenites, a heavy frame, and five Ballista Springs. <laughs> Ballista limbs have been obtained. Thank fuck for that. Oh my god. We are literally ha over halfway from 98 to 99 defense already. From that grind. My god, I'm so happy. It's literally 29k, I, I don't even care. The total loot, by the way, is over 50 mil from this Demonic Gorilla grind, so that's absolutely insane. We got so much Alcaballs and whatnot, obviously the four Zenites as well, that carries the uh, the loot as well. But we are done, thank god. One of the, the big grinds that was remaining. We have 40 mil cash, look at that, that's just insane. Oh man, we can move on finally, get the next task, get it going! Closer to Elite, finally! Now we just need that, that big Tempras hurdle to be dealt with. We need to get over that. Once we cross that one, we're good to go. We're close to the elite here. So let's see if that's going to be next or not. Whew, boy, oh boy. A week later and way too many duplicates. We have completed the final Demonic Gorilla task in the heart here. Two left in the elite here. The light frame and the monkey tail. We'll get there eventually. But we have four tasks left in the heart here. And the first one of those four that we're going to do now is going to be... The Vial of Blood from Story Mode TOB. I have never set foot in TOB other than getting the music track on my main. I've never done a single room in TOB, but I'm gonna try and solo this one. I'm not sure. I I've heard that it's very easy, so it should be doable. As long as I have the proper gear and whatnot, I think it will be all right. <laughs> I've never done it before though, so let's see how this goes. Let's try and get a Vial of Blood from Story Mode TOB. Here we are! At, at TOB with what I think is the correct setup. Um, I don't know really. I mean, I'm just sending it. Hope for the best. I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete it straight away. But I'm sure if I fail something, I'll learn straight away. And it should be easy enough. So let's just get going and see how this works. It's going to be story mode, so it shouldn't be too hard. Let's send it. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. I, don't, I really don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> Here we go. The Maiden. Let's get it. I think I just kill everything. Hey, we did it. We defeated the Maiden. Let's go. I'm actually so good at the game. Holy shit. Serafina's Diary. Cool, cool. Let's move on. That was easy, actually. That was that was not bad. <laughs> okay, nice. Quick and easy room. Moving on. Now, this room, I'm not sure if this is going to go well. I need to, like, switch all the time, don't I? Kill, like, all the different uh, attack style crabs. Pretty sure that that was the last crab. Woo! And now I need to kill the big fella. See, that's, that's much nicer than the actual small ones. Jesus Christ. Okay, cool. Room 3 cleared. Let's go. Time for Tsoda Tsek. Easy. E easy game. Yes. Cool. Uh, moving on. On to Zarpus. Another one down for the wild hunt. Now on to the final challenge. Lady Verzik. I think I need to pick up this thing. The Dawnbringer. Now let's <laughs> see if I can do this. I... I don't know how this is gonna go, because this seems a bit complicated with, like, several steps and whatnot, but... Uh, yeah. I don't know. Let's send it. Do I hide? Oh, wait, I think I can already attack at the start, actually. Oh. <laughs> I got her. Oh! 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 Oh, okay, yeah, don't run under. Don't run under. Don't do that. You know what? Fuck that other crap. I don't need him. It only heals 20. It's fine. Oh, it spawns two new ones. Okay, never mind. Oh, come on. Can I not just kill her here? I don't know if I even need to run at all. Do I kill crabs? No! Son of a bitch. <laughs> Ow! Wait, I'm so low on, on things all of a sudden. <laughs> hey, we did it. There we go. See, easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We got the first Theater of Blood story mode KC. Let's go to the treasure room and let's pick up those vials of blood. Get it over and done with. Quick and easy task. Let's go. Give me the vials. Come on. Vials of blood right here. Boom. Yes! <laughs> easy as that. Seven vials of blood, some snapdragons and a rune plate body as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We are done. We can move on. Quick task. What was that? Total completion, 30 minutes. 
Not bad at all. Let's go! <laughs> Is this guy gonna give me an XP lamp now? There we go, a night at the theater completed. Two quest points from that as well, and two XP lamps. Oh, but it's only combat, I see. Uh, well, I guess we'll put it on defense. There we go, 40k defense XP, nice. Vials of blood obtained, three tasks left. Is it gonna be Temporos? Is it gonna be medium clues? Or is it gonna be Amy Saw? Let's see. One quick story mode is all it took. I, I probably made some mistakes, that's for sure. But, you know, we made it to the end without dying. So that's good. And we got the vials of blood. So that's completed. Final three tasks, 98%. Is it gonna be Temporos? Yes, it is. You know, it, it was, you know, it was, it was due. It was gonna happen. And it happened right now. We need to get the big harpoon fish from Temporos. The very last unique other than the pet. And I'm not looking forward to this. So I, I sincerely hope that I spoon this. Because otherwise I'm going to be in pain. Even worse than the demonic gorillas. <laughs> One in 1600, right? For the big harpoon fish. <sighs> Here we go. The Temporos grind. The last one. Let's get it. Okay, we got nine permits because we, we tried something different. We did 23 fish three times. We're going to do that. The entire time we're just gonna quickly loot this one see if we get lucky you never know if we don't we'll just stack up a bit get like you know five kills every time or whatever what do we get from the first nine permits we, we got four of these caskets maybe i should just keep those caskets in the bank as well and open all of those at the end 36 permits it's not happening it's not happening we're not getting shit. we're not even getting pages five four three two one no harsh spoon fish today. Well, now we'll just do every five kills again. That's fine. Five kills later and we have 46 permits. Here we go. You not lucky. 30 manta rays, 90 sharks, not too bad. Some sea turtles. All right, here we go. 44. Oh, you were going to count down? Well, <laughs> it's not looking good, Coop. I got nothing. New PB in points, 10 permits from that game, 46 total, let's go. Guys, never lucky, 13 pages and that's it, 69 sharks. <laughs> let's get it. Oh my god, I got a duplicate tome of water. Oh my god. Well, there's something. <laughs> After about 200 permits, there's the first duplicate, another tome. Well then. 4, 3... Two, one. Yeah, never lucky. And there's a fishing level coming in. 87 fishing, the first one. And let's also call it the last one on this task. We can now fish for sacred eels. That's pretty cool. We are 271 permits in. We have the tome duplicate. And soon we'll loot some more. Hopefully get lucky. Give me that fish. Yes, I got it. Yes! Oh my god, I'm so happy! Oh my god, yes! <laughs> oh, I have the big harpoon fish, let's fucking go! Oh, what a relief! I don't have to grind Temporos, I don't have to do it! 300 permits! <laughs> oh, and the duplicate as well! The soaked page is 25, that means that that was another unique there. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Guys, the elite tier is here. Literally two tasks to go now. Oh my god. We're literally almost done. There it is. The big harpoon fish has been obtained. Oh my god. Look at that. One th oh, that's basically bang on the drop rate as well. 1,630 total rewards claimed. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. We even got two tomes in total. That is great. Oh, I'm so happy. Let me take a look at the collection log, because uh, we haven't done that in a bit. How many items do we have in total now? We have 785. So with the five medium clue uniques that we still have to get, plus the Amy saw, it's going to bring us to a total of 791 to end the hard tier on, which is quite nice. Let's take a look at Temporos. There it is, 11 out of 12. 205 kills for the 1630 reward permits, and all we're missing is the pet, but I'm not sure if we'll ever get that. Who knows, maybe one day we'll come back for that one, but for now... We're gonna get the hell out of here, get our next task, and get ever so close to the elite tier. We're basically there. Wow. Who would have thought? We actually got the Temporos unique within the drop rate, basically. We didn't have to go dry. Finally. That is lovely. No dry streak for this one. No weeks of grinding at Temporos. And we're down to the very last two hard tasks. Just five medium clue uniques and the Amy saw left 
to go and then we are ready for the elite here. What's it gonna be? Medium clues, Amy saw. First, we'll have to do the medium clues. So that means that we will finish the hard tier by doing some mahogany homes. But first, we're doing some more medium clues to get five more uniques. And maybe we'll get something cool. Would be nice to get the holy sandals because those are the only boots we're still missing. So if we're really lucky, we finish the hard tier with all the boots completed. But we'll see what happens. Five new uniques. We have some caskets left in the bank. We have a clue ready. Let's get going. Okay. We have three caskets to start with. We also have a medium clue and we have 15 of the caskets from Temporals that could give us a medium clue as well. But let's start with these. Let's see if we get something new straight away. We are currently at 60 out of 115 total medium clue uniques in 222 medium clues. Let's see how long it takes to get five new. Let's open these three. Here we go. Oh my god. I got duplicate ranger boots on the first one. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Holy shit. What is going on? I mean, it's not a new unique, but <laughs> that's pretty cool. Next one. Trash. Third one. Absolute garbage. <laughs> Understandable. That's fine. But I mean, duplicate rangers is cool. Not a new unique, but we'll take that. That adds another 30 mil almost to the bank value. So we'll take it. My god, well, let's get started with this clue then, shall we? Holy moly. We got the casket, but first we're gonna get four more and open them every five again. Let's get going. Alright, let's see what these uh, 15 caskets give us then. Let's see if we can get a medium clue here. Probably not. I believe it's 1 in 25 or something for a medium clue. So I guess it would be pretty lucky to get one from 15 of these. Can't get an easy clue, can't get a hard clue, because I already have one of those in the bank. And it doesn't look like we got a medium clue either. So, back to Piro Piro we go. Alright, five new caskets. Let's get something real quick, shall we? Here we go. Another duplicate, the black leprechaun head. Hey, there it is. White boater. We're off to a start here. The first unique has been obtained. Let's go. What do we get from the last casket? Another duplicate. 230 meat clues in total. And we have one unique and three duplicates so far in eight caskets. Not bad. Can we get another unique in the next five? Last time we got one unique, two duplicates. There's another duplicate, green DI Chaps G. Wow, that was very bad. 2.9k. Yeah, that was not good. I'm feeling good about these five. I'm gonna get at least two uniques here. Get three out of five done on the task. The first one is going to B. They're both in the last casket. Wow, what are the odds? Well, we got a, a duplicate blue boater, but in the last... Wow, what is this? <laughs> oh, that was bad. 3k, 4.5k, 10k, 5... Wow. That was probably the worst thing I've ever seen from 5 medium clues. Jesus Christ. <laughs> right next to Fam at the TOB bank. 5 caskets. First one. Boom. Duplicate. Second one. Boom. Page. Third one. Boom. Page. Fourth one. Boom. Junk. Last one. More junk. Holy shit, that was bad. Again. My god, these are not good. 23 clues in now. Hey, look at that. 81 hunter. Wow. That's cool. Nice little hunter level sneaking in while doing some uh, some eclectic implings. Feeling good. Feeling good. This is the one. These five, two uniques. Boom. Boom. Yes, there's one. Okay, Mithril Plate Lex T. Okay, there we go. We have one. Nice. That's the second unique on this, ca uh, on this task. Now, the, the last casket is number 250 in total. And another unique, I called it! See, I said it! Two uniques in these five. Let's fucking go. The back-to-back, -back, Mithril Plate, Lex T, and Bandos Crozier. Only two to go. We, un we got another duplicate as well. Nice. Wow, that was bad. Wow, that was bad. <laughs> wow. That was actually very bad. Jesus Christ, what was that? That's the worst five clues I've seen in my life. Okay, last time, absolutely atrocious. This time, I'm gonna spam all five and we're gonna get two items. Wait, I got one. I got two! I got the Mithril Plainsker G and the Armadale Mitre. We're done! We actually got two. Holy shit. <laughs> wow, and another duplicate green headband. Hell yeah. There it is. There it is, boys and girls. We have one task remaining. That was 38 medium clues for 5 new uniques, 260 in total. And we are done with the second to last task. 
Just some Mahogany Homes left. Let's go and complete the task. And let's get ourselves the very last hard task. With that amazing final clue opening, we got ourselves the five new uniques. We can complete the task and we are at 99% of the heart here with only one task left. The very last task of season three before we begin the massive season of elite here. It's going to be the Amy saw. There it is. Get the Amy saw. The very last task. The last grind in the heart here. We need to do some more mahogany homes and then we are done. So we better get started on that, get those planks ready, and go repair some homes. Let's go. So the plan is simple. We still have a few mahogany planks, not that many, 160. We're going to use those. Then we're going to turn all of the T-clocks we still have into planks. That's about 1,050 right there. Use all of those. And then I'm only going to need a few more points, I think. But we do have plenty of oak planks for that. So we'll cover the last points we need with the oak planks, get those 500 in total, and then we're ready to go and get that Amy saw. So first let's turn the, the teak logs into planks, and then we'll start grinding mahogany homes for the very last time in the hard tier. But one more in the elite tier as well for the, uh, the blueprints eventually. And that'll be the last inventory of teak logs to be made into planks. And just like that, we are ready to get started with the actual grind. Let's do some mahogany homes, let's get those points, let's complete the hard tier. Alright, just had to make my very last mahogany log into a plank to finish this one. But that is all the mahogany planks gone. And we now have how many points? 70 points so far. Onto the teak ones, we'll see how many we get from that. And if we need more, we can use the, uh, the oak ones as well. Oh yeah, uh, another construction level. I completely forgot that that was a thing. Uh, 82 construction right there. We can probably build something new now. I'll... Maybe figure that out later, but for now we're gonna grind through this task, get it over and done with and enter the elite here as fast as possible. Here we are. One more contract to go. One more Mahogany Homes contract between us and the elite here. Let's fucking go. The last one. We're gonna be just short of the construction level as well. 4.6k XP. We're gonna get like 1.9k, <laughs> but we'll get 83 construction very quickly uh, in the elite here one time. Let's go do it. Everyone's waiting for us to complete it. Let's go. Final contract. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, I'm walking it. I'm walking it out. I don't care. I'm enjoying this. Ah, the final headstand and the final broken mirror have been repaired. Just like that. Boom. Noella is happy with my work. Let me get that cup of tea. Lovely, lovely, lovely. There it is. 501 points. 702 contracts have been completed in total. And now we go back to Feli and claim the reward. Are you guys ready? We've all gathered here for a monumental achievement on the account. Thank you guys for coming. It's been a pleasure. It's been a massive grind, but we've made it. We are about to complete the very, very last hard task. We are entering season four of Generate Task. If I, if I can find Amy, where is she? There she is. Let's do it. Here we go. Is everyone ready? Rewards. Amy's saw. Confirm. We did it! Amy's saw has been obtained. And just like that, we completed the heart here. Look at that. Oh boy. What a grind it has been. But it's only the beginning. This is where boys turn into men. <laughs> okay, that's cringe as fuck. <laughs> We, we're, we're gonna do elite tasks now. Hell yeah. <laughs> yes, we're doing it. One more thing. Let's grab the collection log out of the bank. Let's have a gander. Guys, we are finally 100% hard after all that time. The collection log. But we now have 791 unique items registered on the collection log. Look at that. In the elite here, we'll get many more. But that's a nice amount already. Mahogany homes, we have 7 out of 8, only the blueprints left in the elite tier, but we'll get there, we'll get there in the elite tier. Anyways, here we are in the clan hall of the Task clan. We started this journey over two years ago, and this is where season 3 ends and a new era begins once again. We will get many, many hard tasks that will take ages, but we'll get through them eventually. It'll take a few years probably, but we will complete the elite tier, and this is where it starts. This is where we will get the first elite task. So let's go to the spreadsheet and let's see what the elite grind 
has in store for us today. Here we go. Let's load up the sheet. And let's get started on season four of Generate Tons. search on the collection book and you type in tedious that they have added this and that is probably the best change they've done today and I'm, I'm very happy with that that is actually really cool 